Are you a content creator? Do you have a YouTube channel? Want to monetize, promote, and protect your channel from intellectual property theft? At a forever, we will monetize, optimize, and protect your channel, helping you earn better. We also offer you professional content management support guidance. Join our network today and enjoy our premium benefits. Contact us at mcnataforever.com. If I could feel the touch of your love The bow my sad moment These memories will never ever leave Even in my dreams I will always scream For this nightmare, this nightmare to be My name is Sarah, Sarah Kelvin Daniels. I am a marriage and relationship counselor. I love my job a whole lot. Not just because I get to save people's lives, relationships and marriages, but also because I love to hear myself say to people what I would love to be said to me. Marriage is an institution like all of us have heard a thousand times. But unlike every other institution where you're giving handouts and manuals, here you have to create what manual works for you. There are no two marriages. And more often than not, one person is always at the receiving and tolerating end. now look like slave trade, which makes the ring a handcuff. Dad! Please stop! Dad! This is Dodge to teach you a lesson. The Leon is head of this house. 
Leon owns this house. The next time, the next time you argue with me, you ask me stupid questions in my house. <laughs> I don't need to tell you what I will do to you. I'm sure you know. This one. It's just more. 21 strokes of the key. <laughs> Get your hands off me. Make sure you dress that bed before I come back. So they will see the kind of useless mother you are. You can prepare common breakfast. What do you mean? What is wrong with the food? What is wrong with the food? You dare ask me questions what's wrong with the food? You make me a stale meal and you're asking me what is wrong with this food? I don't understand. You always like stale meals. But what happened now? Because I'm bad. And my preference can change at any time. Then you should relate that to me so I can make the changes next time. I'm not a soothsayer to know when your desires change. That's why you are an incompetent wife and mother. Listen, you have just 10 minutes to get in there and make me a fresh meal. Else you were hearing hot from me this morning. What can I make in 10 minutes? You don't like light meals and the kids are running late for school. I don't freaking care if you're running late or not. My wish and desires come first. You have 10 minutes and your time starts now.
I'll be with you in a minute, okay? Okay? to the car and wait for me, okay? When I'm done eating, I will take you to school. I'm sorry, but that won't be necessary because I'm not going to school today. And what is that supposed to mean? Because someone has to take care of the mess you created. In English language, let me understand what you're saying. How do you sleep at night, Dad? Because I find it very difficult to sleep knowing that my mother is in pain. And you who caused the pain sleep soundly like nothing happened. You know what? <clears throat> You're still a small girl. You don't know anything. You're still a child. Your mother is at fault in all of this. Look, she should know who the head of the house is, who wears the pants at every point in time, and I call due respect to the person. And you too, you must learn that. My mother is your wife. Yes, like you see, I'm too young to know anything about marriage. But unfortunately for you, I happen to know two people who are married are supposed to love and respect each other. But that is one thing I haven't witnessed in this house since I was born. And I happen to know that you're my daughter. And I love you. And that's the only reason why I'm going to ignore this arrogance of yours. But you are going to school. As for your mother, she will take care of herself as she always does. Okay? I know, and that is why you feel very comfortable treating her badly. But I'm sorry, I'm not going to school today. Sandra has spoiled this girl. Sandra has totally spoiled her. Was this Sandra a lesson? I know you girls are upset about going to school late today. Please, just forgive me, okay? Your father was not in a good mood today. Today or never. What do you mean? Come on, Mom. We know everything. It always happens in our presence. We might be children, but we're not stupid. Dad always does this. But what I don't understand is why do you have to do everything that he says? You're his wife and not his mother. You know what, Augusta? You girls are way too young to get involved in this, so just drop it. We're already involved, Mom. We're your children. Anything that hurts you hurts us. You know what? Uh, your father and I will resolve our differences, okay? Whatever is between us, we'll sort it out. That is the problem, Mom. Things will never get sorted out if you continue to bow to him. You need to fight back, Mom. You need to fight back. Listen to me, Clara. If your fiancé hits you even before you get married, then get ready to become a punching bag when you get married. I know he's a man, nice man, and he likes me a lot. Because I know he likes you a lot. And that is why he also hits you a lot. Do you know the mistake we ladies make? It's the fact that we do not read in between the lines. We just go about believing what we want to believe and ignoring the essential warning signs. How do you mean? I came here so you can advise me on how to keep my man. But it seems you just want us to break up. You came to seek my help and advice. But if you already know what to do, my dear, then why come to me? You just want me to confirm that he will change. But trust me, that will not happen because he will not change. Especially if you do not work on him before the marriage and take a stand. Ow. How do you think domestic violence starts? 
You think it just happens all of a sudden? Well, in rare cases, yes. But in majority cases, it starts with a shout, then a slap, and before you know it, it advances. Listen, if you tolerate it in relationship, then you're going to have to endure it in marriage. No one likes to be abused, my dear. But if you say, oh, this is just cut shape, he's going to change, then get ready because indeed he would change, but for the worse. So what should I do? When did they bring that leg for the first time? Cut her. Well, that is the truth. If you don't stop it from the onset, you will definitely have to bear the consequences of your silence. It's all right, my dear Clara. Wipe your tears. It's enough. of advising you but as a child this is becoming too much for me to see and tolerate please do something seek for help this has to stop I believe your father will change I, I don't know he will change are you serious change when this has been him from the beginning mom and at some point, you think he will change? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just have faith. No, faith without work is useless. You need to tell somebody. Report to the police. Or just do something. Just act. Honey, you talk like the child that you are. Would you rather see your father behind bars? If that will give you peace in this house, then I have no problem. I'd rather see him in jail than to see you die in this house someday. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Everything is good. And um, we're just on a little break, so I decided to come stay for a while. Does it still hit you? I'm not even concentrating anymore, and it's almost it's like five minutes to end the game. <laughs> uh, I knew they actually going to draw the match, that's why I didn't bother to watch it. Mm -hmm. Match aside, now, you didn't tell me you were coming. You took me by surprise, you know. 
Well, I thought I should surprise you, but I guess it was a bad idea. You don't seem to like it. <clears throat> Why do you say that? Your expression says it all. I mean, the reason I said that was because, you know, some preparations could be made to welcome you. Preparations like having your wife do heavy makeup to cover the bruises. What do you mean? Come on, Ken. I know you still hate your wife. Oh, she told you. Does she need to tell me? It's obvious. I thought by now this madness would have stopped. But you're getting worse. I don't understand. So where is my sin now? That I try to put my wife in check? How is that wrong on my part? She is your wife and not your slave. Have you decided to be like that? We both watched our mom lose her self-dignity because of everything that happened to her. Do you want the same to happen to your wife? You see, I have realized that dad was right by every way he treated mom. Listen, women are like dogs. That's why they are called bitches. All right, they have to be unleashed all the time, else they will bite you, the owner. Listen, you're still young, you're not married, you know nothing, and, and I don't expect any other thing to come out from your mouth. Now, when you get married, you can come back here and we'll have this conversation. Hey, but till then, stay out of it. Cinderella would always remember the magical night when her fairy godmother turned a pumpkin into a carriage, mice into white horses, and a tattered leaf. Uncle Tony! How are you? <laughs> How are you? How are you girls doing? Mm. Uncle, it's good to have you around. Now mom trouble is going to reduce. Come on girls. You know your mom is a strong woman. She can always take care of herself. You can say that because you're not always around. I may not always be around, but I always have my eyes on you girls. And also your mother. Well, if there's any consolation, I am here now. So I'll try and make things right. Thank you, Uncle. You're welcome. So I can see you girls are having fun. Yes, Uncle. So let me join you. Let's have fun together. Give me. Bring it to your style. Your style. No, bring it. Welcome to my house. Thank you. Yes, um, please uh, make yourself very comfortable. Okay. Yes, uh. Lunch should be ready. I think there was an even seven yet. Yeah, so uh, I need to rush out and uh, meet up with someone real quick. But I won't take too long. Okay, but you have to hurry up. You know we have a date at um, the Chinese restaurant. I remember. <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay, do you want something to drink? Yeah, yeah I need to get something. Okay. Oh, Sandra! Sandra! Yes? When I'm calling you, you answer now. So you can't say I have a guest? Huh? When you see a guest, act like you have seen a guest. Please get her a glass of water. Cold one. Uh -oh. Do you want cold one? No, room temperature. Room temperature, sorry. Yeah. Uh, room temperature. Okay? Alright. No, I'll get you. I'll get you now. Sorry. Okay, alright. Water you drink for the rest of your life if you don't leave this house immediately. And who are you to ask me out of this house? My name is Miracle, the only daughter of the married man you're following. 
You sure do not have shame. That is why you can comfortably come into this house, knowing my mom is here and acting as like if you are more important than her. How is it my business when your mom has decided not to be relevant in the life of your father? How is it my business? This is the problem. Single women like you think you're smart too. Why don't you get another woman out of her house so you can take over? But mind you, the same way he brought you in is the very same way he'll bring another woman after you. Shut up, you little brats! And who are you to talk to me in that manner? She is my daughter. I'll advise you to keep your voice down in my house. She has nicely told you to leave. So. Get out! You heard my mom. Get out. Or do you want me to demonstrate it to you? Leon was here this. Honey, you shouldn't have done that. She's your father's guest. She's his girlfriend, mom. We all know he cheats on you. But he can't bring his girlfriend home. That's an insult. Thank you. For what? For doing what I couldn't do. Fighting for me. Mm, you should learn how to, but in the meantime, I'll fight for you. Come here, baby. Thank you. When you're standing here looking so peace, what's wrong? You told me you're in total control of your house, right? Of course. Okay. And the opposite just happened right now. Your daughter served me vinegar instead of water. And asked me out of your house. She rained all manner of insults on me. And your wife backed her up. Well, that's... That's not possible. No, Sandra would not even try a thing like that. <laughs> talk, talk more of miracle. They oh. won't dare. So I'm the one who is lying, right? No, I didn't say you're lying, but it's, it's impossible. Okay, thank you so very much for spoiling my day. Hmm? I wouldn't want to spend one more minute in this house. Thank you. Miracle! Miracle! Yes, sir. Did you give Sophia vinegar? Who is Sophia? Who is smart with me? Did you give my guest vinegar? Oh, you mean that lady? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Leon! Enough of that! You can't hit my daughter because of a total stranger! You now have the guts to talk back at me. Huh? Are you talking back at me? You can do anything you like to me, but I'm sorry I will not allow you to lay a finger on my daughter. So you have developed wings. You have developed wings that you have the infantry to reply me, to challenge me in my own house. Right? Miracle is but a child. I don't want you to hurt her. Let's leave her out of our problem. So we go back to what you're doing. <clears throat> Oh 
so good to see you. Sandra, how are you? As you can see, I'm still me. It's really nice to see you. Really nice. Same here. We don't hang out these days. Yeah. That should change. It should. So how are the girls? The girls. The girls are amazing. And yours? Well, she's coping. <laughs> she has to cope and she doesn't have a choice, does she? Yes, yeah. they should. Shouldn't they? Hi, you are? Uh, Sarah. My name is Sarah Daniels. Is that an excuse to get involved in a conversation you're not invited? Pardon me, I'm very sorry. I just couldn't take it. From your coded conversation, I can make out the truth. And with your sunshades in a supermarket, I can tell that there are swollen eyes and broken hearts. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? That you are women enduring violence from your partners. It might not be obvious to the ordinary eye, but for someone like me, who encounters women like yourself every day, I can tell with just one look. Um, you said you are... Who are you again? I'm Sarah Daniels. I'm a marriage and relationship counsellor. And my doors are wide open to help people like yourself. But you have to take the first step. What is To seek help. First, you must accept that whatever is happening to you right now, it's not normal and no longer acceptable. Then seek help and you shall find. Easier said. If you are married, you'll understand that it's not easy for women to go against their husband. Society frowns at it. Who suffers the ill treatment and beating given to you? Obviously not a society. My sister, life comes first. And if anything should happen to you today, society will be one of the first to insult you for tolerating him for this long. So wake up and save yourself from harm. I'll give you my card, so you please call me whenever you want, okay? Where are you coming from? I'm, I'm sorry. That does not answer my question. I had lots of clients today, so I had to spend extra hours. You have lots of clients today and you didn't think that you should call me and ask me for my permission to stay out this late. That's why I said I'm sorry. You have 15 seconds to return to wherever you're coming from or face the consequences. Kelvin, please. I can't sleep outside. It's too cold. You should have thought of that before returning to my house by this time of the night. Get out. Yes, you don't have to say it. I know what is in your mind. I encourage other women to fight for their rights and defend themselves. But I am also a victim of the very same problem I want them to fight against. So yes, Sandra is very right. It is easier to give advice very difficult to put it into practice. Ah. I mean, it is 
it's not normal for you to be all dressed up this early. Let's just say I've been thinking lately. I think it's time we make an attempt. Or like many will call it, seek for help. Are you saying this because of the Sarah lady? Yes and no. Well, it's basically for us. We need to find a way to make this man see us differently and respect us. If seeing this Sarah lady will give us answers, by all means, why not? I don't see anything wrong in it. I know, but I'm just scared. I don't know what will happen to me if my husband finds out that I'm seeing a marriage counselor behind him. He will just kill me. Leon will do the same to me. But for the sake of my daughter, I would do anything to save me from this madness. And I suggest you do the same for your children. You're right. You know, just give me a few minutes. Let me go and change. That's fine. Resume this late to work. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. I, I had some errands to run before coming. Um, actually, we were just passing by and decided to check on you and be sure the address is right. Um, we may have to be on our way. We'll probably come some other time. Oh, that's really nice of you to come. You can come by anytime, whenever, wherever. I'll be here. Uh, you know what, now that we know the place, we can always come by for a proper session, yeah? That's, that's awesome. Just come anytime you want, I'll be expecting it. Thank you for coming. Alright, have a nice day. thinking what I'm thinking. Of course. I mean, how can someone who speaks so highly of herself and one who encourages women to fight against domestic violence be a victim? At first, I thought something else happened to her. But with the way she acted and the look on her face when she saw us, I'm tempted to believe she's also a victim. Well, I guess there's no hope for us. I mean, if the counselor needs counseling, then where do hopeless people like us stand? Well, let's just give her the benefit of a doubt. Who knows? There might just be another reason behind her actions today. I sincerely hope so. Let's leave. I have other places to go before picking Mira from school. I can bet on my life that these two are not stupid. I know what they are thinking. Now the little faith they have in me is gone. But do you blame them? You should not expect help from someone who needs help.
Good evening, sir. Stop right there. What is the time? Um, it's past 7 p.m., sir. What did I tell you before? That I should make sure I'm home home before 6 p.m. Mm. And you disobeyed me? No. No, sir, I didn't disobey you. I was just stuck in traffic and I called your phone, but you called me. Hey, 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 stop right there. Don't dare to run. If you try it, I would give you double of what I have for you this evening. So if you know what's good for you, just come back here. Come here, I'm talking to you! Leon, yeah. Please, please, please. Hey! Right away. Next time, when I give you instructions, you will adhere to them. <coughs> Enough! What's the meaning of this? Would you let go of my tent, Tony? Unless you want to hit me, then fine. But if it has to do with you flogging your wife like a child, then I won't stand and watch that happen. Oh, I see you've started growing some balls. But in case you do not know, this is my wife, this is my family, and you have no right to stop me from carrying out my family duties. Esther, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Your duties as a husband is to protect your wife. And not to be an obstacle to her happiness. She's someone's daughter. How will you feel if someone does this to her? Will you tolerate it? No one would hit my sister and go scot free. Good! Then why do it to someone else's sister? Is this, isn't that pure wickedness? Let me teach you some lesson, okay, in case you do not know. When a woman leaves her house to be with her husband, she automatically becomes his property to do as he pleases. Lie, Kenneth! You lie! If this is the mindset you have getting into marriage, then you have no business being married. I thought me, I hated dad so much because of the way he treated mom. But seeing you right now, dad was a saint compared to you. You are very disgusting, my brother. I'm sorry, that is the fact. Tony, you insult me in my own house! Tony, come back here! No one can stop this imprisonment for you. You'll have to do it yourself. From the look in my brother's eyes tonight, it is obvious he does not regard you as his wife, or even a human being for that matter. My candid advice is this. Leave this marriage and walk away. That's the best thing you can do for yourself about my children, or what happened to them. Take them with you. He will not agree. And then let them stay with him. He's their father. He will not kill them. But you, he will not hesitate to get rid of you. You better leave this marriage while you still can. True talk, most women want to stay with their children and in extension remain with their abusive husbands. But the truth is, when you end up dead, you cannot do anything for them. So you better stay alive for them than get killed for nothing. Uh, 
crossed his limits. Imagine that boy. That boy challenging me under my roof. Women. <laughs> Just women. Look, I can guarantee you that that innocent boy has no blame in this. It's your wife. Your wife has sat him down and tuned his mind into believing that you are the enemy. That's what's happening. But I don't understand it. Is, is he mad? He doesn't, doesn't he have sense? Doesn't he know that he's my brother? Is he not supposed to be on my side? Well, I'm sure he knows that you're his elder brother. But you won't blame him. He's just a small boy. How old is he? Huh? Look, this boy would not even know what is wrong. And from the way I'm looking at you and how you are sounding, I'm sure your next line of action will be to chase that boy out of the house. But not even think of it. Okay? Very soon, he would grow older. He would get married. And only at that time, he would now appreciate you and thank you for teaching him how to treat his wife and how to be a man. I mean, what are we talking about? Doesn't he have sense enough to know that that's, that's, that's the idea? Doesn't he know that this is a lesson for him? That if you do not put your wife under your control, she will just she will grow wings and, and, and go against your every action and move. He doesn't know that. He's a madman. That point exactly. That is the exact point I have been trying to make for many years now. Like, I am an African man. Hmm. I am a typical African man. Hmm. Which means that I can marry more than one wife. Of course. Two or three or even four wives. What stops you? So I don't understand why my wife's body will start shaking like me, the pit. When she sees me to another woman, or oh, yes, I'm, I'm to another woman, does she own me? I, I, I don't understand. I really don't get it. These women don't understand something. They, they, they claim everywhere they go to, they say we are, we, are, we, are, we are home builders. But these women, they keep destroying homes. I mean, a man likes authority. Give him that respect that he deserves and, and there will be peace. Women, we, we like to swear like, like eagles. But my brother, haven't you noticed lately? Our mates are just dying like foul. Mm. 45, fia. Mm. 50, fia. If you reach 60, it's grace of God. I tell you. Huh? But meanwhile, our grandfathers. Mm. I remember my, my, my late grandfather died at 100 and, uh, 100 and, and 10. You don't mean it. Yes. Why? Because the wife's then give them peace. Mm. The wife will kneel down and serve him. Mm -hmm. She dare not look him in the eyes. Mm. Eyeball to eyeball. You, you are even the point now. Hmm. Your wife will sit down with you hmm. and look you eyeball to eyeball. No respect. Leon, Leon, if it's eyeball to eyeball, it's, 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 it's somehow okay. Do you understand? They would even point their fingers into your eyes, Leon. They will point and they will slap you down if you are not she, strong she enough. She dare not try that one with me. That day, she's going down. Hmm. No, if she tries that one, eh, that day, she's going down. Hmm. <laughs> if, if this woman has decided, you have decided not to be submissive, hmm. then. They have invited what they get to themselves. Mm -hmm. We will beat them like animals that they are. What choice do we yeah, have? Because we need to tell them. Of course. We will beat them like animals. Of course. If you slap her and the slap is not good enough for her, you give her another one. That's how it is. That's how it is. Which time I slap? I don't understand. Uh -huh. no, no, do you think I enjoy slapping or beating her? This hand that you yeah. used to do hard work and get slap. money, you are wasting it on them. You can imagine. It's, 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 it's crazy. You know, I am even considering the. Uh, Buying that koboko that has three mouths. Hmm. Remember in the slave trade era? That's what they did. That was how they tamed the blacks. Yeah. Military men, what do they do? Yeah. They yeah. have koboko. If they wipe your one, well, that's final cord. Your brain will be set now. The thing is, you know, if, if you buy this koboko, I, I, I think if, if it works for you, I, I will buy it. Or let me just buy it, it and start work. now. It will work. Hmm? It will work. Hello? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Honey. Yes. Do you have a minute? For? I would really love us to talk. About? About us. What is there to talk about? Everything, Kelvin. Everything. From the way you treat me to the... To what? Huh? I ask you a question. To what? Nothing. Good. 
you listen to me. I am not one of those your jobless clients that you tell how to live their life. So I don't need you to do that here. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. Now open up. I need sex. What? Do I need to repeat myself? I heard you. But it sounds absurd. Or you want to dwell on the sound or you want to get down to business? Sorry. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I don't need you to be in the mood to have sex with you. I will not. I said open up. Help me, don't do this. Oh, you want, you want to do this? You, you want to do this this night, eh? No. just lay there like a log of wood. It was not uh, particularly romantic, but um, at least you struggled with me. Uh, not like the usual lifeless you. You enjoy draping me? <laughs> where, where do you people get those stuffs from? Where do you people get those stuff from? The sex between a husband and wife can never be raped. Sex without the consent of one's partner is really pelvic. Well, you can decide to take me to court for having sex with my wife right now. Meanwhile, Just make sure that um, you take care of yourself because um, I will be coming back tonight. I've kept you waiting, Mrs. Rhodes. Um, I'm just very surprised you're in my house. I hope there's no problem. Well, yes, there's a problem. And it has to do with the girls. I don't know what's happening in your home or what they're being exposed to, but they've changed a lot in school and it's not nice. Wait, what are you talking about? The girls have become so aggressive lately. They say they need to fight all the time. And the part that concerns me the most is the fact that they fight only boys. And they say they need to stay away from them, even with the ones that have been their friends before. How long has this been happening? Well, it's been happening for a month now. Though it's been happening before then. But it's worsened over the month. 
and their sudden hatred for their male counterparts. This got me thinking it has to do with their environment. That's why I'm here to see you with your mom. Because I feel as a mom, you should know better. You know? You should know if they're being exposed to harsh situations that would trigger this behavior. And so you can do something about it. Well, Mrs. Rose, um, thank you for bringing this to my notice. Mm -hmm. But of course, definitely, I'll do something about it. I just apologize for any stress this might have caused you. But I do appreciate it, though. Thank you. Uh, well, that's not, that's not a problem. You know, it's not one person raises a child these days. It's all our duty, so it's it's no problem at all. It's I fine. Know. I know, but it only takes a very sensible person to know this. So thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So, all right. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, um, I'll say it for you, okay? Well, you are here on a mission. Does that justify that I was not here before you? Excuse me. I just told you I was here before you and you're trying to use the, the machine. <laughs> you know, women like you deserve thorough beating from a man. A man like you deserves to be in prison. Because obviously, you are a woman bitter. If you lay a single finger on me, I saw you rot in jail. Because you're not married. Because if you are married, your husband would have trained you enough by beating you up and now beat you into shape so that you learn how to respect a man. A whole training. Stupid feminist species. Idiot. I know what you girls see and hear in this house has affected your mind and. Um, I want to say that I'm very sorry and I take full responsibility for it. But mom, whatever is happening is not your fault. It is. It's my fault. If I wasn't married to a man like your father, you wouldn't be exposed to such violence at this tender age. But mom, if you weren't married to dad, we won't be your children. That's true. And you know what? I wouldn't trade your girls for anything in the world. No. And we love you, Mom. If you love me, then I need you to do me one favor. Anything, Mom. I want you to stop hating and fighting, boys. It's not your fault because of who and what your father is. There are some very good people out there, you know. Mom, they're all the same. Even Uncle Leon beats Auntie Sandra. That's true. Okay. There are some few people like that. But you need to give people a chance to be themselves first before judging them. Look at your Uncle Tony. Is he a bad person? No, Mom. Your grandfather, was he a bad person before he died? Um, no, Mom. Exactly. You see, there are some bad and good people out there. But you can't just assume everybody's bad just because your father is. No, Mom. We're not thinking. We're sure. Honey, your father is not a bad person. He just has anger issues, which I know with time he'll change. Do you believe that? No. <laughs> Come here. Come here. I'm just really sorry. Sandra, do you always have to show yourself every time we go out? Huh? No, do you always have to embarrass me every single time we go out? Do you know, if, if that invitation did not categorically state it was for the two of us, I would have gone by myself. Because every time I go out with you, you embarrass me. You embarrass me. Can't I just go out with you without you creating a mess? Are you for real right now? That man practically spanked my ass 
and you expect me to keep quiet. You are my husband. The least you could do is defend me. Instead, and you took his side. You are not dressed like a harlot. A shallow bum. Like those prostitutes that we have standing around the, uh, what do you call it now, hanging and about. Would he have had the effort to come and spank you in the buttocks? Oh, or you don't see other married men there. Dressed with Iro and Oba. You now wore mini skirt showing your skinny cockroach legs. Something is wrong with you. Leon, can you remember that you practically picked this outfit for me and insisted I wear it? Now it's my fault. I can't see anything wrong in this dress. Sandra, do you expect me? Fight for other man because of a mere woman. Do you honestly think you are you are worth the trouble? Listen and listen carefully. I will not bring myself down. Fighting another man because of a woman. Unfortunately, even if that woman happens to be my wife, maybe next time you should consider dressing and looking decent when you're going out with a husband that looks decent. Do you understand? Huh? Well, the worst is over. She'll be fine. But I'm sorry, due to the stress, she lost the baby. Baby? Was Esther pregnant? Yes. About five weeks. Oh my god. This, this, this is not good at all. Um, she needs a lot of rest now, and I can see some bruises and scars on her body. I am a doctor. I can deduce meanings from it. Talk to your brother. I have taken pictures. If anything happens to this woman, she will have me to contend with. Leave that to me, doctor. I will deliver your message. Mommy's fine, but the doctor says she needs to rest for a day or two. She'll come home soon. Hmm? Can I go and see her? And nope, like I said, she needs to rest. But we won't disturb her. Okay, here's what we do. 
I'll speak with the doctor and seek his permission. If he says yes, then I'll take you. You promise? On Scout Honor. Mm. Thank you, Uncle. You're welcome. So now, uh, run upstairs, I'll come with you and tell you some bedtime stories. Yay! <laughs> I'm just coming from the hospital. How is she? Who? Esther. Oh, you know. What does that mean? I was expecting you to ask me what I went to do in the hospital. But I'm surprised you're aware. Of course I know the, 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 the kids told me. And watching this stupid football match is more important than visiting your wife in the hospital. Wait, I, I don't understand. I, am I the one that created football? Esther is around. She's not going anywhere. But this match, I mean, it's, it's a life match. And you know I don't like watching replays. You know, I thought when I come back home to see you, I was going to give you a few blows. But it's not worth it. I still lost the baby and I felt bad about it. But I think that's the best thing that happened to her. Because carrying that baby will be double suffering for her. But definitely not worth another child. Esther is pregnant. Was. So, so Esther was carrying my child and, and, and she lost the baby. She ran out and she lost my baby. <sighs> and and you, you, you knew about this and you didn't say anything. alternative arrangements for you and the kids. Mom asks that you all come over and stay with her. It's safer there. Can you take a little sister outside? I need to speak with your uncle for a minute, okay? just make matters worse. You know your brother is not in good terms with your mother and me staying with her will only pour more fuel into an existing fire. Hmm. So you rather continue suffering in the name of marriage? Well, every marriage has its own challenges and we mustn't run away each time we face one. You're right. But not when the challenge is a threat to your life. Then it's only normal to run away. I have you. And that's all that matters. I'll manage. I know you will. But remember, I won't be here always. I've endured this pain and suffering for close to 10 years now. I think I'm used to it. No one gets used to suffering. Especially when you can do something about it. Well, I appreciate everything you've done for me. God knows I'm so grateful. But I'll be fine.
trying to run away. Um, Sarah. It's nice to see you. Sorry, I came to the hospital to get my wounds treated. I had an accident yesterday. I see. Well, next time, tell your husband to be a lot more careful so he doesn't run you over again. It's obvious. Of course! I'm so ashamed of myself. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Like they say, a native doctor never cures himself. So I totally understand. And you, what, what are you doing here? My friend Esther has a permission here. You don't see. Can I see her? Why not? This way. Okay. This is the height of it. Do you know how many people are looking for a child? In fact, I too am one of them. And now this precious gift has been taken away even before I saw the light of day. Don't you think it's time we put this to the police? I mean, this is becoming extreme torture. I've thought about it, but what would society say when we fight our husbands in court over issues that we can settle between us? So hell with society! Who is lying on the sickbed now? You! Who has just lost her child? You! Who is feeling the pains right now? You! So pray tell me, where does society come in? Yes, I too have not been able to fight for myself or practice what I preach. Does not mean I do not know the right thing to be done. Just like you, I too am scared. Because we don't know how this fight is going to end. Or who will win the battle at the end of the day? Yeah, because somehow it's a man's world. And women have no rights or voice. We've been suppressed and our voice is taken away from us. Yes. Because we have accepted the rules that has been given to us. So saying no now, we take a lot of fights. And we're not sure of winning this battle. But we can only try. For she who fails to try, tries to fail. Kids looking gloomy. Dad, we're hungry. I know Kutoni went for his CDS since morning. Are you serious? I mean, can you imagine this? No, no, no. Am I supposed to stay hungry? So there's nothing for me to eat. Dad, we're talking about ourselves and not you. Does hunger know age? The way it will kill a child is the same way to kill an adult. But you have more endurance than us. What are you talking about? Is that what you were taught in school? Dad, let's just leave all this stuff and get us food. From the canteen your mother opened, Abby? Eh? She went to the hospital and decided to take one bedroom flat and let us all die of hunger. Instead of you to go to that hospital and tell her to come back, you are here putting pressure on me. Dad, are we eating or not? My friend, you guys should follow me. Let me let's go and see if we can get food. You kids are just a pain in the neck. You too. What did you say? She said that as um, we are hungry, you two are hungry. So, let's go quick.
I paid Esther a visit today at the hospital. It happened that she lost her pregnancy due to excess stress at home. And your friend, her husband, has not been able to visit her at the hospital. Maybe he was busy. Busy? Like you here, watching football matches. What did you say? I just need you to advise him, you know. But, oops. <laughs> I wonder who will advise who between the both of you. brought the wife for you. Surprised to see. Now you should be thankful that this is a hospital. Otherwise, you would have been on your knees to explain to me how you got rid of a baby without even informing me of its existence. But he said this is a hospital. So at least try and pretend to be someone else. My, my friend caught me that crap. What do you mean? Listen, I don't know what you you must have told Tony for him to have spoken to me in such harsh tones. But be that as it may, I have come here to take you out of this place. I've settled the bills. Get up, let's get out of here. Now! Get up! Act like you have bones. Get up, let's get out of here. Okay, so... Since you decided to go on a long vacation and start your family, welcome back home. It's good to see you. Right now, I need you to go straight to the kitchen and prepare me something to eat because I'm very hungry. Okay, hey, 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 yeah. No buts. Except you want to go back to that hospital and spend a longer and more painful vacation there. Make it quick. Uh, yeah, don't forget to make it pepperish. You know, I love my food really pepperish. Thank you. Just, I guess. 
I'm just finish up the cooking. No more about it, yeah. Go on, let's go. What's this? Why are you the one serving me? Where's Esther? She's resting. Resting what? Hasn't she had enough rest already? You know what? If you were not my elder brother, I would have put this hot food on your face. But thank God you are older than me. But don't push your luck too fast. Because very soon, I mean very soon, Throw caution to the wind and mess you up real good. You've grown muscles and you have chest. You've got gods to talk to me anyhow. Now listen, I have had enough of your insults in my house. And the only reason I have kept quiet is because you're the only family that I have. No! I am the only one who relates with you despite your selfish and arrogant self. Listen to me and listen real good. If you don't stop this abusive nature of yours and stop treating Esther with so much disrespect, I will not hesitate to report you to the appropriate authority. I see. That's a threat now, right? Now get out. Get out from here! too much. I don't think we should keep quiet. We need to warn dad. And mom is really sick. Yes, I have a plan. We have to call up, call up a meeting. Meeting? Yes. Uh -huh. So, um, uh -huh. what's, uh, what's the meaning of all this? Well, from all indication, the kids called for a meeting. Meaning? Meaning we want to talk with you and mom. I don't understand. You kids want to talk to me and mom. Since when? We should be the one doing the talking and not you guys. Since she has not done it, we've decided we'll do it. <laughs> this is... This, this is... this is madness. Listen to the children first. What could they possibly want to say? That we so not like the way you treat mom in this house. She's a wife and not your slave. Frida. Let the children speak. They're not blind. Oh, okay. So, so this, this is what you teach them, right? To talk to me like I'm their mate? We might be children, dad. Well, we have eyes and ears. You're supposed to be our father to protect us and to teach us the right way to go. And also to live a good example. Instead of setting a bad example, we want you to say sorry to our mom. Or? Or we'll be the ones to flog you. I mean, this is madness. So since when did children start flogging their parents? And when the husbands start flogging their wives? Okay, Augusta and Frida, it's enough. Okay, stop it. Your, your father and I have settled our differences. He has to say it for himself, Mom. And he has to apologize to you as well. This is ridiculous. The children are serious. You either comply or you get whipped. You have 10 seconds to say sorry. Listen, all of you, all right? All of you, listen up. I'm never going to say I'm sorry to her. Fine, then get ready for me. Hey, hey, listen. I said it's enough, stop it. Your father and I have settled our differences, okay? I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. 
Are you sure? Yes. Because if this happens again, Mom, we won't be here to defend you. I don't need you to defend me. I'm fine. Like I said, it won't happen again. So this is what you do? Huh? <laughs> this is what you do? No. You set, no. set up my kids against me? No. You brought all this upon yourself. You need to change. Because next time, I will personally stop Esther from interrupting them. Even you. You. Leave this place now. Get out! Sometimes you don't use words to express your pain or bitterness. When in the midst of friends who understand you and share your kind of grief, then words are not necessary. It is in companies like this that you can be yourself, where you are not scared or ashamed to cry. No, not this one. Mrs. Daniels, Kelvin's mother? The devil herself in my house? Hell, here I come. Honestly, mother, your mm -hmm. coming here is really surprising, but it's a pleasant one. Mm -hmm. I know my son. That's why I came to make my son happy. Mm. <laughs> and I'm happy. I'm off to work, mama. See you when I return. What? Yeah. Is this what is happening in this house? Kelvin, don't tell me your wife controls this house. Because I will be disappointed. Kelvin, she is your wife. She's supposed to be kneeling at your feet all day, not going to some office. Mother, don't worry. Your son is in charge. Really? Yes. Then, prove it. Hmm? Um, 
Okay, so how do you want me to prove it? Tell her she should not go to work today. She should stay home and take care of me. Um, I'll settle then. Mm -hmm. You heard my mother, so you forget anything about office today. What? That's not even possible. Try me then. And mother, mm -hmm. I'll see you when I get back. All right, my darling. You should look beautiful. Take good care of this. I know I will. Have a wonderful day. Bye, darling. Safe drive. Mm -hmm. This is not right, Mama. I will not allow it. You can't just waltz in here to dictate what happens in my life at age. <laughs> Sarah, or whatever you call yourself, this house is my son's house. <laughs> and I hope you understand what that means. Rubbish. <laughs> Matter. Mother, talk to me, talk. Is that your wife? Eh? Since morning you left this house, I've not eaten anything. Simply because I asked her not to go to work. She said I was tired of starvation. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, mother. Wait, wait, mother, you mean my wife? has the effrontery to starve you in my house. Yes. The worst part of it is that she said you cannot do anything. She said that. It's okay. Mother, don't, don't cry again. Eh? Your son is back now. Mother, don't cry again. I'll go inside now. She's inside, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then we'll chat as to how I cannot do anything about it. Okay. You, you'll be kind enough to give me two minutes, eh? Mm -hmm. So keep on cry again. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Now you have just 30 minutes to set the dinner. My son, I know I always ask you to teach her a lesson and to keep her in check. Uh -huh. But raping a woman is no pain. Any woman can bear. It's not fair. Then she should learn to respect and worship her husband. Besides, every act of disobedience will meet stiffest punishment. And, and, and mother, what I need now is your support, not your criticism. You know, I always support you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is what I want. Mm -hmm. You are the true son of your mother. I know. Come, let me get you a glass of juice so that you can replenish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I need some ice cubes inside. That's my son. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. The world will think you're being ill-treated. No. 
I am very well treated, Mama. Even a dog doesn't get this kind of treatment. I don't blame my son. He has been a gentleman for far too long. The most agonizing part of it all is that even Ray cannot help you conceive. You're so useless. So, so useless. If I could feel the touch of your love Way shouts, shouts very loud I yeah. You said you went on a business trip alone What is this pants and bra doing in the bag you travelled with? Is this some sort of souvenir you were giving at the meeting? But uh, if you ask me, this is uh, your pants now. And the bra, sir. This is your pant and bra, you're asking me foolish questions. Are you kidding me? This bra is in no way my size. And then like this pants is. Um, yeah, um, Sandra. As you see, it is not your bra and pants. Why are you giving me a headache? Eh? Carry the pant and bra and keep it back where you got it from for the rightful owner. Simple and short. Eh? Are you serious? Are you listening to yourself, Leon? Leon Charles! You want to be very stupid for saying that I just should carry the pant. No, 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 really? Hello? What did you just say? No, no, you heard me right! I should carry the panties! always wanted to do whatever your mind tells him in the past, mm -hmm. including marrying that wood. But for once in your life, please listen to your mother. Get yourself another wife so that she can give you a child. I'm tired of waiting. I'm not getting any younger. Mother, don't bother yourself, okay? I've lost all hope and interest in that log of wood. So I have decided to frustrate her out of my house and life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will not ask her to leave home. No, I will not. So that I will make sure that I frustrate her until she leaves 
on her own, then I can marry any other woman you choose for me. Now that's my son. Mm -hmm. Do whatever it takes that will get her out of this house fast. Mother, don't worry. I'll Please. set the plans in motion. Don't worry yourself. I trust you. But this idea of raping her, I feel somehow about it. But that is the idea, mother. So that when she cannot take it anymore, she will leave. But you know she's a counsellor. What if she reports you? <laughs> Re reports? No, she would not do any such. You know why? Two obvious reasons. One, she loves me very well. And then second, the public. She would not want to be identified as that counsellor who cannot save her home. Hmm. Yes. That's true. Mm -hmm. In fact, I love you more. I love you more, mother. In fact, you're very sensible. Mm -hmm. Continue raping her. Mm -hmm. I, your mother, <laughs> I'm standing at your back, like a man, like mm -hmm. a rock. No shaking. That is what I want. Mm -hmm. Your support. Mm. Mother, eat your food. But what if she doesn't live soon? Don't worry, I have a plan B, which is getting another woman pregnant. So mm. either way, you are covered. <laughs> That's my son. You are the true son of your mother. I know. Uh -uh. Mm? Eh? I told you to cultivate on a fertile ground. You went and cultivated on a hard rock. I would have listened to eh? you. Your mates are, uh -uh, are marrying women. You went and married a, your fellow man. Mother, I, I, can... I will not disobey you again. I will not. Let, let, mother, promise. Eat your, I promise. Just eat your food. This very <laughs> That's <right. laughs> at lunchtime. Are you okay? What happened? <laughs> Sanjay, yeah. what happened? You know what? Sit down, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Leon did this? <laughs> yes. He did this to me. Well, this is the last time I will allow him treat me like this. This is horrible. What are you going to do? Fight back in my own way. Meaning? I've decided to defend myself. Be clear, Sandro. Taekwondo. Sarah has really changed.
I think someone is talking to her. Don't matter yourself, man. I know who is influencing them. Yeah. Mm. By them, what are you referring to? You see, my wife has also been acting up lately. But trust me to put her in her place. Your wife too. So who is deceiving them? Yeah, it's a lady. She calls herself Sarah. And I've seen her with them a couple of times, you know. She claims to be a counselor. <laughs> counselor. You need to warn your wife. You need to seriously warn your wife. And that's Sarah Gale, the counselor. She needs to stop talking to my wife, advising my wife, telling my wife what to do or how to talk to me and challenge me in my own house. She must stop that. Hey, calm down, man. <laughs> and I've told you not to bother yourself. I mean, I can't bother myself to start talking to her. But what gives her the right to advise my wife of how to behave in my own house? Oh my God. Eh? Listen, I, I have this in check. Alright, trust me. I've been willing to see you. Do I know you? Well, that's not relevant. It's irrelevant right now. My name is Kenneth. My close friends call me Ken. And I have come to ask you to warn your wife, Sarah, to stop influencing my wife to challenge me in my house. You see, I am the man. I am in charge of my house. But looking at you, I mean, it's very obvious that she's the one who wears the pants in your house, not you. <laughs> but please do relay my message to her, okay? Tell her to stop influencing my wife and, and filling her head with all sorts of rubbish. Hmm? You should do that, you know why? Because if you don't, even you won't like the outcome. Especially when men ask to stop me on the road and insult me on your account. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Now listen to me and listen good. This should be the last time you leave this house in the name of work. Mm -hmm. From henceforth, you are a full-time housewife. Wow. Take it or leave it. What? That is not possible. You know I can never be a housewife. What are you saying? Fine then. You decide. It's either you obey me or you forget about this marriage. Nonsense. I knew it would come to this. <laughs> Now you have to decide. I don't understand it. Women of nowadays have totally forgotten that men are the head of the families and are supposed to be beneath them. What a class woman! <laughs> Think of yourself. So you'll be denied of your identity just like that. And you're supposed to stop working just because he says so? Well, the choice is still mine. How is that? 
you are already in a tight corner. Since choosing your job means goodbye to your marriage. Is that a choice that is yours? As a marriage and relationship counselor, how will I face people? How on earth will I look people in the face if I cannot save my own marriage? But right now, it doesn't really look like you have a choice other than to stop working. Now that's a point that really drives me crazy. So, as a married woman, you don't have a life of your own. Other than live under someone else's shadow for the rest of your life. And they fail to think of what would happen to their wife and children if they happen to pass away. I mean, the woman will be faced with more difficulty than necessary. My point exactly. Well, with what you just mentioned, I think it's time I go back to work. I'm tired of hiding my bruises with heavy makeup. And I'm sick and tired of living under someone else's shadow. It's boring staying at home all day. And Miracle is not a big girl, so she can take care of herself. So, I've decided to start working again. I'll be going in search of a job soon. So, are you telling me? Or are you asking for permission? Both. Mean what? If you think it's a good idea, then I'm seeking for your permission. But if you think I'm stupid, like I know you're thinking right now, then I'm telling you. Get this tree a sick break. You know, listen very carefully. You are not going to walk in this house. You are a full time house wife. Okay? Full time housewife. Yes. It's entirely your opinion. My decision is final. When I get the job, try and stop me. Mirabel, did you hear how your manager spoke to me? Yes, and there's nothing wrong with what she said. Oh. So you want to tell me that you are supporting your mother to abandon us? She's not abandoning us, Dad. She just wants her own job. And I think she wants to be busy. Oh, well. Taking care of this house is enough busyness for her. She does not need a job to be busy. But what is wrong with her working? So many teachers in my school are women. What did yours call them? Teachers. Obviously, they are married to lazy men. They cannot take care of them, so they have to work to take care of the house. I'm a hardworking man, and I take care of you and your mother, and I take care of this house very well. She does not need to work. Or well, maybe she doesn't want to be a housewife anymore. Ah, I see what's happening here. So you and your mother have ganged up, huh? 
you have joined a gang together. Well, when you go back to your gang meeting with your mother, tell her I said she is not working, not in this house. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, you are not me. take you on Taekwondo and boxing. But first I want to take you on Kung Fu. Like uh, we go on the normal stance, you stand this way. Then you want to greet, you bend and beat and greet. to work, I don't see the reason why she would go against you, except she wants to end the marriage. Ha -ha. You don't even understand. Eh? Sandra would never on a very good day argue with me. Eh? Sandra has never argued with me before. Mm. Look, if you see the look in her eyes when she told me this thing, mm. eh? she has plans. She has plans. Then have your own plans. Put it in motion. Put your own plans in motion. They look in her eyes this morning. That girl does not love me anymore. She does not love me anymore. I can bet on it. I can bet on it. Oh God. Sandra. Just change all of a sudden. Who love him? I say who love him. Tell me. Why are you slapping me now? No. Why am I slapping you? When you were explaining, you were slapping me. So let me slap you and explain if that's how we can communicate rightly. Huh? Who love help? Look, stop behaving like one chicken that they poured hot water that, that wants to die. These women, they need iron hand. That's what they need. If you act scared, you, you are dead. They will just carry you like this under their armpits. And I know all these things. Eh? I know all these things. Look, I am telling you. There's an unexplainable change in Sandra and I swear to God it is beginning to scare me. Do me a favor. Huh? The next time you want to explain anything to me, don't hit anything. Because I don't understand. If there's any problem, you find the root of it and you cut it off. Sorry. Sorry. What? You, 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 you wanted to hit me again? It's okay, it's okay. I'm okay. Sorry. 
Sandra. So after all my warning, you're still in job hunting today. Hmm? What is this? What does it look like to you? That's condom. It's used for having sex. Obviously. My question is what is it doing in your pocket? Yeah. Who is asking the questions here? Me or you? Leon Charles. Answer my question. What is this doing in your pocket? Did you just raise your voice at me? I will raise down this estate if I don't get my answers and fast too. <laughs> Sandra. Come back here. I'm talking to you. Ah! Are you okay? Are you stupid? You slapped him and I will slap you again. What's going on here? And you look excited. Yes, because since I was born, I've seen a different side of my mom and I prepared something nice for her to gain her strength. Sweetie, your father has just been admitted in the hospital and you want to celebrate. That's unfair. I know, Mom, but I've also spent nights with you in the hospital several times when he beats you up. What's interesting there for a change? Your father may not be the best of fathers right now, but I want you to know he loves you. And I don't want you to see him differently. Don't you think it's too late, Mom? I already see him differently. That's not what I want for you. It's fine, Mom. Growing up with a father like that have made me see things differently. And I've learned a lot. And you have outgrown your age. You have been denied the childhood many enjoyed. Well, being an adult is not easy to. I know. Which is why I want you to enjoy the peacefulness of being a child. Well, I guess things are gonna change now since dad is at the receiving game. Hey, this is not going to be the norm, you know, right? I know, mom, but it'll be fun while it lasts. <laughs> Do you think I have died or what? what? I don't understand. What kind of rugged driver would just run over you like that? Hmm? What kind of driver is that? Oh, okay. I think I saw my life flash right in front of my eyes. Mm -hmm. Wow. But I hope the police have caught up with this guy. Because he deserves to be in jail. I mean, this guy almost ended your life. Look at you. I wonder again. With the way that guy hit me, I sped off. Mm. I doubt if any police in this life can catch him. Wow! They are still looking for him. It's easy. How could they will find him? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Relax, relax. Looking right for who? Looking for... The, the driver that mm. ran him over and almost killed him. No driver <coughs> ran him over. His wife beat him up. Leon, what is she talking about? Uh, you, what are you talking about? His wife beat him up and brought him here. Oh, uh, 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 Leon, I, I asked the question. What, what is she talking about? I'm asking her too now. What are you talking about now? If you had an alcohol in your house, why didn't you come to work? Eh? What, kind of, what kind of records do you have? Is this one? Sir, are you denying it? Please, if you know his wife, hmm. ask her. Hmm. She'll tell you the truth. 
She beat him up, brought him here. In fact, she brought him here unconscious. Hmm. Leon. Uh, okay. Mm. You see, I, I came back mm. and it was uh, late. Mm. My wife just set her leg and I slipped and fell down mm. and hit my head, my head on the floor. You know, just that the fall was a bit uh, hard. Mm. That's all. And I was drunk. Mm. Yeah. Drunk? Yeah. Sir, but there was no trace of alcohol in your system. Shut up now! You shut up your mouth! Shut up! Must you talk? Hey, who invited you to this, to, to, in, into this, 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 this to, to, to topic? Don't tell what to do. Shut up your mouth! What it is? Shut up! No wonder your wife beat you. Shut up! You don't have manners. Yeah, um, um, uh, Kiken. Don't lie, she has a big mouth. Relax, yeah. Tell me why they employ such people. Relax, relax, relax. You know, with the, with the impact of the trailer that hit you, you're not supposed to be shouting like this. You know, it's fine. I don't understand this kind of fall from car hits you to you falling down. Uh, do, you, do you want to explain better? Uh, see, uh, Ken, I would have told you. Okay. Well, now you know. Mm. She said I didn't want it to sound, uh, you know, funny. Some okay. kind of way. Mm. What happened is I, I went to uh, uh, zero eleven. Oh. You know. Mm. On my way back, mm. I got to my house. Mm. As I opened the door, mm. the back took light. Try. You understand? Mm -mm. I didn't know that there was banana just right by the door. And I slipped. Mm. I slipped. Mm. As I was falling, my wife's leg was there. But that is mistaking you or something. Are you serious? I now fell down. All over. So, so, so. Was it hard for? Oh, banana. The, the banana fell on you or the banana. Uh, the banana first before. Okay, the leg. banana leg. Uh, and I think my, it's my new children now. I, I yeah, don't understand again. Daughter, she probably kept the banana. Oh. By the door. Okay. What a fall. That's why I say it's better get real life. What a what a fall. A banana fall. A leg and children fall. But it's okay. I'm happy that uh, she she was here and she said everything that happened, you know. Uh, it's obvious that it's your wife who wears the pants in your house. What are you talking about again? What am what I not talking about? What happened in my house? What, what happened? This domestic... Uh, domestic uh, domestic banana? You know what's coming No, it's okay, it's okay. It's obvious. You are intensified. I can't, I can't, I can't be friends with you. I said I am you. okay now. Is you, it, you, you, can't, you okay to go and fall on the banana? My brother. How many bananas are in the house? Is it your fault? <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> so you were serious with that self-defense training of yours? Mm -hmm. My dear, desperate times call for desperate measures. I never thought that this day would come, but I'm glad it did. I mean, enough is enough. Yeah. You know, I honestly wish that I had the strength and heart that you possess, but I feel I love Kenneth way too much. I don't think I can ever hurt him. Darling, if your Kenneth can hurt you, I wonder why you can't do the same. I think I understand her clearly. You know, sometimes we dwell so much in the love we felt before marriage that we dare not do anything to go against it. While the other party is not reasoning in that direction. I too love Leon. But not anymore. I feel absolutely nothing for him. For the extreme you've gone, my dear, it is expected. The irony is that a man can love you and still cheat on you and treat you bad. But a woman? A woman is wired much more differently. It takes her time to look the other way. But when she does, it's a journey of no return. And if she does return, she will never remain the same.
It's really sad to see you leave. I guess my torture will intensify now. That is because you allow it. As a woman, you do not know the power you have. Because if you do, trust me, no one will ride on you again. That's because we're the weaker sex. You think so? Do you believe that? God gave us all strength. As a woman, you have the enduring strength that even men do not have. You have an inner strength that you do not use. You need to stand up for your rights and fight. Ken is my brother. But if leaving this marriage is the only option you have, then by all means, start packing. But I love your brother. Oh, I know. Till death do you part, right? Good. Because at this rate, it will be difficult for death to do you part. Come on, stop saying that. Ken does not love you. No man who truly loves his woman will want to see her in pain, let alone be the one to inflict that pain. Use your head, Esther. You want to bring down my house? <laughs> oh, baby, I went to the doctors, and guess what? Is it that you talk or you shut up? I'm busy inside. Okay, fine. It's confirmed. I'm three weeks pregnant. I'm three weeks gone. Wow. <laughs> I see. Yes, baby. You'd have told me, according to you, ripping is all it would have taken for you to take in. I wouldn't have wasted my oh, over eleven years of marriage on manual labor. What did you just say? I said that it's one thing to take in, it's another thing to actually deliver a baby. So until I can hold that child in my arms, I'm sorry, I cannot share in your happiness. Excuse me. soup tonight. We only have soup, stew, and they're all in the fridge. So you can either have boiled yam, boiled rice, or soup. The choice is yours. Meaning what? Meaning that what you prefer cannot be prepared tonight. Because I need to sleep early, rest well, wake up, and go to work. Well, so you mean even after I told you not 
to go to work. You still went to work. You disobeyed me and took the work. Huh? Listen, I'm done losing myself for you, Leon. I'm an identity as well. Henceforth, you and I will run this home together. I'll do my part by making meals available. But don't expect your favorites all the time. Woman. Woman. Open your ears and listen carefully. I said I want catfish. A soup. A bald yam. Nicely spiced. And when you're done, you bring it upstairs to my room. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. You can use the kitchen. It's not gender sensitive. Sandra! Sandra! Did you... Did you just walk past me? Are you walking away from me? No. Actually, I'm walking right into you. Leon, for your own good, you just got back from the hospital. Do you need a reenactment of the episode that landed you there in the first place? No, no, do you? I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not that hungry, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just drink water. It's okay. giving you so much work to do at the office, you, you know, so probably that's why you're coming back at this time. I, 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 I think you're hungry. Let me quickly make dinner for you. You can just freshen up and like a shower. Hey, why are you taking my bag? Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I, I was trying to take the bag upstairs for you. Upstairs? That's the way.
I want a divorce. What did you say? I said I, I want a divorce. Why? Why not? There should be a reason why you want a divorce. Look, I, I, I cannot continue to, to live with a woman that I cannot look in the eyes and talk to. I, 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 a, a woman who, 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 who... Who what? Who beats me up? Wow. Leon, you cannot live with a woman who beats you up. <laughs> Isn't this funny? I lived with a man who beats me up for 10 years. And in those years, there isn't a day that goes by without me getting it hot from him. And that man is you. Did I ask for a divorce? No. So why should you? The table just turned recently and you are tired already. That's so sad. Sandra, I'm a man. Have you ever seen anywhere in this world where a woman beats her husband up? Look, I, I would rather just have a divorce than, than to live in this humiliation from you. So, it's the woman's place to be abused, humiliated and beaten up. Please, which constitution did you read this from? Look, I cannot continue to live here in my own house. It's obvious you don't love me anymore. So please let us just end this marriage and go our own ways. Darling, no, we cannot end this marriage. You are still my husband. I never knew those ill treatments you gave me back then were out of love. So, it's my time to reciprocate. I'd like you to sit back, relax, and enjoy it while it lasts. I never saw this coming. Me neither. She was a pure woman with a kind heart. I still remember the good times we had just over there. I still can't believe that something as beautiful as a marriage union can cost a woman her life. What crime did she ever commit? With all this happening every day, people still get married. Well, the fear of being killed will not stop a fighter, a determined fighter from going to war, would it? This is a shame. This is a damn shame. That a woman will have her life cut short just because she wants to stay married. That's the point. It's more important to stay married than to get married in the first place. Regardless, you would have to get married first before considering staying married. And every marriage comes with its own baggage. And that is why from courtship, you should spy on the package so that you can handle it when it is unwrapped. I miss that beautiful soul. I wish there's something I can do for her right now. And there is something we can do. That Kenneth must be made to spend the rest of his life behind bars. An animal like him should not be let loose in the society ever again. I totally agree with you. He has to pay. So, what's of Leon? How are you two doing? 
that <sighs> we are fine. He's asking for divorce. And I said no. I wanted him to suffer a lot more and run out of the house on his own volition. But on the second thought, I figured I might just be holding myself back. So why not grant him his desire? Besides, not like I feel anything for him anymore. <laughs> yes, it's true. The table has turned. <laughs> but you know, a man is always a man. He's obviously bitter now that he does the housework and gets the beating too. <laughs> Good for him. But like you said, it's not worth it. The heart of man is wicked. You may have the power to compel him now, but no one knows tomorrow. Sleeping with the enemy in the name of vengeance is not a wise choice. I wouldn't want to lose another friend anytime soon. I don't want you to lose another friend either. Because I don't want to end up dead in my sleep because of an angry husband. We'll get this over with. I also need my freedom. That's the idea, darling. <sighs> um, so, Kelvin, I'm sure with the pregnancy, you must have changed. Changed? Does a leopard change his spots? I just want to have my baby first. And then I'll decide what to do next. If he hasn't changed with this, do you think it's dangerous staying in the house? Um, does he still rape you? Yes, he does. And from the look of things, he enjoys it. According to him, I'm much more lively when I'm raped. Can you imagine? Do you need me to teach him a lesson? <laughs> no. The taekwondo thing? <laughs> no, no. Thank you, my dear. This too shall pass. I know, right? That's exactly what Esther said. Why is she now? I've been thinking about your proposal for a divorce. Honestly, I never wanted it to be so. But looking at us now, I think that's the proper thing to do. We have lost touch of every reason we fell in love and got married in the first place. We've both raised hands on each other at different occasions. So, I have decided that this divorce will happen on one condition. Which is? That I keep my daughter and the house. I do not ask nothing else of you. I work now so I can take care of my other expenses. I have no issue with you keeping the house. But she's also my daughter. 
You can see her from time to time. I do not deny you of that, of course. But for peace to reign, you have to leave the house. That or no deal. I 
I cannot say I know how you feel. I can only try to relate with you. Don't beat yourself over what has happened. You are human. And there is a limit to what anyone can take. I'll not leave you at this time. This I promise. Esther has left us. I don't want to lose you too. Together, we will fight this to the end. Yes. You might go to jail, but you'll be set free again. And you can start your life all over again. Just hang in there, my friend. Please, just hang in for me. This was not the agreement. When I decided to get married, I never wanted it to end up like this. Believe it or not, I loved Kelvin with all my heart. But somehow that love was beating out of me. Some say love is the foundation you need to build your home. Yes, I agree. But a good foundation without a good structure can never stand. If you cannot take the heat, then get out of the kitchen before you get roasted.
Thank you, Miracle. But Miracle, please take them to your room and make sure they are comfortable. All right? Sweetie, girls, this is now your new home. I promise you, you'll be happy here. Hmm? So why is it we're never going to meet our mom? Oh, sweetie, you... You know what? I'll take you to see your mom. And you might not exactly see her, but I'm sure she can see you and hear you. You came into my life like a flash. You became the sister I never had. And just like the same flash, you left without a proper goodbye. We have toyed with fire for too long. But I never knew this fire would consume you. I am sorry, my friend, that I could not do anything to save you. But this, I promise you, Kenneth will pay for what he did to you. And as for the kids, they will stay with me henceforth. And I will take good care of them. Rest well, my friend. Adieu, my sister. <laughs> hmm. Marriage or oh, marriage. Till that do us part, right? We all have to decide how we end up. In peace, separated, dead, or in jail. Life is all about choices. Choose wisely. At the end, life is very important and no one, absolutely no one has the right to treat you less than you deserve to be treated. The Bible said, Love your neighbor as yourself, not more than yourself. So remember, the number one rule is to love yourself. If they shout, shout very loud. Ah, for Check over that, please. Girls, I need you to go to your room. Uh, your uncle wants to have a word with me. Okay. 
What is it you wanted to discuss with me? Um, first, I want to thank you for everything. I'm really grateful. Come on. It's and not uh, thank you. May God bless you abundantly. So. Amen. <laughs> but I think it's time for the children to come back home. Arrangements are being made to take care of them. Um, would that be best for them? I mean, considering their past experience and of course the memories of your mother in that house. Oh, I, I don't know. But they have to come home sooner or later. Okay. If that's what you and your family have agreed on, it's okay by me. It's fine. Thank you very much. Um, I'll talk to them and let you know when you can come for them. Because right now, I'm sure they're, <laughs> they're not even following you anywhere. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I understand that. You know, if anyone had told me that Kenneth the Tiger would be this calm, I would not believe it. Would you shut up and say what you have to say? Oh, you still have energy to shout. Oh well, very soon you will look for this energy and you won't say it. You've always been telling me I'm bragging that you're a man. Now I believe it. Because here, this is where men like you belong. You shut up, you fool. Well, I spoke with your late wife's friend. I told her I'll be coming to get the children and bring them back home. But the problem is, since you are here, he will take care of them. Maybe he will take care of them. Which means she will be staying with them. Yes, she will stay with them. Do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. You think you can come here and hide, right? After murdering my son in cold blood, you see this hole as a refuge. So you feel pain too. You stood there watching and encouraging your son to rape me when and however he wants. I'm a woman like you and you did nothing to help me. It continued until your son killed the child in my womb. My precious child. And now what? Now you're angry that the devil you call a son is dead? I never wished to be a mother, but I'll tell you this. I did not regret killing Kelvin because he is evil and it serves him right. I have a promise for you. You're going to see now. Your suffering has just begun. Oh, there is nothing you can do to me, old woman. And mind you, I am not going to be here forever because I did not kill my husband deliberately. Hide from me. I will get you. I will make you pay. You will pay me. Pay with your miserable life.
this kid. What is gonna happen to you? I'm here with you. to Uncle Tony. For what? For bringing the plate for you. Will you shut up and eat your food? Nice, but not as nice as yours. <laughs> if you say so. I say so. <laughs> mm. 
There's something over here. Same? There's something over here. What's this? Sandra, like I told you before, this is not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Your friend will be out in no time. But we need evidence, I mean something to show that she's been abused. Well, in the meantime, I've gotten that of the examination carried out on her upon her arrest. So, hey, as it is right now, we already have a kiss. Please, just do everything you can to get her out of this. I mean, she has suffered so much for a woman who just lost her baby. She has been through a lot now. Let her even have some time to mourn her loss. Sandra. <laughs> Losing her baby is not the only problem she's faced, you know. I don't know how to say this, but from the lab result, it has been revealed that her womb is damaged. Hmm? Gracious Lord. Damaged? How? It was obvious that she, she sustained a deep wound as a result of everything that transpired between her husband and and herself oh, so this is not good does she know about this <sighs> no but we can't tell her why not why because 
a shock on hearing that in court will be to our advantage in winning this case. She'll be traumatized. Okay, Sandra, telling her today, tomorrow, whenever. Whenever you tell her, she still will be traumatized. Listen, I, I, I know how difficult this is for you. I mean, she's your friend. But we've gone too far to give up. And on my own, I mean, I can't do anything. So your cooperation is key at this point in time. All right. Um, how about the doctor's evidence? Oh, thank you. Uh, we'll get that. I mean, in fact, we need to get everything, like everything to show that she has been abused. I mean, something to convince the judge that she should be set free. Don't worry. Calm down. This is Barrister Linda. Your friend will be fine. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. If I could shout, shout very loud. Breakfast. And have you done all your chores? Yes, yes auntie. auntie. Who told you and your sister that you'll be going to school today? Hmm? Go and change your uniforms. You still have dirty clothes to wash. And you're not going to school today. Auntie, what may we miss school because of anything? Auntie, don't worry. If it's the clothes, we'll wash it after school. Go on! Remove your school uniform before I change my mind. Sorry, Auntie. My mom told me that my education is important and I don't want to joke with that. If breakfast will make us to miss school, then we'll start. Frida, let's go. Two of you should know that if you step out of that house, there will be food for you by the time you get back. And besides, we want to school. Sarah, this is Barista Linda. She has been working on your case for a while now. I was just waiting for the right opportunity to bring her. And since we'll be going to court soon, I thought it's the right time for me to meet with her. Thank you for agreeing to represent me, Barrister. <sighs> You're welcome. But you see, for you to make things easy for me, you and the judge, you have to be 100% open. I mean, do not hide anything, anything from me. Well, your friend has told me a lot and on my own I've been doing my research and I have gathered my facts. But I deliberately decided not to speak to you first because I know that you're, you're, you're traumatized by the whole situation and I want you to put yourself together. But first things first, you need to understand that cases like this are not handled with anger. You have to put your emotions in check and have your freedom at the back of your mind. I shouldn't be saying all of this, you're a counselor and you know these things. But as your lawyer, I need to know everything that is going on so I can represent you well. I understand. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome, my husband. Oh, my darling. <laughs> How is it true? Fine, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Tony, take him to my room. Okay, of course. I'll change the room. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I hope you brought all I asked for. They're in your bag. Mm -hmm. Please, we have to get um, 
the things in the other bag. Bring them. Okay. Get them. Well, um, like Sandra here already knows, um, whenever any of my patient is brought here with bruises that looks like abuse, I take pictures before treating them. This has been my style because um, most women end up dead and their husband deny ever eating them. This is my own style of helping them get justice. Okay. Thank you very much, doctor. All right. I must say that you have made my job a lot easier. Thank you. Come with me while I give you a copy of these pictures. They are in our files. That's fine. <laughs> what is the title of the cartoon you are watching? Regular show. <laughs> Uncle, do you like to watch cartoons? Yes, I do. And I'm sure so many people love watching cartoons. No. Uncle, my dad hates cartoons. Even Uncle Tony does not like watching cartoons. But sometimes he just sits to watch with us. Auntie Becky doesn't even like watching cartoons. In fact, she doesn't even like us watching TV. Um, I promise you, anytime you are less busy, we will sit and watch cartoons together, okay? Yay! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Washing the plates. Oh, even the floor. You're waiting for Becky to come and mop it for you. I'm talking that you're still seated. My friend, get up and move it. You're watching cartoon because you think you're a baby. Nonsense. Becky, here again. Mm -hmm. What about that? Get up and get going. For you too. Rubbish. Hold on. Who's there? a good person. What do you mean she's not a good person? She's just like dad. Which means we'll be back here soon because the police are going to take her the same way they took dad, right? Hey, stop saying that. What did any of you see her do? Auntie Becky shouted at her husband today and she still forced him to wash the dishes and mop the floor while she sits and watch him. Elia. I saw her slap Uncle Kefas because he didn't wash her clothes. Wow. And she doesn't like us going to school. Eh? Does your uncle Tony know about this? You know what? I'll come over to your house later to talk to her. Alright? Can we come back and stay here, please? You have 10 minutes. You. Yes, me. I don't you to see me here. No, I'm, I'm happy you're here. Just that I expected you sooner. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't come earlier. I had a lot on my plate. So, what happened? Honestly, I don't know how it happened. But one thing is I'm to blame for my wife's death. The only issue now is I 
don't have anybody to help me get out of this place, but I think God you're here now. Me? Yes, you. Or is that not why you came here? No. I only came to sympathize with you. That's a visit. So you're scared of your wife? I didn't say anything about being scared of my wife. Well, yes, I left my house because I didn't want to end up in jail like you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So would you help me get a good lawyer to get out of this place or you're gonna abandon me here to die? Honestly speaking, I don't want to get myself involved in this issue. Mm -hmm. I wish you luck. I see. Yes, and who are you? From your rude response, I can tell you, uh, Becky. How may I help you? My name is Sandra. I'm the lady Augusta and Freda lived with when their brother was sent to jail. I'm Esther's friend. I don't see how that affects the price of fish in the market. Hmm. I can see you have a sharp tongue. Well, unfortunately for you, I'm a woman of few words. So I'll go straight to the point. I've gathered that you've been mistreating these children in their father's house and sending them to school has become an issue, even when the fees does not come from you. Let's do it this way. If you know that you cannot take care of them, please send them back to me. I gladly accept them. But if you as much as hurt them one more time, you will have the devil to contend with. This is not a threat. Be warned. <laughs> how dare she complain of how I treat those brats? They are my nieces. She even has the gods to come and warn me. Can you imagine? She's lucky in my good mood today. If not... A, a slap would have been more deserving, don't you think? What if they were your children? Would you treat them the same way? Did you just say a slap would have been more deserving? Yes. How does it feel? At least you have a taste of what you wish me. Some of you to support your wife against supporting her! What a world of women. Mrs. 
Sarah Daniels. Could you please tell this honorable cause? What happened on the sixth day of December 2017, which led to you murdering your husband in cold blood? On that day, my late husband had become violent with me. He beat me up and forcefully raped me. In the process, I lost my pregnancy. And when I couldn't take it anymore, I had to defend myself. Defend yourself? Or you mean attack your victim? Objection, my lord. Sustained. Counsel Jude, rephrase your question. So, your lordship. Mrs. Sarah, did you say he raped you? You are his wife. How can he possibly rape you? It was a habit he developed over time. He simply enjoyed raping me. What do you do for a living? I am a marriage and relationship counselor. Which means you are not a shy person. You know when to say no. You know when to say yes. And of course, you know when to report an abuse. So Mrs. Sarah, how come you never reported him? He was my husband. Your husband? That means you were enjoying it. No. Your Lordship, if she was enjoying it, how then could we call that rape? No, I wasn't. I had to keep quiet for peace to reign. Mrs. Sarah, why did you kill your husband on the same issue of rape you have decided to keep quiet about? Oh. Because I lost my child, my baby. And there is a limit to what a woman can take. If you were raped and the act was over, why then did you attack your husband? It's not like you stabbed him in the course of raping you. Which means whatsoever happened was premeditated. Your Lordship, that will be all with this witness. Any cross-examination? Yes, my lord. Mrs. Sarah Daniels. How long have you been married? Well over 10 years. Any kids? No. Why? Is it that you don't want to have children or you both decided to wait? I, um... I had difficulty conceiving. So how many times have you conceived? What? A and that happens to be the one you lost? Yes. According to you, your husband was beating and raping you. Can you tell this honorable court? Why would you consider intercourse with your husband as rape? Because it was forceful. It was against my wish. And I always get beaten up in the process. I see. So who else is aware of this? My friends, Sandra here and the late Esther. Also my mother-in-law and doctor. You mean your mother-in-law was aware of everything that was going on? The beatings, the rape, yeah. and she kept quiet, she did nothing? She yeah. too was desperate. She never liked me. She wanted her son to marry someone else and give her a grandchild. Your Lordship, her doctor, Mr. Ben Felix, is aware of everything that's going on. And he's kept pictures of the reported wounds, including that which proves that she has been sexually abused.
Tender this as evidence to this honorable court. And at this point, I would like to call on Mrs. Daniels to the witness stand. Mrs. Daniels? Mrs. Daniels, are you a Christian or a Muslim? I am a Christian. Please place your right hand on this Bible and repeat after me. I, Mrs. Daniels, I, Mrs. Daniels, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that the evidence I shall give before this court, that the evidence I shall give before this court, shall be the truth, shall be the truth, the whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Amen. Amen. Mrs. Daniels, how long has your son been married to Sarah here? Eleven years, eight weeks, and five days. Wow. 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 For you to be this detailed, that means you've been following up closely on them. Of course. She was my son's wife, and I care about him. Okay. So I need you to tell this honorable court, your daughter-in-law here, claims that your son raped her and it was beating her consistently and you knew about it. When a woman cannot conceive the easy way, the hard way becomes the only option. Order. My lord, we've heard from Mrs. Daniels and she's indirectly told us that her son was beaten and having forceful sexual intercourse with my client yes. not once, not twice. No, I never said that. Your Lordship, I'm done with this witness. Mrs. Daniels, you can sit down. My lord, I also have reports here from the police lab stating that my client was raped and beaten on the day of the murder. Beaten up to the extent of her losing her baby and her womb is damaged. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Damage to whose womb? No! Don't tell me to calm down! Do you know about this? Do you? Sarah, one more of that. I will have you committed for contempt. Bouncer. <laughs> Your Lordship. Yes. On this note, you can see the state in which my client is in. Please, grant her bill so she can go and take care of herself and receive every required medical attention needed as a result of the loss.
All right. After going through the evidence before me, I hereby grant the accused, Mrs. Sarah Daniels, bail pending our next hearing where the judgment will be announced. Order! The court is adjourned to the 13th of next month. Court. Court drive! Stop. <laughs> Mrs. Sarah Daniels. You should be happy that you've been granted bail. Listen, calm down. Okay? Put yourself together. I know this is hard for you. Okay? But your freedom is what is more important to me right now. So like she said, pull yourself together and calm down. Please. Your tears have just started. You killed him and expect to go free. No way. There is no peace for the wicked. Best I get prepared. Hmm? And I don't want to see you anywhere around my son's house. You better find another place to go. Don't do that. Did you hear? Don't do that. Listen, Sarah. Her threats means nothing to you. All right? Kelvin was your husband until his death. So whatever belonged to him is rightfully yours. That house is yours. And your late husband's mother has no right to tell you whether to come into the house or not. I'm so confused, Sandra. I don't know where to start from. I don't know what to do or what to think. She can't do anything to you. Because right? Don't be scared. The law is solidly behind you. Mrs. Daniel, or whatever her name is, knows that what her son did was wrong. So she dare not carry out her threats. Honey, go back home with confidence and reclaim what is rightfully yours. They've taken everything from you. Do not let them win again this time, please. to come back to this house. If you don't leave this house on your own, I will make you live in a body bag just like my son did. I actually didn't want to talk, but you have pushed me to do so. Mrs. Daniels, as far as the law is concerned, this is my husband's house. And until I am convicted by the law, I am still your son's wife. I have every right to remain in this house. I am in position to say who stays or leaves and not the other way around. Now, if you can't live peacefully with me under the same roof, I suggest you pack your dirty things and go straight to your husband's house. You still have a husband, don't you? Augusta, guess who's here? Uncle, Uncle. How 
are you girls doing? Not fine. Why? What is wrong? Uncle, we're hungry. Auntie Becky has refused giving us food. Wait. Are you girls trying to have not eaten since afternoon? Yes, Uncle. Come with me. Yes, the pastor's gone. There will be no food for you girls in this house. Oh, I see why you're hiding in the room. You stole the food. No, Auntie Becky. Then who gave you food? I gave them the food. So it's true that you deliberately refused to give them food? Yes. Did you ask what they did? This, 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 this things went to report me to one Sandra that I've been treating them badly. And that one had the nurse to come and warn me. No matter what they did, starving them is not a way of punishing them. And I know these kids very well. They will not lie. Let this be the last time you will starve them or maltreat them. Don't you ever try it again. already set. Me? I don't want to die yet. <laughs> but don't rejoice yet because it's not won. I will be back. Mm. Prepare for war. I will make sure I send you back to the prison where you belong. And I will be waiting for you, mother. Remember, the law still exists. Please, don't forget to send back the car because it belongs to this house. Mm? Won't you greet your dad? How are you? Um, how is school and mom? Fine. Do you miss me? Hey, I got a gift for you. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> and look at this one. Look at that. Um, I think I'll be returning to my class. I don't want to miss my lesson. <laughs> Good girl. All right, you can leave your gifts here. Yeah? When you are done with school, you can come back and pick it up. Thank you, sir. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Right. Such a wonderful girl. Yeah. Very brilliant. I like her a lot. <laughs> Let me get something straight. Are you stalking me or something? Something like that to tell you that I've decided to vacate 
the house of the woman who murdered my son. I noticed that you had that bone. But well, you know what, my darling? Soon, very, very soon, that load will be damn too heavy for you to carry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like a broken record but I'm not surprised because that's the exact sound from a defeated woman really and it was a good decision for you to leave the house my darling I have come to warn you to watch your back you know in order for you to cut down a tree you have to uproot the roots That's it. You're done. That's all you have to say. <laughs> all right. I've heard you. But stay the hell away from me. Rubbish. also die. Hmm? Look at you now. I hope it's hot in here. I hope the worms know you're here. They should be at work by now. No, they should. <laughs> but in case they are not informed, my sweet, dead, abusive husband. I brought some tongs for you. There you go. I hope you never find peace in the land of the dead. I curse you, Kelvin. I so curse you. You who have wanted to get me killed. Now who is alive? Huh? Who is alive? I am. And where are you? Six feet below. I hope you never find peace, even in another lifetime. I hope you remain there, gnashing your teeth, idiots. Remain here, battering and battling with the worms. Fool. Goodbye. You still have not told me who gave the sense to you. You said you were going to tell me when we get home. It's dad. Dad? As in your father? Yes. Where did you see him? He came to my school. He told me he misses me and he came to see me. He gave me these gifts. I did not give him a chance to talk to me. I left him because I can't miss my lessons because of him. It's okay, honey. Don't worry. I will make sure he doesn't come to your school to bother you anymore. All right? I don't want to believe you're still washing this plate. You were the one that said I should wash the clothes first so that they can get dry before evening. Mm -hmm. What about that? So it's supposed to now take the whole day. I'm trying my best. Yeah, I'm trying my best. Be fast. You still have other work to do. After this, I'm done. I can't be doing the whole work in the house while you do nothing. What did you just say? Nothing. Wow. You are not any different from your brother Kenneth. I mean, what is wrong with both of you? Men abuse women, yes. But I've never seen a woman abusing a man. 
Whatever happens between the two of us is none of your business. So stay out of it. Kefas. 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 Are you not ashamed of yourself? Why will a woman treat you like this? She slaps you. She forces you to do the chores. And then when she gets angry over nothing, you still beg her. For what? And you, so you learned nothing from your brother abusing his wife and killing her in the process. I'm so ashamed of both of you. I don't even know how I'm related to you in the first place. Have you seen what you've cost? Did you just see that? You pay for this embarrassment. I'm here for pleasantries. And I don't want you to give me any reason to come back here again. Stay the hell away from my daughter. Sandra, you know she's my daughter too. You stopped being her father the moment you signed her off. The next time you go to her school to see her, be ready to get a space behind bars. Don't push me. around for like the best part of your lives 
but I'm still your mother's younger sister. Shouldn't I at least get a hug? <gasps> oh gosh, I miss you, Mr. Guest. I'm here now. Okay? I missed that too. Having gone through the evidence tendered before this court and having carefully reviewed the arguments and the written submissions of the counsels, this court is of the conclusion that the accused, Mrs. Sarah Daniels, is not guilty and she is hereby discharged and acquitted. This is my judgment. The court will arise. Court! My baby. I don't know how to tell you this. But, but, but I must tell you. They let her go. They released her. But I'm promising you she's not going to go free. I must revenge your death. She can't go free. Just leave everything to me. She's going to pay. She will pay. She cannot go free. She can't. She cannot go free. <laughs> Essence of a closed door. It's so you can seek permission of some sort before entering. Having you take care of the kids doesn't make you the owner of this house. You should really start thinking properly before you end up like your brother in jail. And what does that supposed to mean? I see you and Kenneth have a way of finding the weak ones. First it was Esther. Now it's Kephas. What is this world turning into? Sometimes I wonder if we all are from the same family. How dare you hit your husband? Excuse me? What did you just call him? My husband, right? Which means it has absolutely nothing to do with you. So please, stay the hell out of it. Don't come and tell me how to run my home. Exactly. Ken said the same thing. Now where is he? I'm not saying more than this. If you make one mistake or end up committing some sort of murder, I will not be there for you. Just like Ken, you will carry your own cross. Oh. How sweet of you, brother. Yeah, I mean every word of it. Hey, um, nice to see you again. I don't have much time, so I'll go straight to the point. Okay. You asked for forgiveness the other day. Yes, I did. Have you forgiven me? I don't have a problem forgiving you, Leon. It's just that I'd like you to do me a favor in exchange. Ask for anything, I will do it. I need you to testify against your friend, Kenneth, in court. What? Sandra, how do you want to do that? The same way other people do it. Just say the truth. 
Sandra, I, I, I know what Ken did was wrong. And so did I. What? Ken is not just a woman beater. Ken is a dangerous person. <laughs> if I do this, <laughs> Ken will go to any length to mess me up. You should be more concerned about putting your life back together. Rather than the life of a man who already lost it all. You are a man like him. Sandra, Why are you so scared of him? You don't understand. I cannot go to the extent Ken will go to get what he wants. Do you understand? I thought as much. You are too much of a coward to do anything right. To do something for yourself for once. And it's obvious you don't want to come back with your family. So I understand. Sandra, you know how desperate I want you guys back. You know this. This? <laughs> I don't think so. When you're desperate, we will know. Because you will do the needful. Okay, tell me, tell me, what, what, what do you want me to do? Just tell me and I will do it. Something Please, else, but not this one. Please excuse me. I have somewhere more important to be. Leave my phone. <sighs> No. Where I come from, we have respect for men. Sit down. I'll serve you. Well, it's obvious that where you come from, women like to be slaves. <laughs> no, not slaves. We like to take care of our responsibilities. You know, serving your family, it's a way of leading them on. But I do not expect an egocentric person like you to understand. So, I'm just going to save the explanations for when you are grown and more matured. Irene, did you just insult me? I can't remember doing that. But, if you feel insulted in any way, then that boils down to you not being matured. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Breakfast is sure going to be interesting this morning. <laughs> For you, I guess. Because I've surely lost my appetite. Really? Very enough. Oh, sit down. Sit. You sit down. Listen, if you keep running after your wife's skirts each time she pulls a stunt, then you will never have a mind of your own. Fight for it. Sit down. Eat. Come on, eat, eat. Okay, we should have enough of it. Shouldn't we? Give me your own money. You should eat. along very fine. And why is that so? I like to see women who stand up for themselves and advise those who have lost their balls. Oh, I see. I'm beginning to like you. You know, if your sister Esther had this much fire in her, I'm sure she'll be here today. She does. 
just didn't let it come to play. But it's all fine. Everything is gonna be just fine. you what your motive for coming to this house is but I decided to allow you use your initiative as if you still have one to come to us first but since you've decided to be or should I say overly matured by keeping quiet I'm here to ask you myself why are you here <laughs> Mm. Becky, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure do have uh, enough time on your side to walk in here asking me such silly, stupid, dumb question. But unfortunately, I do not have an answer to it now. But when I happen to have one, I'll come to you. Until then, I have somewhere to be. Excuse me, Prada. <laughs> this woman is really trying in this house. And someday, I'm going to chew her like my chewing gum. <laughs> what a wonderful place you have here. Mm. Thank you for managing. <laughs> My sister said a lot about you to me on phone. She did say about you. What I'm wondering is why it took you this long. You waited for her to die before showing up. I wasn't in the country, of course. But her death made me change my mind. Especially the way she had to die. Oh, well, that's the calamity that comes with being married to a monster. And I'm sure he must pay for this. Even if it's the last thing I do. Okay, so what's your plan? I don't have any yet. Which is why I'm here. To see what and what you have on ground. So I can put a plan in place to make him pay. Okay, um, I've spoken to my lawyer. She just helped me out on a case with Sarah. I'm sure she'll get him to pay. Court cases. They're usually not easy, you know. I mean, they deal with facts and proofs. Do you happen to have any? Thankfully, her family doctor, Dr. Ben, has been doing a great job at keeping the pictures of the victims of these abuses in their patient folders. I'm sure we'll be getting it as evidence that Esther has been in an abusive relationship. She has been a victim of domestic violence, which led to her death. And I'm sure with his testimonies as well, Kenneth, will be put away for a long time. Brilliant. Well, I like that. I'm glad my sister had such good friends like you. Kenneth, 
must be punished for this evil he has done. Sure. He must be punished. Looking good is good business. And I am certain you are here to spoil it again. I just found out from the teacher that the children's school fees have not been paid. Which makes me wonder why, because you told me last week you were going to pay the fees. Tony, since you don't understand the simple manners of knocking before entering, I don't think you understand, even if I explain to you. So, there is no point. You will not shy away from answering this question. Now tell me, what happened to their fees? I need a new set of clothes and I got them. Don't you think I deserve a change of wardrobe? What are the expense of those kids? I did not agree with Ken to bring you here so you can punish them. I give you 24 hours. If you don't pay their fees, then you see the rest side of me. Tony! Are you forgetting I'm your elder sister? No. Which is the only reason why I've not given you a slap by now. But after 24 hours, I don't think so. Well, I never knew Esther had a sister. At some point, I thought she was orphaned or something. Like she had no one. She has a family. She has a sister and a brother. I'm sure her father is still alive. They weren't in support of her marriage to Kenneth. And when she insisted and got married to him, they disowned her. Wow. Now look what has happened. Her own love has killed her. If only she knew. But, I mean, now death has come into the equation. Couldn't her father and brother do something? Sweetie. The families we run these days are more or less strangers. They only support you if you do everything they want. The moment you decide to follow your heart, you become the enemy. Well, it's a good thing that she's coming on board with us. I mean, we need lots of people behind us. You're right. Kenneth cannot just kill our friend and go scot-free. He has to end up in jail for a long time to serve as a deterrent to other men like him out there. There was a limit to what any woman can take. And if you go overboard with her, you'll get into a deeper mess than you expect. Exactly. That's it. Just like Kelvin and of course Leon. Yeah, just like them. Talking about Leon, have you heard anything? Um, yeah. He's been begging for forgiveness and asking for a comeback. Really? And? And? Honestly, girl, I miss my husband. I mean, the real man I married, not the monster he turned into. So? So, I managed to give him an easy way out. But like the coward he is, he chickened out. What way out? That he either testifies against his friend in court, hmm? or forget we're ever married. That's a good one, but you know, Leon has always been scared of Kenneth. Which is why I want him for the first time in his miserable life to do something positive for himself and also prove that his family matters to him. Sandra, this is a tough one. I'm sure Leon will never do that. I know, but I just wish he does. My dear, you only wear yourself out with all this you're pacing. Is that the solution you're supposed to profound this challenge called Tony? 
Well, I don't see anything wrong in what Tony said. We are here for the children. They should be our first priority. And who are you to tell me that? No one. Good. I decide what is priority and what is not priority. Fine. As for that, Tony, I'll teach him a lesson. Be careful so that you'll not be the one that will receive the lesson. What did you just say? Huh? What did you just say? Oh, nothing. Better. Come in. Are you sleeping already? Not at all. It's strange for you to be in my room. Strange or delightful? Both, I guess. Okay, if strange is part of it, then I can as well leave. Please don't. Uh, I mean, you must be here for a reason. Of course. Irene never does anything without a reason. Okay, so what can I do for you? And the question is, what can I do for you? Well, there's a lot of things you can do to me. I mean, you can do for me. And which one is first? I think I'm gonna marry you. Good morning. Good morning, friend. Uncle Tony, it looks like you woke up very happy today. Oh, sure, I did. Like you really slept well. Can't say that again. Uncle oh, didn't sleep at all. Meaning? I am your sister. You only get this excited after spending the night with a woman. Becky, do you realize the presence of kids on this table? Mind what you say. Which ones are kids? You call them kids? You should have thought of that before dancing into the dining this morning. And how does that have anything to do with this stupid thing you just said? Oh well, I'm too much in a good mood for you to make me upset. Sir, where are we? Speed up, the name of school. You. Just one night together and you're already acting like a found puppy. Well, that is because I feel that way. You're an adult, Tony. Come on, keep your desires to yourself. Stop making everybody notice you have a supposed good night. Supposed? Well, I had a great night. All thanks to you. Then keep it to yourself. Stop carrying it on your forehead. It's irritating. You have no idea how you made me feel last night, my little demon. Who's there? Hold on. Hope there's no problem. Can I come in? Of course you're in already. Miracle is not back from school, yeah? Obviously. So why are you here? Well, um, what, I'm, what I want to say might not sound very pleasing to the ear. But I want you to trust me. Trust? 
All right. Let's hear it. I, I, I might not be able to testify against killers in the court due to circumstances beyond my control. I am... I am... Uh, uh, Shh! in the presence of a stranger, right? And who do you consider as a stranger? Are you seriously asking me that? Well, if they are strangers, then why would you make such stupid statements in their presence? Tony, I am your elder sister! Does that give you the right to say rubbish whenever you like? I am a man, and I am an adult. Respect is reciprocal. By the way, there were children there. How would you say children? What exactly are you teaching them? Whatever I teach those children is none of your business. You lie again, Becky. Whatever you teach them concerns me as much. So I'm telling you once again, mind what you say in front of them. Tony, who is she? Who is who? The lady you're sleeping with. That is none of your business. <laughs> this is my house. And whatever happens here is entirely my business. You don't get sense, huh? You are so delusional. How dare you? I am talking and you're walking away. I've had enough of this disrespect, Becky. Enough of it. Don't you ever pull me back that way again. And if I do, what will you do? to say that. I know you girls have seen a lot of violence, but I promise I'm nothing like your father. Please don't see me differently. It's okay, Uncle. We saw everything. I'm truly sorry. Um, yes. I've spoken to my, um, to Leon. And he has agreed to testify against Kenneth in court. Really? Hmm. This is wonderful news. Mm -hmm. This will make sure he spends his life in jail. Oh yes. It's nice. But remember, you never can tell men. They can change their mind at any time. So, how are we sure that Leon will change his mind? That's when I give him a chance back in our lives. We all will come through this time. I'm banking on it. Yeah, but I also think we should have backup plans. You know, just in case it doesn't happen. Yes, I Come on, girls. It will happen as planned. Just relax. It will. If you say so. I hope so. So what do you think about your mom and dad? Do you want your dad to come back to the house? I don't know. I don't know if I want him to come back or not. If he wants to come back and beat up my mom, then I don't want him. I don't know why they're all the same. I don't want my dad to come back. Let him stay away from us. We all have the worst fathers, right? I wonder why. Me too here. Come on, let's go and do our homework so we can go and play outside. Okay. 
Hi. Hello. I'm Irene. Okay. Sandra's friend. Sandra's friend. Yes. Oh, great. Uh, how can I help you? The question is how I can help you. Which I am here to do. I'm here to help you. I have a solution. Please do Sit. Um, can I get you something to drink? Yeah, sure. Um, something? Yeah. I won't mind what you take. Okay. Just a minute. Said you, you have um, something to tell me. Are you okay? <coughs> what? To tell me something, uh, because, uh, you're such a nice and romantic man. I wonder why you and Sandra are having these issues. Hmm? I don't know. But before I tell you my solution, let's drink and cheers to that. told me everything and but I know she still loves you and I know you love her too and you know your daughter also loves you you also love your daughter and I know you want you know to come back to the house and but I just want you to know that all of that will be possible very very possible you know it's just Matter of time, work it out. You know, we work it out. If I could feel the touch of your love, this feeling is always so brief. But if I remember I shout, shout very loud It was nice meeting you, Mr. Leon. In case you have no idea what happened, check your phone. Oh, yeah. I know you're wondering what is going on. But whatever you find in that phone will go to Sandra if you try to testify against Kenneth in court. You were warned. What have you done, Leon? You've messed up big time. You screwed up. You screwed up.
Tony has suddenly grown wings that he now challenges me. I want him thrown out of that house immediately. I can no longer tolerate him. How dare he raise his hand to slap me? Am I his mate? No, am I? Brother, you have to tell him to leave the house immediately. Listening to me at all? I'm not saying anything. If you can't stay with Tony in that house, would you come and stay with me in this cell? What does that supposed to mean? I'm right here in this cell, and possibly going to prison from here. And I don't know if I'm ever going to gain my freedom again. And you come here with all this stupid. <laughs> Stupid and senseless talks. Are you listening to yourself at all? Go, go, brother. No buts. Just go away and leave me in peace. If you cannot handle Tony, that is your business. But do not come here and add to mine. What's the meaning of this? Come on. Stop acting like you don't want it. If by want it, you mean sex. Sorry, I don't. And why? Because it's not food. And I'm not in the mood. Come on, but I'm in the mood. Okay. Then look for another lady elsewhere. Because this one right here isn't cut out for this. Why are you saying that? Do you think I just jump into bed with any woman? Then clear my doubts. Meaning? Meaning I've had a busy day. I need my privacy. Why do I feel like you just used me? For what exactly? Wow. I get it. Thanks. You're welcome. For coming, hope there's no problem. Well, no. Is a uh, miracle home? No, she's not. Okay. Um, well, I don't know how you take this, but um, what I'm about to say. you understand. What could it be? I, uh, I, I, I might not be able to 
testify against him in the court. And I, I, I hope you can understand. It's not. I, 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 I didn't mean for it to happen this way. Get out. Get out! What is it, Irene? What is it? I have already told Sandra whom it is fine against Kenneth in the court. So what, what do you want this time? Well, I think I still have the power to decide other things. Things like what? Calm down. I'm not asking you to kill someone. I just want you to go to the police station to visit Kenneth and offer him your support. What? You heard me. Uma, what do you want? Guy, calm down. What's he define? Now you are the fine. Me? Yes. Any problem? Any wahala? Mm -hmm. uh, I have a job for you. Okay, make a year. <laughs> okay, what do you want? I want us to take a good look at that. Hmm? Follow her, know her movement. Then I will tell you what the next movement will be. No, Yawa. I mean, you know, Gewala. No worries at all. Consider it done. I want a clean job. You know, get worries. Eh? Mama, mama. <laughs> Correct, woman. Oh, boy. Jay. You know, make, make you hold this one. Now, we'll put this on. We'll talk later. Go as far. Thank you. Thank you. What's the matter? You've been like this ever since I got back from school. I also heard that dad came by. He said the real girl like this. A father is such a disgrace. I wonder how I married him in the first place and lived with him all those years. He's such a waste. A huge mistake and a coward. wonders that I yet have seen, that which seems strange to me, is to behold a beauty like this tumbling before me. Ah, sorry, um, I'll be honored if this beauty consider me worthy of hearing her voice over the phone.
Hi, darling. Come on. What do you happen to see me? What are you doing here? Come on. Come down. I mean, you know I'm okay. Even though you offended and abandoned me, I still don't wish you bad. I'm here to give us a chance. What do you mean by us? Ken, I never stopped loving you. Even when you left me for my sister, my feelings for you never died. I'm here to get you out of this place. But that will only be possible if you give us a chance. So you mean you, you mean to get me out of this hole if, if I just... Yes! But it has to be genuine. It has to come from the heart. From your heart. You know, I... I never, I really never loved your sister. Well, she was, she was the one that forced herself on me, and then, and I, I, I didn't have a choice. I, I, I just had to, I, I had to okay. marry her. I didn't want to shame your family. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, darling. It's okay. I understand. The no. Hmm? I'm here now. Everything will be fine. Thank you. Yeah, but the evidence against you is very, very strong. Well, you know me. I will see you. The fixer. I'll okay. fix everything. Okay? Thank you. I missed you. I missed you. I'm sure you missed it. What? I know you asked me what I came to do in this house. Mm -hmm. I never gave you an answer. That's because I didn't have one. But I'm here to answer you. I am not your enemy. I'm on your side. I want to help Kenneth get out of jail and make him a free man again. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to believe that? It's your choice. So, 
How do I know you're not lying? You don't. You just let time and action tell. Mrs. Susan Du's fan was on top here before I left. Who touched these files? The file is missing. Esther's file. Notice the file was missing. Today, I came in with another patient's picture to document and discover her file was not at the top where I left it. This can only mean that someone else entered your office. And it has to be someone who knows about Esther's death and is aware her husband is in jail. Do you have any suspects? No, I don't. What about you? I mean, a nurse could do this for the money. You may be right. This is not good. Miss Irene Desmond. Tell this honorable court about Esther Badmus and of course your relationship with her. The deceased was my elder sister. She never loved her husband. Her husband just wanted them to have one more child, just one more. She blatantly refused. And when he insisted, she promised to make life a living hell for him. So tell me, when last did you see your sister? Well, it's been quite some years. But we keep in touch on phone. My lord, do you know that Esther knowingly provokes her husband? Oh yes. To the extent that sometimes she slaps him. Yes. You know, just to get him angry so he would hit her. But, you know, Kenneth, he's such a sweet man. He would never do that. Esther wanted out of that marriage. She just didn't want it to be her fault. So, she planned the fall from the stairs. I guess she didn't know she would meet her end in the process. My lord, I'm done with the witness. Oh, barrister. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a wonderful job you did in there. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Money speaks. <laughs> How could you? Oops. How dare you slander your sister like that? You're such a disgusting person. Tell me. How much? How much were you paid to say those trash in there? I'm sorry, Sandra, but I do not owe you or anyone an explanation. You are a disgrace to women. I feel like sniffing life out of you right now for what you did today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel that way. But with time, you get over it. This is not happening. Why, Irene? Why? You were a plus to us. Now we have lost the evidence. And you have given that monster an edge over us. I will never forgive you for this. It's a promise. First, you slander your sister in court, and here you are dropping a flower for her. Are you not contradicting yourself? Sandra, please, I'm here for my sister. You can start, okay? Give the dead some respect. Look who is talking about respect for the dead. The same you who took away the only respect she had left. You stripped her of her honor in public. Esther is my sister, and I love her more than you can ever imagine. Excuse me. I hope you can sleep this night. Because I won't be surprised if you don't. What are you talking about? Kenneth is my brother. But I will never support him in court the way you did today. For a second, I was tempted to believe that you were involved with him somehow. You disappointed me beyond words, Irene. I hope the worst fate falls on you. Then your sister will turn in her grief, out of grief for the disgrace she has as a sister. Shame on you, Ivy. Huge shame on you. Completely worn out. Hey, guests. 
Frida. Augusta. Okay. You guys should come downstairs for dinner, okay? It's tomorrow. I hope you're ready. All right. Yeah. Must I do this? Sandra would never forgive me. This is going to destroy my marriage. Like I care. Listen, getting Ken out of that place is the most important thing in my mind. And I don't care who has to pay for that to happen. But Asta is your sister. Why are you here bent on allowing her mother to go free? That is none of your business. Just stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Or you risk losing everything. Whatever. See you in court tomorrow. And oh, dress sexy. Mrs. Sandra Leon, you have tried to convince this honorable court to believe that my client have constantly abused his late wife before now. Do you have any proof to your words? Because, I mean, we know these are mere words. The doctor handling her case when she was alive had pictures and he can testify to that. My lord, that will be all for this witness. I would like to call on Dr. Ben Felix to take the witness stand. Dr. Ben Felix? Christian or a Muslim? I am a Christian. Please place your hand on the Bible and repeat after me. I, Dr. Ben Felix. I, Dr. Ben Felix. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That the evidence I shall tender before this honorable court that the evidence I shall tender before this court shall be the truth shall be the truth the whole truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and nothing but the truth so help me God so help me God Dr. Ben Felix tell this court what you know about the diseased and your relationship with her. Mrs. Esther Badmos was my patient. She is one of the women who have been domestically abused by their husband, and um, I used to treat them always. Did Esther at any point confide in you? Probably had told you that her husband abuses her? She didn't need to tell me. Oh, you just assumed. The signs are there. The scars, the marks, it's, it's very obvious. She didn't tell me and um, neither did she deny it. Mere words. It's okay. 
You have made this court to believe that you have pictures of um, women with similar situations that you've treated. Can this court see those pictures? I do not have them. Why? They were stolen from my office. Wow. My lord. It is clear that everything said here are mere speculations. If there is no facts, if there is no proof, then there is no crime. That will be all I know. Any cross examinations? None, Your Honor. Oh, my lord. I will. Uh quickly call Mr. Leon Charles to take the stand. Mr. Leon Charles? Mr. Leon Charles, are you a Christian or a Muslim? I'm not a Christian. Please place your hand on the Bible and repeat after me. I, Mr. Leon Charles, I, Mr. Leon Charles, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that the evidence I shall tender before those courts, that the evidence I shall tender before the court, shall be the truth shall be the truth shall be the truth the whole truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and nothing but the truth so help me god <coughs> mr leon charles correct me if i'm wrong from your name um Mrs. Sandra Leon happens to be your wife. Yes. Your wife tries to make those courts to believe that my client here is an abuser and has constantly abused his wife that has led to her death. What do you have to say about that? That's, that's, that's not true. Mr. Mr. Kenneth would not hit his wife for any reason. Are you saying that your wife lied to the court even while on the boat? Yes. Another witness by name Irene said um, Esther was actually the abuser. Do you agree? Several times, Esther pushed Kenneth to the point of hitting her, but he, he never did. I understand that you're separated from your wife. Why? It was a decision that was made um, that both of us in interest. Oh, you, you taught? Or because she was constantly abusing you, so you, 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 you decided to part ways. Objection, my lord. The defendant is deviating. Barrister Francis, what do you want to achieve with all this? My lord, it is obvious. Sandra, Sarah, Esther, they are three friends. Sandra constantly abuses her husband and that has led to their separation. Sarah, on the other hand, murdered her husband in cold blood. And here is Esther claiming to be the victim. <laughs> My lord, is it not obvious that the fall was staged and she couldn't handle the outcome? That's 
Any cross-examination? Yes, Your Lordship. So, Mr. Leon Charles, you claim before this honorable court that the reason you are separated with your wife is because she's violent. Let me ask you a question. On a scale of 1 to 20, how many times did you hit your wife? Objection, my lord. The prosecutor is derailing. My lord, just like him, I have something to prove. Go ahead. So, Mr. Leon, answer my question. Can't recall. You can't recall? Or you can't count? Or is it more than that? My lord, it is obvious that this man hit his wife and when she couldn't take it anymore, she decided to defend herself. I mean, if all women in abusive marriages and relationships do sin, then we will have more separations than death. And to me, that's fair enough. That will be all for this witness. Alright. The court will go on a 10 minutes recess. And when we reconvene, I will give my judgment. Before I deliver my judgment, you both have the chance to present your case for the last time. Thank you, my lord. My lord, this is a clear case of plans set up that did not go well. Esther actually wanted to put her husband in trouble, but could not control the outcome of it. Time after time, People always connect men as a culprit to every domestic violence. But they have failed to consider the fact that there are some other men that are victims in their homes. No one knows. They just keep quiet and they endure it. Pray and hope that it gets better. My Lord, my client, Kenneth Madness is one of those men that has endured through to the end, even after the death of his abusive wife. And today, the same man is here before all of us, begging for his freedom. My Lord, if set free today, the society will know that the justice system can differentiate between the right in wrong. And the women who claims victim will then know that they cannot get away with it. Thank you, my lord. <clears throat> my lord, contrary to what my colleague here is saying, indeed women are the most victims of domestic violence. And the society doesn't even make it easy for them. The society puts them under pressure, makes them glued to these abusive marriages because according to them, women are supposed to make their marriages work. That even if they decide to dissociate themselves from their husbands, that the men can easily remarry while they remain single. My Lord, these reasons and more are the issues why women are still binding to bad marriages, domestic violence involved, because they feel that if they speak up, the society wouldn't accept them. My Lord, talking about Esther, Esther is one of such women. It's so sad, it's so appalling that Esther is no more. Esther is someone who plays premium on family and peace. Esther could give up anything, anything, just for her family. My Lord, 
it will interest you to know that there are so many women out there with the same faith as Esther, who believe that there is no law, who believe that, that, that there's no system that works. But they are in their closets, hoping, believing, crying that this case will mark a revolution for good. That this case will be the beginning, this case will be a turning point for something new. An opportunity for them to cry out loud without anyone halting them. My Lord, Mr. Kenneth Badmus should be used as a scapegoat to send a strong warning to abusers like himself and give hope to women in the same condition. Women who have been through hell and back. Women who have passed through domestic violence and survived. That will be all, my Lord. With the evidence presented before this court, Mr. Kenneth Badmos is hereby discharged and acquitted of all charges against him. And he is hereby declared a free man. This is my judgment. God! God right. Sandra. Sandra, look, I'm, I am very sorry. I, I promise I didn't do that on, 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 on my own. I promise. Stay the hell away from me! Rubbish! Very much for your job well done. My pleasure. I will send more money across to you. Thank you. Irene, thank you. Irene, have you seen what you have cost? Look, have you seen what you have cost? You have completely destroyed me. You have ruined the very last chance I had with my wife. Do you know that? Do you know that? <laughs> You're laughing. Uh, I did all of that. Whoa. The last time I checked, you had a choice and you made one. Get a grip. Excuse me. Tony, you know you surprise me most times. I'm wondering if you actually wanted me to stay in jail or to be free. Which one? Sensitive issues like this we should not be discussed in the dining. What's the fall in front of the kids? Don't you think so? Why? Tell me. I mean, this is my house. And to think that you are happy that I'm in jail, it annoys me. You know what? If that's what you want, then fine. You were in jail because you murdered your wife in cold blood. I wonder which same country allows a man like that walk through the streets. Enough, Tony. Please. This is not the right time 
or place for this kind of discussion. No, no, just leave him. Let him talk. I've got guns now. You can talk to me. Hmm? If every other person will be fighting for my freedom and you, my own blood, would sit comfortably under my roof while I'm in jail. What more can one expect? You see that? That is why you shouldn't discuss sensitive issues like this in front of kids. Tony, you're very, very stupid. You're stupid. I don't even, I don't know how come we are related. Because your attitude just, it pisses me off. My attitude will piss you off because I am different. I am different from all of you. The worst is the woman whose sister was murdered by your hands, fighting for your freedom. I am I'm disappointed and ashamed of you all. You ungrateful idiot. If you are ashamed of all of us, why are you still here? Why don't you get the hell out? You know, for once I think you're right. I shouldn't be here. idea how this hurts me. Please don't be mad at me. I beg you. Please. You know you look really beautiful when you're angry. You should get more angry, you know? <laughs> I'm only a dog like you. 
that can pull these stupid stunts. Now get your trash of car out of the way. Hey, come on, come down, huh? See, I, I understand you can be angry with me, okay? But what has my innocent car done to you? <laughs> Everything relating to you is filthy. Oh. Yeah. You're actually relating to me right now. Do you think so? <laughs> so, what does it mean? You're filthy? <laughs> All right, see, um, I'm so sorry, darling. I know you did everything to keep me behind bars. Yeah, but I'm also very sure that your friend would appreciate your efforts. But you know, a lion like me would always find his way out of the jungle. <laughs> you are clueless. And only a clueless lion like yourself that does not understand the difference between a battle and a war. Get ready, Kenneth. Your freedom is not final. I will personally see to that. You will not last long. Get this trash out of the way. Wait, wait, just a minute. Uh, is that a threat? No. Sandra does not make threats. She makes promises. Animal. Get the car out of the way. <laughs> you don't know how happy I am, my brother. Like I have, I have missed this a whole lot. <laughs> it's it's really good to be a free man. It only does that I've never been restricted in their life. that won't understand. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Anyways, it's uh, it's good to have you back. Uh, missed having a friend to talk to. <laughs> mm -hmm. By the way, I ran into that. Uh, a uh, bitch of, of, of your ex <laughs> on my way down here. I saw her. <laughs> Sandra is not a bitch. Huh? What are you talking about? Sandra is not a bitch all of a sudden? Huh? Now you defend her? After all that she did to you, you're obviously stupid. No wonder she just uses you as a trash. I'm not defending her. I just don't appreciate it when you call women bitches. They have names. No, 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 no. This is, this is strange. I mean, you do that all the time. So what has changed? I mean, I just stayed a few months in prison uh, and I'm out and then, then you're sounding this way. What, what, what has changed exactly? No. Anyways, you needed to see the way I spoke to her. <laughs> I gave it to her real hard. She was so angry <laughs> that I almost shed tears because of laughter. <laughs> and then imagine, she was actually threatening me. Me? <laughs> she was like, uh, um, I, I won't last long. I'm like, what are you talking about? Are you okay? Do, do I look like Leon to you? <laughs> and what are you supposed to mean? Come on, Leon. Every, everybody knows. She's only strong when it comes to you. She can't try any of that nonsense with me. So you have become a puppet that she just, she just uses you anyhow. She ma manipulates you at her will. Sandra is scared of me. Hmm. She is so scared of me that she asks for a divorce. Because she knows that if she's not asked for that divorce, by now she'll end up like Esther. I don't think so. She was just being smart. Mm -hmm. You are a weak man. Even my, my, my younger brother, Tony, in all his weakness, he's still stronger that than... That is very false. Uh -huh. Okay, if it's false, then why is it that she, she she's the one keeping miracle and not you? Huh? If you're a real man, why is that? I'm just laughing at you. I'm laughing at you because it is my decision. I decided that. I can as well ask her to give me back my daughter and she will give it back to me immediately. Mm. I can have her back just like this and she's back. You will have her back just like this and yes. she's back. You will have her just like this and she's back. So have her! If, I, if you have her just like this, then I would believe so anything you tell me. I'm just going to believe you after that. Mm. Yeah. Good. 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 Good.
get her back just to prove to you that I am still the man in the situation. She will do that. Go ahead, my friend. Take a joy away from her. She will feel the pain like mad. What is the look for? Huh? Doctor, how is my friend? This is what happened to my friend, and how is her condition? Um, well, I'm sorry, Mrs. Sandra. Your friend has been raped. Raped? How? That I do not know. She's fine physically, but um, she's emotionally down. This can be happening now. Not again. Please, may I see her now? Um, not now. She's asleep now. Maybe you can come tomorrow. It's pretty late. It's alright, doctor. Please take good care of her. I'll see her in the morning. Alright then. Good night. Thank you. Good morning, Dad. Why are you here this early? Um, sorry to disturb you. But I just want to find out something. What is it? If I decide to take care of you from your mom, will you be happy with me? I don't understand. What do you mean? Do you want to take me away from my mom? Something like that. I thought you've changed, but I'm sorry. I can't leave my mom to be with you. Whoever did this to you must not go unpunished. <laughs> what kind of life is this? Has rape become my food? No, honey. It hasn't. It's no one's food and can never be. I'm really sorry for what you're going through. I am. It was not my fault, my son, guys. It was not my fault. You pushed me! What are you talking about? Her son. Did Mrs. Daniel do this to you? Yes. Yes, I'm sure with everything in me that she did this. <laughs> My goodness. Then she has overstepped all her boundaries. And she has to answer for this. I promise you, she must pay for this. <laughs> Inspector, I've told you all I know. Yes, she is not my friend. But I am angry with her for killing my son. But the question is, why would I have a rent? Would you bring back my son? Honestly, in all fairness, I would have loved her to suffer, but not this way. Oh, well, madam. The investigation is still going on. I hope you will available when next we call on you again, eh? Sure, I will. Always. But when you find them, 
make sure they pay. At the end, she is still my daughter, you know. Of course, ma'am. Who will? If that will go I better take my home. Well, that will be all for now. Why are you doing here? I just want to see you. I want to talk to you. Please, I... I have no business with you and I don't want to. You have someone like you in the house, why not go and enjoy his company? Your brother, it's not like you. He's not you. He's a different person altogether. That's strange coming from you. Especially knowing that you helped him out of jail. See, Harry, I don't know what you want from life, but I'm very grateful you turned me down. I've been feeling guilty by now. I'm not a bad person, Tony. I just wish you would understand. The police found nothing on me. So why can't you make peace with that? Your friend got exactly what she deserved. You know, the world often say that women, we are our problem. And somehow we tend to always prove them right. The police may have let you go. But I know you have a hand in what happened. So I invited you here to warn you not to rejoice yet. For no crime goes unpunished. Yes, my friend may be in pain right now. But guess what? You will be in a deeper pain soon. I am not done with your friend yet. But the truth is that I don't have any hand in whatever happened to her. But my darling, tell your friend to watch her back because I will hit her so hard. You have hit her hard enough. Mm -hmm. But wait until she hits back. Really? She will not go scot-free, I assure you. My darling, you actually think you're a tigress, right? Fighting everyone's battle. But let me shock you. This battle is way, way, way beyond you. <laughs> um, I'm glad you know I'm a tigress. And I fight for my loved ones with everything I've got. Mm. So be warned. Get out. Sarah, I am not the enemy here. And you're not a friend either. So please, leave. Immediately. Sarah, I mean well. If you can betray your own dead sister, then you can gang up with my late husband's mother. Yes. You're like the devil. Anyone eating with you should use a long spoon. Wait, are you... I'm not finished. Please, before you do any more harm than you've done already, leave. Are you saying your mother-in-law did this to you? Does that change who you are? Please, Sarah, tell me, is she responsible for this? Get out. Sarah, you just, just tell me. And 
Don't you dare. Ah. Who the hell are you and how dare you hit me? And I will blow off your brains. Ah. Sorry for my rude introduction. I know you are an elder and I shouldn't hit you. But when an elder refuses to behave like one, the children will bring her back to order. Do you know who I am? I can look you up and, and nothing, nothing will happen. You will do no such thing. Oh, you are sure a despicable person. How do you sleep at night? I mean, how do you do it? After putting your fellow woman through hell, all in the name of revenge. Oh, I see. Sarah signs you, right? She doesn't have to. I came here of my own. And I'm here to warn you to stay away uh -huh. from Sarah and Sandra. They are special to me. Is it? Is it? And I am not as kind-hearted as they are. So if you, mm -hmm. as much as go close to them, talk more of hurting them, <laughs> you will face my wrath. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Be an adult and stay away. You don't want to see me again. Um, you take it. But I don't understand. Why don't you understand? Is it the car or the wash? But. But no. nothing. Go and wash the car. You should be doing that. That's a real man talking. And when real men talk, you stand up. Okay, don't, don't talk too much. Are you blaming this one? And you think it's when you wear uh, pant trousers that you're a man? Eh? My friend, go and wash the car and get it ready for me. Move. It's like you will be putting a polythene bag or something before you even sit down in this chair. Tears will not solve anything, you know. You are a man for Christ's sake. Aside that you're a human being. You have feelings. You have rights. <laughs> Listen, if you tolerate injustice, it will never stop. If you accept one slap today, tomorrow you will take double. What will you lose if you stand up to them for once? Nothing. But what will you gain? Your self-respect, your dignity, your honor. Just name it. I mean, if Becky and Ken refuses to accept the fact that you will not accept any form of mistreatment, what will happen? Becky will divorce you. Ken will threw you out of his house. That's all. Nothing else would happen. You, Kefas, you've been abused domestically and emotionally. It is now left for you to take it and remain where you are. Or rise and defend your honor. Defend your respect, your dignity. The choice is yours.
Came to my school the other day. Does he want this time? Promise me you won't get mad. Why do I have a feeling I will? That's why I want you to promise. Fine, I promise. The look in your eyes, Carrie. Get out with it already, Miracle. What does your father want? Fine, he wants to take me away from you. He... What's this madness about taking Miracle from me? Um. Are you really serious? You want to battle custody with me now? Well, she's also my daughter. And have I stopped you from being her father? I thought you have changed. I thought that one day I'll understand the reason behind your betrayal in court. But now, I know better. You can never change. And we are better off without you. Thanks for reminding me of who you truly are. But listen here. If you think you want to go against me in court, bring it on. I'll be waiting. I thought that after all those years, by now you would have started thinking for yourself. Instead, you still listen to sick people like Kenneth. I'll always be disappointed in you anyways. See you in court whenever. She did it. I told you that woman is responsible for what happened to me. I know. But you don't have a proof. She confirmed this, Sandra. She looked me straight in the face and laughed at me. She told me that she was not done with me yet and that the rape is just the beginning. That woman has some guts. Honey, it's just your word against hers. The police has nothing on her. They have nothing to incriminate her. <laughs> she must not go unpunished. I will see to that. Of course she will not go unpunished. But did you just mention she confirmed it to you? Yes. Good. Then you can get her to do it again. How? I'll tell you. But honey, you need to calm down. You take a sip. Hmm? Easy. Ooh. This is not even funny. I know. <laughs> what have you done? You have lost the only chance you have to get back into your lives. You are so stupid. How come I ever listened to Kenneth? Now everything is finished. Totally finished. Wow. You actually came. For once, I thought you would be a coward and shy away from meeting your enemy. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm not like you. I like facing all my enemies. It gives me the strength and the eagerness to destroy them. Hmm. So I see. 
And you never thought that coming here to see me tonight might just be a trap. Trap? <laughs> wow. <laughs> For the record, I know that you are born alone in this house. And I have my men outside to alert me of anything. And I know you're too weak a woman to think about anything stupid. And by men, I assume you're referring to the ones you sent to rape me. No? That's what you said. But both of us knows that rape is something you enjoy so much. So cut to the chase, why did you ask me to come here? Oh, nothing serious. I just wanted you to take a good look at me. And you realize that your stupid plan of trying to destroy me through rape obviously did not work out. Okay. Please, ma'am, try something else next time. I'm sure you can be more creative. Hmm, Sarah. I must say you look good. Thank you. I know my men did you a favor. They reminded you of what you love so much. I remember those days when you used to yearn and beg Kelvin for more. You have the sickest fetish. Your ever. son was the sick one. He was not man enough. And that was why he had to use force to get what he wanted. Really? Yes. But where is he now? Hmm? Six feet under with the worms. Sarah. What you what to say about my son? I promised you that. And that you're going to get. Once, I promise you, you're going to beg for it. No one, I repeat, no one takes the life of my only son and goes free. Wait for it. I have so much more in stuff. Oh, myself. bring it on, oh. Mrs. Daniels. Because I too have a lot in stuff for you. Mm. Yes, I do. But you know what? Unlike you, I will not use dirty means. I will ruin you. That is a promise. And for what you did to me, I will make sure that you are jailed for it. Mm -hmm. Sarah, poor little girl, no proof, no crime, you know, for once I thought you had something important to tell me, but it's just your usual ranting. I don't have to waste any more of my precious time here. So it's, um, ciao, ciao, baby. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> You sure did your homework well, but you should have done better. Bingo! <laughs> I told you to watch your back. But as usual, you took my words for granted. This is just the beginning, Sarah. Locking me away is not keeping me away. Mm. I will be back. But this time around, you prefer to be <laughs> And I'll be waiting. Move it! Move it! Move it! Stay far away! Move it! Is 
dinner ready? Why are you here? I'm asking you a simple question. Are you there for something? Well, if you can't prepare dinner, I guess we all have to go to bed hungry. And what does that supposed to mean? Didn't I ask you to prepare dinner? You did, Becky. And I decided not to. I am your husband, Becky. I'm not your helper. I deserve some respect from you. And when did this one start? Today and henceforth, I will no longer be used by you or your brother. And I think it's high time you start packing your things. We are leaving this house for our house. You must be joking. I'm very sure you're joking. Let's see who is joking. You are from now to the end of the week to decide whether to remain in your brother's house or to come home with your husband. And mind you, whatever decision you make is permanent. There you hit me, and I will blow off your brains. Oh, sorry for my rude introduction. I know you're an elder and I shouldn't hit you. But when an elder refuses to behave like one, the children will bring her back to other. Do you know who I am? I can look you up and, and nothing, nothing will happen. You will do no such thing. Oh, you are sure a despicable person. How do you sleep at night? I mean, how do you do it? After putting your fellow woman through hell, all in the name of revenge. Oh, I see. Sarah sent you, right? She doesn't have to. I came here of my own. And I'm here to warn you to stay away oh. from Sarah. And Sandra, they are special to me. Is it? Is it? And I am not as kind-hearted as they are. <coughs> so if you, mm. as much as go close to them, talk more of hurting them, <coughs> you will face my wrath. <laughs> Believe me. <coughs> Be an adult and stay away. You don't want to see me again. Um, you take I'll wash my towel. But I don't understand. What don't you understand? Is it the car or the wash? But. But you... nothing. Go and wash the car. You should be doing that. That's a real man talking, and when real men talk, you will stand up. Don't, don't talk too much. Are you blaming this one? And you think it's when you wear uh, pant trousers that you're a man? Eh? My friend, go and wash the car and get it ready for me. Move. It's like you will be putting a polythene bag or something before you even sit down in this chair. Tears will not solve anything, you know. You are a man for Christ's sake. Aside that, you're a human being. 
You have feelings. You have rights. <laughs> Listen, if you tolerate injustice, it will never stop. If you accept one slap today, tomorrow you will take double. What will you lose if you stand up to them for once? Nothing. But what will you gain? Your self-respect, your dignity, your honor. Just name it. I mean, if Becky and Ken refuses to accept the fact that you will not accept any form of mistreatment, what will happen? Becky will divorce you. Ken will throw you out of his house. That's all. Nothing else would happen. You, Kefas, you've been abused domestically and emotionally. It is not left for you to take it and remain where you are. Or rise and defend your honor. Defend your respect, your dignity. The choice is yours. to my school the other day. The other one this time. Promise me you won't get mad. Why do I have a feeling I will? That's why I want you to promise. Fine, I promise. The look in your eyes, Carrie. Get out with it already, Miracle. What does your father want? Fine, he wants to take me away from you. He... What's this madness about taking Miracle from me? Um. Are you really serious? You want to battle custody with me now? Well, she's also my daughter. And have I stopped you from being her father? I thought you have changed. I thought that one day I'll understand the reason behind your betrayal in court. But now, I know better. You can never change. And we are better off without you. Thanks for reminding me of who you truly are. But listen here. If you think you want to go against me in court, bring it on. I'll be waiting. I thought that after all those years, by now you would have started thinking for yourself. Instead, you still listen to sick people like Kenneth. I'll always be disappointed in you anyways. See you in court whenever. She did it. I told you that woman is responsible for what happened to me. I know. But you don't have a proof. She confirmed this, Sandra. She looked me straight in the face and laughed at me. She told me that she was not done with me yet and that the rape is just the beginning. That woman has some guts. Honey, it's just your word against hers. The police has nothing on her. They have nothing to incriminate her. <laughs> she must not go unpunished. I will see to that. Of course she will not go unpunished. But did you just mention she confirmed it to you? 
Yes, good. Then you can get her to do it again. How? I'll tell you. But honey, you need to calm down. You take a sip. Hmm? Easy. Ooh. This is not even funny. I know. <laughs> Ian, what have you done? You have lost the only chance you have to get back into your lives. You are so stupid. How come I ever listened to Kenneth? Now everything is finished. Totally finished. Wow. You actually came. For once, I thought you would be a coward and shy away from meeting your enemy. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm not like you. I like facing all my enemies. It gives me the strength and the eagerness to destroy them. Mm -hmm. I see. And you never thought that coming here to see me tonight might just be a trap. Trap? <laughs> wow. <laughs> For the record, I know that you are all alone in this house. And I have my men outside to alert me of anything. And I know you're too weak a woman to think about anything stupid. And by men, I assume you're referring to the ones you sent to rape me. No? That's what you said. But both of us knows that rape is something you enjoy so much. So cut to the chase, why did you ask me to come here? Oh, nothing serious. I just wanted you to take a good look at me. And you realize that your stupid plan of trying to destroy me through rape obviously did not work out. Okay. Please, ma'am, try something else next time. I'm sure you can be more creative. Hmm, Sarah. I must say you look good. Thank you. I know my men did you a favor. They reminded you of what you love so much. I remember those days when you used to kneel and beg Kelvin for more. You have the sickest fetish. Your ever. son was the sick one. He was not man enough. And that was why he had to use force to get what he wanted. Really? Yes. But where is he now? Hmm? Six feet under with the worms. Sarah. What you what to say about my son? I promised you that. And that you're going to get. Once, I promise you, you're going to beg for it. No one, I repeat, no one takes the life of my only son and goes free. Wait for it. I have so much more in stuff. Oh, bring it on, oh. Mrs. Daniels. Because I too have a lot in stuff for you. Mm. Yes, I do. But you know what? Unlike you, I will not use dirty means. I will ruin you. That is a promise. And for what you did to me, I will make sure that you're jailed for it. Mm -hmm. Sarah, poor little girl, no proof, no crime, you know, for once I thought you had something important to tell me, but it's just your usual ranting. I don't have to waste any more of my precious time here. So it's, um, ciao, ciao, baby. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh, 
You sure did your homework well. But you should have done better. Bingo! you took my words for granted. This is just the beginning, Sarah. Locking me away is not keeping me away. Mm. I will be back. But this time around, you prefer to be <laughs> And I'll be waiting. Move it! Oh, Move it! Stay far away! Move it! Dinner ready? Why are you here? I'm asking you a simple question. Are you there for something? Well, if you can't prepare dinner, I guess we all have to go to bed hungry. And what does that supposed to mean? Didn't I ask you to prepare dinner? You did, Becky. And I decided not to. I am your husband, Becky. I'm not your helper. I deserve some respect from you. And when did this one start? Today. And as folks, I will no longer be used by you or your brother. And I think it's high time you start packing your things. We are leaving this house for our house. You must be joking. I'm very sure you're joking. Let's see who is joking. You are from now to the end of the week to decide whether to remain in your brother's house or to come home with your husband. And mind you, whatever decision you make is permanent. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm perfect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I heard about your story. I am so sorry. I was out of the country at that time. My dear, you did the right thing. At least you did what was necessary at that time. Story of my life. We all have one to tell, don't yeah. we? Yes. Yeah. And that is why I want you to go back to work again. You've rested enough. There are still women out there who need to know about life and domestic violence. Do I have the strength for that? I'm not so sure. Yes, you do. You do not strike me as someone who could give up easily. Now is the time they need to know the truth. Look at me. My life is now better. Now, you have a first-hand testimony. I believe you can still do it. You know, listening to you talk right now just makes me recall my days, which you can still get back to. <laughs> thank you for this. Thank you so much. And, and thank you for this. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, then. You take care. Take care. You still have my car, right? Yeah. So just call me anytime. All right. All right. How are you? I'm good. Oh, yeah. Look at you. <laughs> mm. You're gorgeous. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> um, what this guys? They didn't bring something for you now. Oh, no, no. Not to worry. I'm fine. Okay. Calories. <laughs> oh, I figured. 
So what is it that cannot wait? Girl, I want to go back to work. You do? Oh, this is so amazing. You know, I've been meaning to say this to you, but I just wanted you to decide on your own. Mm. <laughs> wow. So what's informed this decision? Um, I ran into an old client of mine okay. and she opened my eyes to the fact that I can still save more women out there. There are many women out there waiting to be saved. And funny enough, since she said it, I just feel myself coming back to life again. I feel great. This is good. Really good. So how soon are you resuming work? <laughs> as soon as your chance to come with me. Me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Whenever you're ready. I will make chance. <laughs> and I am super proud of you. This is a good way to bounce back and get your life back together. Exactly. And I just feel myself coming back to life. You know, regenerating. Yeah. Like I said, I'm happy for you, my friend. <laughs> I am. Thank you. <laughs> and um, honestly, Sandra, thank you so much for always supporting me and standing by me. I couldn't have asked for a better friend. <laughs> oh, sister. <laughs> you can say that again. Anything for you, honey. Come here. Ah, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Why are you sitting down and quiet all by yourself? Honestly, Ki, I don't know what to make of this. What are you talking about? Kefas has really changed. He is now a different person altogether. In English, please. Can you imagine? I asked him to make dinner yesterday, mm -hmm. and he refused. Since then, he has been insisting we are leaving this house. Are you serious? Is he mad? How dare he? You know what, I think I need to put him back on track. Where is he? He should be in the room. Excuse me. I beg your pardon. My sister said you have grown wings. So I've come to see how long they are. Oh, if saying what I want for the first time in a long time is growing wings, then um, the wings is longer than you can imagine. How dare you talk to me like that? Are you mad? Are you surprised? Men like you don't talk. They take instructions. Maybe I once did, but not anymore. I'm sure your sister told you everything. We will be leaving this house. Oh, I will be leaving this house. And she has a choice to either stay with you or come with me. I have told her whatever decision she makes is final. And if you are done asking me stupid and silly questions, I want to head out. I have things to do. Wow! Impressive! Ha! Huh. All you just needed was just that little encouragement and you went all out. I'm very proud of you, man. Have you been stalking me? I'm an ear to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you said, all I needed was just that little encouragement. Thank you very much, Irene. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> And I'm so happy I listened to you. Now I feel like a real man. That is the whole idea. Yes. <laughs> Stand your ground and no one will do rubbish. You're a very strong man inside. You know that strength is needed from time to time to show the manliness in you. <laughs> oh, my friend. But never, ever you hit your wife. That would be one step too far. I promise you, it will not get to that. Good. <laughs> All the best, my friend. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah. 
Mas, <coughs> que viu, mano? <risos> que, thank you. What happened? He first just left. He has obviously lost his mind. But not to worry. I'm going to deal with him because he has no idea who he's messing with. What do you mean you're going to deal with him? Have you forgotten he's my husband? And when did you start to care about him? I care about him. I can't do without him, Kay. He is one man that have tolerated my excesses. I do love him. Well, you have a funny and strange way of showing it. All right, if you won't let me deal with him, then you can handle your problem all by yourself. But just know one thing, that I won't watch him talk to me in the manner he did. I wouldn't take it. Okay, fine. I will handle this. Thanks for trying anyway. This is such a mess. You have loads of work to do. Cleaning, dusting. I miss her so much, you know. It's so sad that we won't see her again. And each time I think of, I think of the manner at which she was forced out of this world. I can't help but shed tears. Why? I mean, why does the good ones have to leave first? Kenneth should have gone. Your Kevin should have dragged him along. My dear. We can't choose how we are born or how we die. But sometimes we have control of how we live. Believe me, Kenneth will not go unpunished. Of course, my dear, that's a given. Don't worry yourself about it. You know what? I think I should um, put up this picture here somewhere, frame it up. It will make a good story for people to hear, especially for domestically abused women who just sit and take it. Stories just like us. You know, perhaps would have been dead by now if we haven't fought back. Yes. It's all right, dear. Just come help me clean up this place. You can see what it is. Sweetie, can you please put this picture away? Aww. I know, I know. <clears throat> it looks like I'm not the only one who is unable to sleep. <clears throat> that time of the year, huh? Hmm. I can imagine. <laughs> Tony. Thank you. So, why are you unable to sleep? Um, I've not really placed my hand on it. I guess it's that time of year for me too. <laughs> I can imagine. <clears throat> so, when are you leaving? Uh, in two days. Hmm. Is she coming with? I wish she could, but I'm not counting on it. I understand. Um, I've been meaning to ask you this. I hope you won't take it the wrong way. Shoot. Um, you talk about Ken like he's a monster, and you even ask me to rise up against him. If you hate him that much, why did you support him against your late sister? Mm. Good question. But unfortunately, 
It's an answer I too do not have. You do not have or you can't tell. Choose one and complete this statement. <laughs> I like you. You are very cunning. Though you can be confusing at times. Human nature. Hmm. Human nature. Um, I have one thing to say to you again. I don't know what you want from Ken. But I'd rather you fight and keep back what you had with Tony. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Cheers. Oh, uh, cheers. <laughs> Please, ma. I don't know what to do again. This beating cannot continue. Yes, the beating is too much, ma. I need your help. I need you to talk to him. I love him so much and I don't want to lose him. I understand you. But I have some questions to ask you. Between this man and yourself, who do you love the most? What do you mean by that? It's a simple question, madam. Who do you love the most? Of course, I love myself the most. Then run. Yes. Take to your heels. A woman bitter is a woman bitter. He will not change because of marriage. That is a big lie. Listen, if you love yourself more, like you just said, then run. Even the Bible said flee. That is all I have to say to you. I thought you are going to make this relationship work out. No, I can make it work out. But that would be me making another possible crime scene. Meaning? If this continues, two things might happen. It's either you end up being murdered or you become a murderer yourself. So my dear, the easier and safer option is for you to walk away. The choice is yours. Think about it. I don't know how it's gotten into you. But I do know one thing. I do not want you to leave. Please, my love, let's just stay, stay a bit more. We can leave by the end of the month or so. Please. No, Becky. It's either you come with me or you stay here with your brother. I have left my business all this while because of you. I'm, I can't do it anymore. I have to go. I can't stay in a place where I am tolerating. No, 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 no. Nobody is tolerating you. You're not being tolerated at all. Okay, I promise you. I will make sure nobody talks to you anyhow. Please. That is not the case. Because I won't allow it to happen. Pack your things. We leave tomorrow. That is, of course, if you still want to come with me.
Não, filha. Bota, força. Filha, eu me furo, filho. Não, não. Não, não, não. Eat the shit. Hey, what is it? Why are you not writing? You don't know what to write anymore. I know what to write, Mom. I'm just thinking of something. Something? What could that be? Can I ask you a question? <sighs> Alright, still. I know my dad is a bad man, but do you still love him? Listen, honey, you are too young to be talking about things like this. Just concentrate and finish your homework. Remember you still have chores in the kitchen and you still wash your uniform. So finish your homework and stop asking me silly questions. Did you find my daddy? How is he? I'm sorry, I wasn't able to find him. I am just coming from the police station. I want to declare him missing. And I also hired a private investigator to look for him. I'm sure they will find him soon. Thank you very much, Irene. You know, I never knew you were such a good person. It's okay. God bless you. Thank you. Um, have you have you girls eaten? Not yet. Oh, why? Hey, don't worry, I've informed your Uncle Tony, okay? I'm sure he will come very soon. That one? I will not be surprised if he doesn't come. It's, um, can we go have dinner or something? Let's go Now it's a new person. And now these all things. Hi Tom. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Uncle, my dad is missing. No one has been able to find him. What now are you talking about? I know what are you saying? I thought you were joking over the phone. I wasn't joking. It's true. Um, he's been missing. Yeah, he has not come home since yesterday. His phones are all switched off. I've gone to the police to declare him missing since it's been over 24 hours. What? I mean, this, this is serious. And what about Becky and her husband? Where are they? They're in their room quarreling. Why must you say they are in their room quarreling? Because they always call and they are in the tunnel through. Just come, come and finish your work.
Yes, sir. So hold on. Hey, Timmy. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, man. Good. Uh, it. Okay. What brings you here? Um. What do you know about my brother's appearance? What are you talking about? Who's his appearance? Kenneth is missing. Dion, you are his only friend. What do you know about his movement recently? I mean, do you have any useful information? I don't. Have you called his number? Have you called the police? Or has anyone called for ransom? Dion, do you have any information that can help find him? If I could reach him on the phone, will I be here? Well, I'm just hearing about this for the first time. Besides, Kenneth is not one to get missing like that. Unless it's a case of kidnap. Who would want to kidnap him and why? I don't know. But I, I know that a lot of people are not happy with his release. Is, is that enough reason to kidnap him? You know, Kenneth has a very big mouth. So who knows what he must have said this time? Or who he threatened? I'm thinking about it. He made mention that he ran into Sandra and she she's told him that he won't be around for too long. Sandra said that. Yes, yeah, she did. Could Sandra do something like that? I don't know. I'm just saying what I know. Thank you very much, Chef. This is helpful. So what are you gonna do about it? The needful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sandra. When someone is missing like that, the family members are questioned in different ways. One is to know if there is any family member involved. Secondly, is to get a vital information in search of the missing person. Do you know if Kenneth had enemies? I don't know anyone I can classify as his enemy. And he has just one friend whom we've spoken to earlier. What about the quarry? Do you know if he had an argument with someone or someone treated him over anything? Yes. A woman threatened him after he was released from jail. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, we will start our investigation from there. Mr. Tony, you also help us in this. Okay. Is everything okay? Of course. Everything is fine. Why are you asking us if that's a problem? Hmm? So, what, I, 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 what are you doing? Oh, shh. Don't talk while you're eating. Stop, stop this nonsense and get out of here. What? What is wrong with you? Oh, so my brother is missing, then all of a sudden you're interested in me, sons? Are you kidding me? So because you can't get it from him anymore, then it boils down to me. Oh, please stop talking to me as if I'm some slut. Then stop acting like one. Yeah, hello Sandra, um, I've been trying to reach you all day. Is there a problem? Um, yes. Sandra, please, do you have anything to do with what's happening with Kenneth? What nonsense are you talking about? Leon, what happened to Kenneth? Are you drunk? 
no, Kenneth is missing and I remember you saying something to him like he was not going to be around for too long. Listen here, Leon. If you have nothing to tell me, please end the call. Because it's too late already and I need to rest. Sandra, listen. If you have Kenneth, let him go now. Before the police starts looking for you. Please, Leon. I do not have time for this, your nonsense. Get out of my phone. What have I done wrong? Did I make a mistake by telling Tony? Was I in trouble? She's gonna blame me for this. Oh, Lord, this is wrong. under arrest for the suspected kidnapping of Mr. Kenneth Badmos. You have every right to remain silent because whatsoever you do or say will be used against you in a court of law. Madam, you have right to a lawyer. But if you can't afford that, the state will provide one for you. Oh, please. You can't arrest my mom. She's not a criminal. Please, she has not done anything wrong. Please. Tony, I can assure you you are making a huge mistake. Madam, let's go. Excuse me. I've not yet been convicted. Besides, I'm not refusing arrest. Of course I'll go with you. But not in cuffs. Fine. Let's go. Yeah, honey. Call your Auntie Sarah. She'll come for you. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll be fine. Madam, you say you never had a quarrel with a man that is missing? Yes. Some people say you had an encounter with him and you told him he won't be around for long. You don't have a proof to that. It's mere speculation. Who heard when I said that to him and when? Well, madam, we also know you testified against him in court and you were not happy he was released. I wasn't the only one who testified against him in court. Why am I the only one here? Mr. Kenneth Badmos murdered his wife who was your best friend. How are we sure you do not kidnap him to take revenge on him for killing your friend? I'm one of those who obey the law. And with the law comes justice. It may be delayed, but it shall surely come. So why did you threaten Mr. Kenneth Badmos after he was released from jail that he won't be free for long? I never made such statements. If you don't have a proof to it, then you have nothing on me. I'm not saying one more word until my lawyer gets here. You have 10 minutes, and please use it well. What do you want? Are you this cheap and insensitive to think that I, I kidnapped your brother? To what gain? Esther was my friend. And I advised her like a friend, but she chose her marriage over her life. If her younger sister could obtain the justice system and set her mother free, who am I? Well, I know only God can give true justice when the time is right. Tony, you of all people should know me better. I never told Kenneth that he wouldn't be free for too long, even if that was the case which it isn't, what that translates to is that his character towards women will not keep him free for too long. How could you accuse me of kidnapping him when you know I took care of his kids when there was nobody to do so? Tony! My brother is missing. You do not expect me to be sentimental right now. Your brother is missing according to you. And of course, you're not being sentimental. 
But when Esther died, you refused testifying against him in court. Was that not you being sentimental? I did not testify in his favor either. Because I know he is guilty. If Kenneth is really missing like you claim, I'd rather you go look for him and stop wasting your time here. Please, you have just 10 minutes. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Thank you for coming. But of course. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm just concerned about my daughter. I don't know how she's faring. Your daughter is fine. Listen, we are working on doing literally everything to get you out of here soon. Okay? Why, what is all this talk I'm hearing about you threatening Kenneth? Uh, I just... I just had a confrontation with him after he was released. And I told him that he would not be free for too long. What I meant was, was that his character, his character towards women, would not keep him free for too long. And now he's missing and everyone is pointing accusing finger at me. What if he's missing for real? I know nothing about this. Darling, it's, it's okay. It's okay. You'll be out of here real soon. Okay? side are you Irene? My brother is missing. Someone threatened him. I took the police to arrest her and you're angry? What on earth convinced you that Sandra kidnapped Ken? Oh well it's simple. If she's not the one holding him, she proves her innocence and the police lets her go. Oh Tony, you disappoint me. Instead of you channeling all your efforts in finding your brother, you're looking for an easy way out. Gosh, I can't believe you would do this. I don't understand you. Tell you, Tony. Have you come to put the final nail on the coffin? Or you're here to laugh at an innocent woman? Who you and your people have chosen to take a revenge? But the lie that Kenneth is missing. I know that you're innocent. And that is why I am here to get you out of this place. You made a harmless threat to me. And Leon capitalized on it instead of looking for Kenneth, who's truly missing. Believe it or not. You can help me later. Problem. Why are you sounding like that? Have you found out dad? Huh? Have I found your dad? Instead of the two of you to go and tell the person that kidnapped your dad to free him, you're here asking stupid questions. Hmm? 
Do you know who kidnapped our dad? Yes. I know who kidnapped your dad. Is it not that, that stupid woman? What, what's her name again? Sandra. Yes. Miracle's mom. She kidnapped your dad because she's still mad at your father over your mom's death. And do you know what? She wants your father to die so that the two of you hmm, will become orphans. Auntie Becky, are you sure of what you're saying? Auntie Sandra cannot do such a thing. Small madam, will you ever believe me? Will you? Okay, let me shock you. Uncle Tony has arrested her already with police. Surprise? Mm -hmm. Fingo dear have arrested her. She'll release my dad soon. I hope so. She denied it all though. You know her. Very tricky. Oh. I don't like that woman for anything. I don't. She's just full of evil. Alright, madam. Please, you sign it. Okay, sign this place too. All right, you, you sign it. I said you. Yeah. Sandra, let's go, all right? Your daughter will be waiting to see you. you know I don't blame you for your action and what you decided to do but I need you to see right through me and realize that I did not do anything to your brother I don't like Kenneth obviously but I will not stoop too low as to kidnap him okay hey Sandra that's enough okay no more word from you let's go not, please don't hesitate to tell me. I'm just a phone call away. Hmm? They are not collecting your salaries for nothing. <laughs> oh God, this 
this is so funny. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Just look at you. Hey. Hey, come here. Yes, madam. Do you smoke? Yes, I, I smoke. Good. Because my sweet mother-in-law here smokes in secret. She thinks no one else knows apart from her son, her dead son. But I know too. So, sir, please, when you smoke, leave half stick for her. Because she will really enjoy it. But please be very careful because she's the violent type. <laughs> Mrs. Daniels, I have to go now. I brought some fresh tons for your son. They are in the car. Let me take them to him before they get bad. Hmm? Will you miss me? <laughs> because I won't miss you. <laughs> please, sir. Would you please take her back to her cell? It's her rest in time. Go rest in peace again. Yes, sweet mother in law. <laughs> Cha. Cha. <laughs> Madam, please get up. I can see your aunt brought you to visit her. Please come and sit down. Come in. We are not going to sit down, Auntie Sandra. We have come to tell you to release our dad. Please, Auntie Sandra. We know our dad was a wicked man, but he has changed. Please. Please, release him for our sake. We don't want him to die like our mom. Why are you girls talking like this? My mom is not holding your dad. My mother doesn't know anything. She is innocent. Your uncle and your auntie just want my mother to get into trouble. This is not fair. You also have forgotten that we are friends. Why are you allowing them to use you like this? But Auntie Becky said that your mom is holding her father. Auntie Becky. Becky. Mm -hmm. So, this is your handwork. This is how you plan to take care of your brother's children? By instigating them with your selfish interests? You are a disgraced motherhood. Sweetie. I know nothing about your father's disappearance. I was wrongly accused. I will not do anything whatsoever. Let's leave here. Let's go. Let's go. Auntie Sandra. Where are you? Okay. You said you wanted to see me. Yes. Um, why did you do what you did? What did I do? Because I can't remember doing anything. All right. Since you don't want to spell it out, I'll help you. Why did you lie that we went together the night Kenneth was kidnapped just to free me? Oh, well. Irene never does anything without a reason. For every action, there is a reason. And this reason is best known to me. It's my little secrets. Any more questions?
because I like to be on my way and I have something to do. It's obvious you don't want to say anything reasonable. So, I'll not ask you any further question. But please, keep me out of your plans. Because I don't want to be involved in any of your betrayals and scandals and... Is that okay? Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Can you open the car now? You 
see, it is not good to accuse Auntie Sandra of holding your daddy when we are not sure yet. Uncle, why? The police arrested her. The police only arrest bad people. Augusta, is that not true? Yes, it is true. No. Auntie Sandra was arrested by the police because she was a suspect. They have not proven that she's the one holding your daddy. So it is not good to accuse her when we do not have evidence. But Auntie Becky said that it was Auntie Sandra that is holding her dad. She even took us to her house to beg her to release her dad. So her dad will not die like her mom. Mm, my dear, Auntie Becky is wrong. Very wrong. Until the police and the court have proven that someone is guilty, it's not good to accuse the person. Hmm? So cheer up, because the police has assured us that they will find your daddy soon, okay? Becky, what is wrong with you? Why are you like this? Will you ever be a better person? When will you change? What nonsense are you blabbing about? The nonsense you did by taking Augusta and Frida to accuse Sandra of holding their father. Mm -hmm. Is this how you're going to raise up these children if you're allowed to do that? Using them for your own selfish interests and boosting your own ego? No wonder you never had your own children. Because you're not a good person. Why poison the mind of these children against an innocent woman? And who says she's innocent? Have you proven her guilty? Why would you teach these children wrong values for heaven's sake? If you continue like this, I'm sure you will not have your own children because karma will not let it. Especially knowing how you treat your husband in the first place. <laughs> I heard everything, and you deserve everything Tony said to you. How will you lead innocent children to insult a woman simply because you hate her and you are looking for an opportunity to get back at her? You are now supporting Tony instead of your own wife? <laughs> I'm sorry, but what you did is wrong. I will never support evil. I am not like you. Is that what you're supposed to say to me? You've joined them to call me a bad person? <laughs> it's okay. Look, it's not like that. I... Enough! I don't want to hear another thing from Because I'm not supposed to. Because I seem to mess things up every single time I say I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm tired of missing you. I'm tired of missing our daughter. Tell me, what do I have to do? What do I have to do to get you back in my life? To have my family back? Let me ask you, 
Which are you sorry about? Is it siding with Irene and Kenneth to get him freed? Or testifying against me in court? Or sending the police to arrest me for the disappearance of Kenneth? Now where exactly do you want to start? You know, Leon, you have been an unending drama in our lives. And I'm tired. I'm tired. So please, stay away from us. I beg you. Again. Have you people vowed not to let me have peace? What is it? What are you doing here? I came to see you. See me? What for? I came to make peace with you. Peace? <laughs> Hold on. Is this some peace seeking week or what? Listen, honey. I don't have anything to discuss with you. And as for peace, I bear you no grudges. So go and say no more. Excuse me. Fair enough. Good afternoon. This is she. Who am I speaking with, please? Leon. Leon, Sandra's Leon. Wow, this is a surprise. How may I help you? You want me to cancel you? Come on now. I don't cancel people I know. And besides, Sandra is my best friend. I should act like I don't know her and represent you. Oh no, what? You mean you're already downstairs? Okay, you come up and we'll talk about it. Yeah. Okay, yes, I've got it. I'm not in time. Tell me something. What do you want to tell me? Go on. What? Can't hear you. You see?
Call the police, no time. Call police. Call police, what happened to him? We just saw him down here. Call the police. Call the police. You are wasting time. Just call the police. Hey! Hey! found at his gates this morning. He was stabbed multiple times, blood all over his body. Oh my god, this is bad. What will happen to those innocent children? I wonder. Okay, let me get ready. We'll come to you soon. Oh, this is fun. All right, my darling. See you soon. avenged your death. I promised you that the man who killed you would not go unpunished. He's dead now. I'm sorry I left your children without a father, but they'll be fine. This is his blood. This is his blood. I can now rest in peace. I can now rest in peace. I'll be going to take care of your children. Adieu, my sister. Whose blood did you just pour on Esther's grave? Whatever I do on my sister's grave, it's not your concern. You know, Ken is dead. Shouldn't you be with the family at least? Oh, Sandra, what is it? What is it? You know, if you were not on Kenneth's side, I would say you have a hand in what happened to him. Stop overthinking things. You would age quickly. us. You flew like a jet. Immediately you heard your enemy is dead. Right? Becky, why are you talking like this? Will you shut up and leave this place? Leave if I do something I regret. Enough of this nonsense, Becky. Sorry. And who called you? Was I talking to you? Sandra, whatever they call you, leave this place. Leave with your fake sympathy. Becky, take it easy. Tommy, please.
Can we talk? About what? Come, come sit. First, I came into this house because of my sister's children. I stepped on so many toes, a hot lot of people, including you. You know your sister, her attitude will change very, very soon. I think I've overstayed my welcome in this house. So, I've come to tell you that I'll be leaving soon. Um, I don't know if it's possible I go with the kids. I mean, it's in your family's place to decide. Have you thought about what will happen to the kids when you leave? That's why I want to go with them. My dear, Leo was at uh, my son Leon's car parked in your office complex. And I confirmed he came to see you. What does he want? Oh, nothing serious, my friend. So like I was saying, like, you know what I mean? What do you mean by nothing serious? If I know Leon very well, he will not come to you if he does not want anything from you. But you of all people should know me better. You know I don't just give anyone attention, especially my friend's enemy. Mm -hmm. I thought he came to ask you to beg me on his behalf, especially after everything he did to all of us. But I would never listen to his nonsense. So what exactly did he say he wanted? It's private. Private? What's that supposed to mean? This is the much I can tell you. Leon is now my client. Huh? See you guys are here and I'm looking for you all over the place. Uh-uh, scream. -uh. There's a whole lot of people to miss. You miss your dad, you miss Irene, but I'm here with you. I'm here with you. Okay, you know what happened here? I'll take you out of this room. Let's see. You know what I'm saying? Well, she can leave if she wants to, but she's not living with the kids. She can go with the kids if she wants to, considering the fact that we might not be able to take care of them very well. Yeah, I am thinking the same thing too, but I've decided that we should wait until after the burial. Then we can seek the approval of other members of the family. Well done, Drag. Huh. Well done. Mama. You and your boys did a very good job. Now I want you guys to lie low, okay? Lie low for now. Yes, Mama. I ran out of Naira. These are dollars. Mama, let's stick Mama. <laughs> <laughs> mama! Yes, so. I see you. Mama, nothing to you. Anything, any mega, let us know. <laughs> oh, boy, see Rabba. Strong!
Could this be what I think? Did Irene actually have anything to do with Kenneth's death? No. This doesn't make any sense. Why help him out of jail only to kill him? What would she get from doing this? Something is not right. Something is not right. And I need to find out what exactly it is. Hi, Irene. It's Tony. Sorry I came into your room without permission. It's just that I've been worried since you told me you're leaving soon. Yes, I know things have not been good between us, but what more can I say? You're such a strange person and it's really difficult to understand you. So I've decided I will sit and talk. You know, so we know what next to do. Sounds like a good idea, right? Come on, Irene. Say something. Personal. So may I? I do not have any business with you seeing Irene, but not in this house. Hmm? Take your witch self out of here. My brother is yet to be buried. Give him some respect. Excuse me. What's happening here? Hi, Sandra. Um, Irene, good to see you. Good to see you too. Um, I'm here to see you, but this lady here insisted I cannot see you. And why is that? I need to have a talk with you. <laughs> okay, just come in. Um, not here. Why? Is everything okay? <laughs> Would you come over to my place, say, in two hours' time? We can talk about it. Okay, I'll be there. You sure everything is okay? All right, thank you. Becky, I don't know what just happened out there, or why you asked my guest out, but I sincerely do hope that this is the last time this would happen, because I won't take that from you, okay? This is my brother's house. Oh, as it is my sister's house as well. And as it is, both of them are dead. I have as much right as you do in this house. So be warned. Do not wake the sleeping lion. You never can tell how hungry it is. Bitch. you know about the murder of Kenneth Badmas? 
This again. Come on, Sandra, don't you get tired? No, I don't. From all indications, you have given me reasons to believe you have a hand in what happened to him. And whatever gave you that conclusion? I saw you, Irene, giving money to those hoodlums. So tell me, were they the ones you contracted to have him kidnapped? For the first time in your life, please be truthful. You want to know the truth? Okay. Yes. I had him kidnapped and killed. And you know what else? I killed him myself. I watched the life leave him. Why would you do that? That's murder. And what do you call what he did to my sister? Romance? Huh? I know he murdered your sister. But that does not mean you should take the law into your hand. He's human for peace sake. So was my sister. Or oh, what? She was an animal? Sandra, do you know the last time I slept? I myself can't even remember. Have not been able to have a good sleep. Just because I cannot get the memories of my sister out of my head. So, you helped Timmy from jail just to, just to kill him? I know the justice system. I know how it works. You know, people like Kenneth can buy their comfort in jail and even their freedom. With the kind of friends and connections he had, he will be out of jail in no time. Besides, I wouldn't have the opportunity of watching him beg for his life. Just like my sister did, being married to him all these years. This is wrong. This is utterly wrong. I, I don't care. I don't care. Esther suffered all these years in pain. He tortured and tormented her? And you think I could just let all that go away just because he's in jail? Hell no. A thousand years in jail cannot atone for his sins. And he who lives by the sword dies by the sword. Well, you also just committed a crime. Do you think the law will spare you? Oh, to hell with the law. Where was the law when Esther had her own tears for breakfast, lunch and dinner? Where was the law? Where was the law when he maltreated her? Where was the law when he murdered her? I only use Kenneth. But most, as an example to all those men out there who think their wives are alone, you just wait until something happens to her because of your ill treatment. Then you would know she's someone else's child. Like I said, you are wrong. Okay. If you think I'm wrong, then Sandra, call the police. I promised my sister the blood of the man who murdered her. 
And that promise I have fulfilled. It's for you. You can do as you please. Please your conscience. I, I won't hold that against you. I don't regret what I did. One bit. What do we do? Honestly, I don't have the slightest idea. Perhaps we should just keep quiet. I mean, in the end, she helped us achieve justice. There's a thin line between justice and crime. And for goodness sake, she committed a crime. I know. Should we then send her to jail? I never said that. But a crime is a crime, no matter the motive. Life is not always white and black, you know? Hold on. Are you in a way supporting her? Oh, far from it. I'm just letting my conscience speak. As it stands right now, I am very confused. Very. Hi, Irene. Thank God you're back. I mean, we need to talk to you. Please, not now. I'm not with you. What's wrong with this one? Hello, friend. I know you see us more often these days. We just can't help it. We miss you so much. And yes, we are confused and don't know what to do. You know why? Your killer has met his Waterloo. But we do not think it was the right thing to do. Direct us, friend. What would you like us to do? Should we keep quiet about this or report it to the authorities? This will mean sending your sister to jail. We know this is tough, even for you. But regardless, something has to be done. And fast too. So please tell us, if you were in our shoes, what would you do? Hello, good evening. Um, is that the police? I... I'd like to, to report a murder case.
Hello, Sandra. I Irene, I know how you feel about the death of your sister. And sorry, we all misjudged you. But? Yeah, but I'm also sorry you went so far by taking the laws into your own hands. And we cannot just keep quiet about that. I already made a call to the police and they'll be coming for you any moment now. So why are you telling me? Because I owe you that much. And I'm aware you know what to do. I'm sorry. It's fine. I understand. Thanks anyways. I couldn't find her, and I'm surprised. She's not the type that skips breakfast. Like, she doesn't play with her breakfast, and I'm... It's making me wonder where she would have gone to. Maybe she has left us. When there is no man in the house for her to get involved with. Why are you always like this? Why would you learn to keep your gutter thoughts to yourself? Or do I have to remind you that I am a man? Of course. See, Tony, don't even get me started this morning. Okay? Just hope she never returns. <laughs> What's wrong? You sounded really tense in your call. What's going on? I don't know. I've not been able to sleep well for days now. I'm beginning to wonder if I did the right thing. What, what are you talking about? Um, I, I anonymously informed the police about Irene. And I'm sure they are onto her right now. Sandra, this is not good. What 
What if she's jailed? It would mean Kenneth has succeeded in destroying two lives. I know. But if we keep quiet, it will mean we are complices as well. But then again, we have already registered our disappointments. That should count for something. Listen, we need to save her. What do we do? Because I know she should be on the run by now. Um, let's, you know what, let's just wait and then see what the police would do. Then we'll take it from there. Okay. So, officers, how may I help you? Uh, sorry to bother you once again. Uh, however, we are here to ask if Irene is back, since she's the only suspect in Kenneth's murder. Well, she is not here. And I haven't seen her in days. Mm. What's happening here? What's happening here, Becky? The officers are here to arrest Irene in connection with Kenneth's mother. Irene? Mother? But that's not possible. Like, why would she mother him? Why? Do you know where she is? No, sir. We've not seen her. Okay. Just let us know when she comes around. Definitely, I will. Thank you, officer. Thanks. Thank you, officer. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Yeah. yeah. What's happening? What is it? Uncle Tony, is it true that Auntie is the one that killed Dad? No, she did not. She's just a suspect. And I think there's a misunderstanding somewhere. But don't worry, everything will be fine. Definitely. Let's go upstairs. What did you say your husband did again? Beat you? Yes. And what did you do? I... I did not cook his meal on time because I came back from work late. Who came home first amongst the two of you? My, my, my husband. He stays home because he lost his job, so he was at home. So, Madam Franca, you're telling me that your husband was sitting at home waiting for you to come back from work so that you can cook for him to eat? He's stupid. He's a very stupid man. Where is he? Is he at home right now? But, but why do you ask? Because he falls under the class of men who beat women to satisfy their ego. Come, let's go. I need to teach him a lesson. I need to beat him up like he has been beating you. Uh, uh, Madam, I, I beg your pardon, please. I, I don't want more violence. All I need is for things to be settled amicably between us. I, I don't want him to beat me again. Oh God, she doesn't understand. Don't you get it? If you settle it with him, he will take that advantage and beat you again so that you will come to beg. And that is how it will continue. Madam, I, all I want is how to appease him so that he doesn't beat me again. Appease him? Appease who? Is he a god of the land? So you still want to appease a man who beats you up? Madam, he's, he, he's my husband and, and he's the head of the family. If I do something wrong, he, he, he'll punish me. Now I get it. It is not your husband that needs pity. It is you. Coincidence. You know, I actually waited for your call. What are you doing here? Plucking mangoes. I'm not joking. Come on, this is a public business place, so I came for business. Hmm. Are you following me? Should I? What do you want? What do I want? I want you.
Tony. Would you get out from my front? Tony, what are you hiding? You know quite well that Irene has a hand in the death of our brother Kenneth and you're keeping quiet. Is this how you value your family? What nonsense are you talking about? What makes you think what the police is saying is true? And do you know how they got the information? Why then is she running? No, you tell me. Why is she hiding? So what if she's hiding because she doesn't want to be arrested for something she knows nothing about? You know how this system works. Or what if she's hiding because she wants to reveal the truth? Can you tell me how Irene got to know that the police was coming to arrest her? I know you know something. And both of you would definitely go in for it when the time comes. You bet me. You can say whatever you like. But be sure you can say the things you can defend. You know the implications of saying things you don't have evidence to. You know that, yeah? You know, um, you're still to give me an answer. Your hands are soft. So you're not a wife beater. Your eyes are okay. So I don't think you get angry easily. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm looking for signs that you're not a violent person and we're not indulging domestic violence. Are you kidding me? I mean, why, why would I want to hit a woman? <laughs> they all say so until they are accepted. So, how do I prove it to you? I would say to you, Alice. So it's a yes from me. But if you as much as raise your voice at me, I will break your head. Sarah, we're not even dating yet and you're already threatening me. I mean, shouldn't I be the one to report to the police? Meaning? Meaning you're threatening me. Are you scared? Am I not supposed to be scared? Good. That means you will not mess with me. <laughs> but I can't believe this is happening. You know, enough of all this, your threat and all. Let's drink this, can we? Or are you going to break my head for opening this drink too? you about her you live in the same house with her so why come here to ask me of Irene Wow. not too long she was discovered missing the police came looking for her and I think it's in connection with Kenneth's death and that I know is not true well she's not here I don't know where she is and I hope nothing bad happens to her Wow so you're trying to tell me she's not in your house and that you don't know her whereabouts Tony she is not here, and I don't know her whereabouts. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>
Hello? Irene? Oh, yes. Where are you? Um, okay, I'll meet you there now. I know you have a lot to say and ask, but I didn't call you here to answer questions. I call you here to tell you something. What do you want to tell me? Is it that the police think you killed my brother? Yes, and they're not wrong. Meaning? Look, Esther was my sister. She meant everything to me. She was my mother and my friend. I just couldn't allow the person that murdered her to walk free. Are you saying you killed Kenneth in cold blood? Yes, I did. He died by my hands. Look, it's, it's not something I'm proud of. So I won't rejoice. <sighs> Just can't lie to you. I, I don't believe you. If you were that bitter, then why didn't you allow him to remain in jail? Because I don't trust the justice system. He would have gone to jail, be released not long. And what happens to my sister? What about her? She wouldn't be given justice. She wouldn't be remembered for long. I had to be the law and give my sister justice. You murdered my brother! Just like he murdered my sister. I'm not asking you to forgive me. You've been kind to me. I think it's fair you just you know the truth before the police finds evidence against me. You were wrong, Irene. But why do I think you did the right thing? Or is it because I love you? Irene, what are you doing here? I hear the police are on the lookout for you. Shouldn't you be out of town by now? Irene is not one to run away from trouble. Nah, I don't. When I did what I did, I was prepared for if I'm caught. So why then did you call me? I want to go to the police myself. Why? Well, if the police have any proof against me, then they should nail me. Otherwise, they should let me be. That is very risky, you know. Closing our eyes every night to sleep is a risk in its own. But we do it every day. Life itself is a risk. I just thought you should know. I'll be on my way. I am Irene, Kenneth's sister-in-law. Wow. If all criminals act the way you just did, then police work will be much more easier. I'm boring too. You did not even pick an offense that I called you a criminal. That's the normal language I hear from the police all the time. So, it means nothing. Anyway, I'm not here to argue with you. I came to find out why you're looking for me. So if you heard that I was looking for you, you surely should know why. I want to hear it from you. Okay. 
Information reaching us claims that you have a hand in Kenneth's death. Really? How reliable is your informant? Anonymous. Oh, I see. Is that strong enough to hold me? Where were you the night he was killed? Oh, I don't know when he was killed. We just saw his body in the morning. That's all I know. Fine. We'll soon hear about that very soon. But for now, you are under arrest. Wow. Really? Okay. I'll have to talk to my lawyer. Mr. Jeff, why did you say your wife left you? We had a misunderstanding and I hit her a little and she fell and broke her head. She was just hospitalized for six days old. Then she decides to leave me. I've been begging my wife to come back to me, but she has refused. Please help me. I promise not to hit her again. Hello? I feel like slapping the living daylights out of you. Are you mad? What's the meaning of what you just said? If you were not a stranger, I would have beaten the living daylight out of you. Exactly. You slapped your wife, and she was hospitalized and admitted for six days, and you think it's nothing? According to you, you, you just beat her a little. You know what? Jeff, you are a beast and you will never change. In fact, just uh, give me your wife's number. Why? Because I need to call her and ask her to throw away her phone. And also to relocate from wherever she is. The further away from you she is, the better for her. Are you here to help me solve my problem or to destroy my home? <laughs> How can I destroy that which has already been destroyed? Hmm? You think your home can be fixed? No way. Except if you're paralyzed. You are not God. And my wife will return to me. If your wife does return to you, I, Sarah, will have her arrested for attempted suicide. Now get out of my office. Now! Get out! With what the two of you have written, it indicates that you do not agree with the caller, that she is guilty of anything. Yes, that's because she's not guilty. I mean, if she wanted to kill Kenneth, why then would she testify in his favor in court? And am I supposed to just disregard the caller's information? We are not saying so, sir. But you can investigate properly. We are sure. And she should not be held here without any proof. The caller should come forth if he or she knows anything. Uh, she can't be held here based on a call from someone who don't know if he or she exists. Okay, I will need to speak, I will need to question a member of her family to know where she was on that day. Oh, that's fine. Please call Timmy, the deceased brother. He seems to be really trustworthy. Good then. Uh, I will invite him over then. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, uh, Timmy. Sorry, that's my nickname. I'm Tony. Okay, Tony, you said she was home that night he was killed? Yes, officer, she was home. And I am expected to believe that. What reason would I have to lie to you? The deceased here, like you know, is my brother. My blood brother. Irene was home all night. In fact, we were seeing the movie together. So there was no way she would have killed him. Moreover, what reason would she have to do so? Okay. Well, I'll take your statement into consideration as the investigation continues. So I'll, I'll let her go for now. But I'll surely bring her back if we find anything else. So ensure she does not leave town. I'm sure she won't. But it's also your duty to make sure she doesn't. And not mine. Timmy corroborated what you said and already told you that we'll be letting her go pending when we are able to find anything else. Oh, that's fine, Inspector. But please, do not let her know we were here. She already knows. Very well then. 
we'll be leaving. We don't want to meet with her. Yes. Why is that? Because she helped Kenneth out of jail after he killed her best friend. Was he not happy about that? But she just testified in her favor. Because we are not ones to make the innocent pay for crimes they did not commit. And if she commits a crime, we will be the first to testify against her when we have the facts. Um, have a nice day, sir. Yeah, same here. Thank you, Inspector. You're welcome. You are free to go. How do you mean? I thought um, Sarah, Sandra and Tony were here to give their statement. Yes, they did. They all said you are innocent. And according to their statement, we do not have any reason to hold you. Until we get proof, we cannot keep you here. We also think that the call made to us was a prank call, as the number is no longer going through. This is strange. I know, but for now, you are free to go. But please do not leave town during the course of this investigation. I won't. Thank you. Do you really think Aunt, Auntie killed Dad? I didn't hear what the police said. But why? She was so nice. Yes. But she was only being nice to come to this house and kill our father. She's worse than Dad. If she wanted to kill Dad, why did she let him out of prison? I don't understand. Neither do I. You! And what? How dare you? Not you. How dare you come here after killing my brother? What are you doing here? Oh, I've come to see my nieces. As you can see, you're not welcomed in this house. So, out. And who's going to stop me? You? Watch me do it. Oh, please. Sit, sit here. Hello, sir! Frida! Auntie Abby is here! I told her, honestly, the other day I told her about it. You know what she said to me? She was like that. <laughs> what is the problem, madam? You should look where you're going and stay off the awful while walking along the road. <laughs> you must be very stupid. Don't you ever talk to me in that manner again. It is you who is driving and, and it's not considering people on the road. Yes! Next time! Never you talk to a lady like that. Never you! Crazy for sister. real! To you. So because he's gentle, you want to take advantage of him. Huh? You were clearly talking on the phone and not looking where you're going. And no, wait! How dare you slap a man? What is wrong with you? Are you the one I slapped? Are you the one I slapped? Eh? Are you crazy? Are you the one I slapped? Oh no! I, how? Sorry. 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 Wait, wait, let, let, let me see. It's okay. 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 See, I, I, first, I think it was so wrong for you to be speaking on the phone and while walking along the road. You should look where you're going. And slapping me was a very big mistake on your side. How could you do that? So? You, you, you're not even remorseful. You are the kind of women that make men beat women. You know what? You have to come to my office for counseling. I'm expecting you. Address, everything is here. So you come next week. I'm expecting you. Okay? Baby, let's go. Let's go! Okay, I'll, I'll join you. All right. All right. Make sure I see you in my office. Crazy woman. Sir, 
Frida, I was looking for you girls in your room. I thought you would be inside. What are you doing here? You killed our dad and you expect us to still welcome you to our house? I guess she still thinks she's our auntie. I know you girls must have had a lot. And I know you believe everything you heard. Anyway, I'm not here to tell you otherwise. Neither am I here to explain anything to you. Um, because she girls are too young to understand what is happening. But with time, you will understand the reason why what happened, happened. There is nothing to understand. We now know you for who you truly are. I understand, but mind you, behind every human behavior, there is always a cause. Well, like you, I loved your mother so much. She meant everything to me. So, if I would have to do what I am accused of doing over and over again, Without blinking, I will. Once again, I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm here. So, how did it go with the kids? Oh, well, I do not expect them to understand. And I do not wish to start explaining to their young minds or even lie to them. But with time, they will understand what happened and why it happened. So, what do you intend to do? I was actually leaving before I saw you. I, I know my life will never remain the same after everything that happened. But I intend to leave because I've been given a second chance to life. But you know, staying here would, would not be possible right now. Because oh well. of the hate. Oh well. I don't intend to stay here. But one thing is for sure. If I want to stay here, Becky and 20 of her likes can't stop me. I know. So tell me, why did you decide to say the truth? Why do you think? I don't want to assume. The last time I did, I knew where it ended me. Oh, you're free to assume. Um, because the last time you did, you went wrong. I was just focused on something and I didn't want anything to distract me then. Even then, I want to hear you say it. Oh well, I am not one to beat around the bush. So, I will just go straight to the point. Yes, I did and still love you. But with the situation of things right now, to be stupid of me to expect anything in return. Being stupid is allowed. But are you so sure about your feelings? I am not one to be confused about my feelings. I just don't always act on them. So would you want to act on them now? Not yet. I thought as much. No worries. I'm a man of patience. And when it comes to love, I am more patient. I would wait. Oh, that would be nice. I'll be seeing more of you. Well, I've been trying. Uh, I've been trying and 
and everything is going well. That's good. The next thing to focus on is your temperament. You really need to learn how to control your anger. You see, anger spoils a lot of things. And most of the things you say or do when you're angry would only make you regret. And it will also end up blinding your sense of reasoning. So are you trying to say that I shouldn't get angry even when someone offends me? And all the anger that you've been getting angry, what have you gained from it? It is this same anger that has separated you from your family. You need to learn which to embrace. Your family or your anger. Listen, Leon. Everyone has a right to get angry. But how they react is what matters. You need to start learning how to tolerate people's fault. And this would make you start overlooking their errors and, and moving on, which is what it should be. I should learn how to tolerate people. So who's going to tolerate me then? It's like respect. You get what you give. If you tolerate people, they in turn will learn how to tolerate you and it will transfer to others. You do know you can correct people without having to get angry with them. I'll try my best. It's not going to be easy, but I'll try. Practice makes perfect, Leon. I'll try. I want you to do more than try. I need you to practice and incorporate it in your lifestyle. And before you know it, you start seeing the changes. All right? I know that Irene murdered my brother Kenneth. There is nothing anyone is going to tell me that will ever make me change my mind. You know it's not good to make accusations like that. And this is a very big problem. I'll suggest you allow the police do their job. How long is it going to take the police to figure out Irene murdered my brother Kenneth? How long? I will make sure she doesn't go free. Irene is definitely paying for her crimes. Look here, my dear. Like I said, allow the police to do their job so you don't get into trouble. Care first, I am willing to take the law into my hands and I don't care what the result will be. And you don't care even if you go to jail? Police wasn't able to jail Irene. Why would they be able to jail me? Um, my darling, let the police do their job, okay? That is all I have to say to you, so you don't get yourself into trouble. We're hmm? talking nonsense. You know I'm not a coward like you who is afraid to speak out. I will prove that Irene murdered my brother Kenneth. And until I do that, I will not rest. I will make sure she goes to prison. At my mouth, I will always shout, shout very Mrs. Kefas, your statement here says that uh, Miss Irene is responsible for the murder of your brother, Kenneth. Yes, officer. Irene murdered my brother, Kenneth. And I am sure of that. So I want you to use your good office to get her arrested and make her pay for the crime. Do you have evidence to prove that? Officer, I'm telling you the truth. 
Irene was not around the day we found my brother's corpse outside the house. She only returned the next day. What more evidence do you need? Are you a witness to the crime? If yes, why are you just coming now? Where and when did this happen? Officer, what I'm telling you is that Irene murdered my brother Kenneth. You don't need an evidence. If you get her arrested and torture her, I am sure she will confess to the crime. Madam, the police force does not work that way. If you are presenting us with a, a case, you should be able to back it up with an evidence. Without evidence, we cannot make arrest. We already did once, and we have to let her go because of lack of evidence. Uh, uh, not a worry. We are going to look into the case and continue investigation. But I can promise you, if she's responsible, she'll be made to pay for her crime. So, uh, doctor, what's the test result saying? The result I have here in my hands is you have print to know. I, 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 I don't understand. I, I have what? I have is, is that why I've been feeling weak and having constant headache? Um, yes, and you have a short time to leave. And, um, because that causes an infection to your brain. I, I, are you trying to say that I'm dying? Well, it's as bad as it sounds. Yes. Yeah, doctor, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to die. I, I, I can't die. Look, you, you need to do whatever it takes, whatever you can to save me. Uh, I can't tell that for now, but all I will advise you is that you need to come for. Um, for that treatment so that we can know the extent of the damage and um, we can know how to salvage it. Well, but it's as bad as it seems. Turn up the volume. How can we hear what you're saying? Oh, because I need to talk to the three of you. What is the problem, Becky? You see, I've come close to finding out the person that murdered my brother Kenneth. And I would like the three of you to play your parts by the time the police comes here. Who is the person, Auntie? It's Irene. I know Irene is responsible for the murder of my brother Kenneth. I want the three of you to play your parts by telling the police that Irene was not at home the day we found your father's dead body outside. If you do that, the police will get her arrested for her crime and your father can rest in peace. Do you understand? Yes, auntie, but why do you want us to lie? And who told you that is a lie? Do you know more than I do? Okay, auntie Becky. We told the police auntie Irene wasn't home. Oh, good girl. And as for you, Kefas. You heard what I just said. I hope you don't go against me. Because you wouldn't like to see the other side of me, would you? Good. So what did you say is the problem? I came to tell you that Becky has gone to the police station to make a statement against you that you killed Kenneth. Oh well. The police can't do anything to me. They don't have any evidence against me. To prove that, we need to come home. Come home, babes, so you can defend yourself. I can't come home for now. I'm not safe there. Don't worry. I know what to do.
I want you all to be honest with me. So tell me, who is Irene to you people? She's our aunt and she used to stay here. Where was she the day your father's body was found outside your gate? She was not home. She later returned in the day. Mm -hmm. And she didn't tell anybody where she went. We all noticed her behavior suddenly changed. And she left. Right now we don't know where she is. Mm. So who is this uncle to both of you? He's our Auntie Becky's husband. And he was here too. Is that true, Mr... Um, Mr. Kifas? And it's true all they just told you. Thank you very much, Mr. Kifas. You're welcome. It will become whatever happens, huh? The ghost town. How are you? Okay. Okay, if there's anything that you have to tell the police, you give me a call, huh? This is my card. Hmm? Just call me. Hmm? Okay. Young man. Hi. Hello. Young man, how are you? Fine, sir. So where were you on that day the body of Mr. Kenneth was found outside your gate? Uh, Godfrey, I didn't say my duplex. They sleep. Because that day are not too strong. I did it. No, I got care for myself. Even let us know, say, uh, I got Kenneth don't die. Hmm. Really? Hmm. So was Irene around on that day the body was found? Uh, at Irene day. She day. Uh, now she even give me medicine that I sell. See, make I take him. Since I'm not too gallant, make I take and go rest. That man himself, all of us there outside, they cry. We cry, eh? Officer, me, I try you. <laughs> I cry too. So, are you saying all that they told me that she wasn't around were all lies? Is that what you're saying? Yes, yeah, so she did. All of us there now. We did, we cry. All right, thank you, young man. So, what do you say your name is again? My name is Naefe. Okay, thank you. Jesse, calm down. I, he did what to you? I know, but just, just take it easy. Um, Jesse, can I call you back in a minute? I have something important to turn to. Yeah. What's the matter? What's going on? I have... I have brain tumor. I have limited time to leave. Um, actually, I was thinking it's time we make plans to bury our brother Kenneth. You know, we have to bury him and move on. Um, keeping him there like that doesn't really make so much sense, especially for his young kids and for the family. No way! Nobody is making any burial plans in this house until we are able to discover the person that murdered Kenneth, my brother. What are you talking about, Becky? That is the work of the police to do. That um, Kenneth died untimely is enough trauma for all of us, especially his children. Like I said, nobody is making any burial plans until we are able to discover my brother's murderer. And nobody should go against me. Otherwise, you'll be looking for my trouble in this house. Um, uh, Becky, I think what your brother is trying to say is right. What is true there? 
that we should go ahead and bury my brother without finding who killed him? You want people to laugh at us? You want people to say we are weak? What I'm trying to say is we can go ahead so that his soul can rest in peace and his children can have peace as well. And maybe after his burial, you can as well go ahead with your search for who murdered him. Kevers, you don't have the right to tell me when to bury my brother and when not to bury my brother. You're only my husband. So you don't decide what happens in my family. Please, this burial case, stay off it. Look, I'm only suggesting what I think is right to do. Can you please keep your suggestion to yourself? <laughs> My goodness. Sandra. There is something I have to tell you. I don't know how you take it, but I just feel you have to know. Why do I have a feeling it's something I should be worried about? It, it's about Leon. What about him? Leon has brain two more. What? He does not have much to leave. What, what nonsense are you talking about? Brain what? It is true. He showed me the test results. Oh, he's dying. I'm. I'm sorry. Kill me. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but it is true. Oh. 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 I know you're a very strong girl, like your mother. So I, I want to tell you something and I know that you would understand. What are you talking about, Dad? Okay, um, you're a very wise child, so I'll be very direct with you. dying and I don't have much time left anymore. What do you mean by a dying? I have... I have brain tumor and it's... It's gradually squeezing out life from me. Joking, right? I'm very serious. Welcome back, baby. Hope you had fun. What's wrong? You're crying. Are you alright? Did your father do anything wrong to you? I'm not happy to see you with me. What did I do wrong? Why did you hide it from me, mom? Hide it from you? Hide what? What are you talking about? Why did you tell me that dad has brain tumor and he's dying? Why didn't you tell me, Mom? Um, come here, baby. I'm so sorry. I was waiting for the right time to tell you. I'm really sorry. Stop crying. Just go to your room. What is your problem, Leon? Do you think telling Miracle that you're sick and you'll die soon is the right thing to do? Don't you have any conscience left in you? Or oh, the brain tumor is beginning to affect your thinking? He obviously did not think of the trauma it will cause her. You are highly insensitive, Leon. I'm sorry, Sandra. 
I didn't know when it came out from my mouth. I guess I... I let my emotions get the better part of me. Um, you know what? Just take your silly emotions out of my sight. And hey, don't come back here again. I'm sorry. I didn't know when I told her. I didn't. My, my pain right now is that I know she wouldn't want to see me and I know she wouldn't let me see my daughter. But she's your friend. She's your friend. Please talk to her. Please. It is all your fault, Leon. There are things you don't tell children because they are not adults and might not know how to manage it. I admit, I, I, I admit it. it came out the wrong way. I said it the wrong way, but she would have found out either ways. It wasn't for you to tell her. Mothers know their children and know how to relate with them in situations like this or similar to this. Now you have lost your chances of spending your last days with your daughter. Please, she's your friend. If you talk to her, she will listen to you. Please just help me beg her. Please. Thinking of. Hey, my angel. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Why are you crying? Um, me? <laughs> I'm not crying. Uh, you know, something entered my my eyes earlier. And um, how's your mom? How's your mom? Hope she's treating you well. Of course, she's my best friend, so she can take care of me. Yeah, yeah. Um, you did not come yesterday like you promised. What happened? Um, work. You know, I was um, choked in work, but that's why I came today to see you. What would you like to have? Um, ice cream or something? Hmm? Are you okay? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Nice to see you again. <laughs> I thought something happened the reason you came to your hotel room. Oh, nothing happened. I actually invited you here because I want to tell you something. Oh, okay. But why didn't you call me to Sandra's place since that's where you stay? That's because I have huge respect for Sandra and her family. So that's why I went. Besides, oh. I want privacy. <sighs> okay. So, what do you want to talk about? Tony, I, I invited you here to tell you that I am I'm ready for your heart. That's if you still want me. I mean, tomorrow is not promised, but today is sure because we're already in it. Are you for real? Yes. Wow. I'm so excited. Oh, thank you, Irene. Oh, thank you, thank you for not making me wait forever. Thank you for making up your mind. I oh. love you. Were you, were you going to wait forever for me? Well, 
with no more kids. I'm all yours from this moment. From this moment, as long as I live, I would love you. I left my keys here. How come did I take it to misplace it? Wait, is that sweet aroma coming from my apartment? There's someone cooking in my apartment. How did you get in? Whoever knows you knows you don't leave the house with your keys for fear of misplacing it. So I figured the keys should be somewhere. That's how I got in. Um, are you here because you're forgiven? Um. The stew will be ready in, say, five minutes. I believe in... come here must be strong. Guess what? I'm loving it. Do you have any information for me? No, sir. So why have you come to see me then? I've come to ask you why um, Irene hasn't been arrested after my statement. Madam, the fact that you gave police your statement does not mean that police will go ahead and arrest the person. You did not provide us with any evidence, so there's nothing we can do. Officer, are you saying that the fact that Irene was not around the day my brother's corpse was found outside, it's not enough evidence to arrest and get her questioned? No, it's not enough. Uh, several other persons gave their st own statement too. The gate man and your brother Tony. Their statement is different from what you, your husband and the kids gave. So, because there is no 100% truth in your statement. Officer, I can see you don't want to help me find my brother's killer. Madam, the police is working. But you can help our work move faster if you don't drag us backward with lies. Officer, have a good day. Well, his condition is bad, like I told him. The result shows he's in advanced condition and um, it will take a miracle to get him out of that condition. So what he needs right now is um, much rest and less stress and to stick to his medication so that the tumour will stop growing. And um, a chemotherapy is needed too. Um, doctor, please, what are his chances? 
very slim. doing in my house and my kitchen how did you get in here and who let you in here well um, i just got in and i said let me prepare something special and delicious you just got in here would you answer the question already how did you get into my house because i can't remember giving you my spare key <sighs> sarah you forgot your key my time and um i said let me surprise you yes i know i lost my key but did i forget it in your car or you stole it are you accusing me of stealing your key just so as to get into your house i am not accusing you of anything i am merely telling you what you did and i want you out of my house now Sarah, come on i'm only trying to prepare something for us seriously leave i'll do that myself just just go go leave what rubbish Be that easy before I go break my gate. One for my gate. Ah. See, 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 welcome. Anything see, for you, bro. Go in there, get your filthy things, and get out of this compound because you're fire. This minute. See, see, wait, wait, wait. See, see, uh, where the fire? I know they see fire. I don't know. Do I have to repeat myself? If I go inside that house and come out and still meet you here, I'll get you arrested. Idiot. Oh, Gene Biko! So finally, my village people don't locate me. Come, let us. Come, come this place. Let me go walk. Let me go walk. Mm, see this motor, I go buy him. I go buy my own. Waiting, I, waiting, I get now. See, I come here, they walk. my clothes because you want to welcome me and who told you i'm interested in your welcome two of you should just go and continue watching tv that's the only thing you're good at hmm? becky why do you have to talk to those children like that what is wrong in children coming to welcome you from wherever you went to they should have asked what happened where i went to look Children coming to welcome you from wherever you went to shows they love you. Whatever happens out there, it's not a good reason for you to react to them like that. I don't care, Gephas. I don't care. Okay, my darling wife, what happened to you to make you act like that? Police has refused to do their job. And I'm going to do it my own way. Honestly, I cannot allow my brother's murderer to go unpunished. But it is not a good reason to transfer the aggression on the children. Look, Becky, you Stop. need... Stop! Enough! Kefas, please. Or do you want me to transfer the aggression to you? Yes! Transfer the aggression to me, not the children! Yeah, I totally understand. So, do you mind telling me who the young man who just badged out is and why he left in such anger? Hmm. He's just some guy trying to warm his way into my heart and my life. But honestly, girl, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Now, yes, I know I agreed to date him, but he should not run faster than his shadow. What do you mean by you don't think you're ready? For... Come on, girl. Is he not, is he not okay? He's good looking. That's the kind of man you like. 
Yes, I know. He's fine and he's good looking. He falls under the category of men that I like. But, mm -hmm. but you know what? After what happens with Kelvin, I seriously doubt that I'm ready for any emotional relationship with another man. It's okay, honey. But you need to give love a chance. You can't remain like this forever. Who knows? He might just give you a good dose of, you know, happiness. <laughs> I'm sure you like it. I'm still just watching him. Don't just mm. watch him. Make it work. Don't deny yourself the chance to love again. Please. I know, but he still has some hurdles to cross. Some tests to pass. You're just stubborn. Oh, oh. Can't get it that easy. Mm. <laughs> What cares about us anymore in this house? Can you imagine the way Auntie Becky shouted at us? They all pretend us. When Mom and Dad were alive, they used to treat us like the best kids in the world. But today, nobody cares. They just mind their business. Forcing us to do a lot of things by ourselves. I'm sorry, my babies. From now on, I will make sure you're treated well in this house. No one will ever neglect you. And no one will ever shout at you again in this house. That's just like every other promise we've made before. Okay, you know what? To let you know I'm serious this time, I'm going to take both of you out so we could have quality time together. So go inside, get dressed. I'll take you out so we could have some good time together. Smile. Thank you, Uncle Tony. Thank you, Uncle uh, Tony. Sandra, um, please, can I come and see Miracle later today? I, I, I would have waited till, till Monday, but I just feel it will be too long for me. Thank you very much. This, this, this means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you.
God do that for me. Here. Everything you will need is inside here. This is all I could get from her ever since she stepped her legs into this country. Take it. Okay. What you have in there is heavy enough for you to marry her the way you want. All right. Good job, Dagger. Thank you for this. Um, depends on your mother. She when she allows me to come around and see you again, I will be here. But soon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just be on my way now. All right. Why not stay the night with your daughter? Okay, if you insist. Yeah. I checked on you in Miracle's room. You are not there. Are you okay? What are you doing outside? I just couldn't sleep, so I, I came out to look into the sky. <laughs> what were you going to tell us? Um, tell us what? About your health. 
I, uh, I was, um, You were waiting for the right time. But I already know about it. You know, you shouldn't hide things like this from people close to you. I, I just didn't want to bother you with my problems. We're a family. It's in no way a bother. Oh, yes, we may not be together now, but... It doesn't mean I love you any less. I'm just gonna beg you for something. If you ask me if I can do it, I surely will. At this stage, what you need is care and less stress. So I want to beg you to move in with us. Let's take proper care of you. Who knows, your health might just improve. You know, I can't say no to, to being close to you and our daughter. But I also have to ask you, is it what you really want? Yes. Yes. Thank you for giving me, allowing me to come close to you again. I really appreciate So, what's your plan when this whole drama goes off? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe move to a place where no one knows me and start life afresh. Really? And how long do you intend wasting money on hotel bills when there's an alternative accommodation for you? What do you mean, alternative accommodation? I have a room for you in my house. I'd like you to come stay with us. Wow. Sandra, uh, this will be too much for you. I don't think so. Considering what I shared with your, your late sister, nothing is ever too much. Are you sure you want this? I, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't sure. Thank you very much, Sandra. Thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate this. But before I start unpacking my bag, I want to ask you this again. Are you sure this is what you really want? It's okay. Go ahead and unpack your things and make yourself comfortable. Thank you very much. Thank you. You need anything? I'll be in my room. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. That's fine. Come in.
Good day, ma'am. Day. Um, my name is Alex Echo. I have come for counseling. I see. So what is the problem? There is this girlfriend I have. A very beautiful woman that I love so much. I've tried all I can to prove my love to her, but she never sees anything good in all my efforts. She's so full of herself that she suspects everyone around her. Hmm. How long have you two been dating? Not so long, but um, the love I have for her makes me feel like I've known her for more than I can remember. Well, sir, I think you need to first make her fall in love with you, you know, before proceeding. What I understand um, is that you can force someone to fall in love with you. And if it's by trying, I think I've been trying my best. For instance, the last time I tried to surprise her by getting into her house with the key she forgot in my car. She came back and threw me out, calling me all sorts of names. Saying that I stole her key so as to get into her house. Can I ask you something? Yes. If I actually stole her key, will I be in her kitchen cooking or robbing her house instead? Are you saying you love this woman so much that you can't be without her? I think I love her. But I don't think she loves anyone. Or if she's capable of loving anyone. So I've come to ask you to tell me what to do to win her love. Alex. Baby. Hey. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I, I share your sentiments too. I, I love you too. It's just that I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared of getting hot again. Please forgive me, baby. I love you, Sarah. I do. From the first day I saw you, I fell in love. Yesterday. Okay, Good morning, I... Leon. Okay, Irene, you can't stay here. I'm sorry. Why is that? Do you have any personal problem with her? How can you allow someone who testified before I've come to stay in your house? But you did the same thing. What's the difference? <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Um, Leon, if we both did the same thing. Why is mine different? Please, Miracle, pass me the water. Thanks. Ah, thank you. Thank you. I like taking water before food. Especially in the mornings. You had a good night. Yes, I did. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Why did you allow Irene come live in your house? She's not a good person, you know. She's not a good person. Okay. Let's say I agree with you. She's not a good person. Please tell me, why do you think so? And why don't you want her to stay here with us? Well, considering the fact that she supported Kenneth living in his house or in the house of a, of a man who killed her sister, your friend. Leon, you equally supported Kenneth at that time. Or is this something you're not telling me? You know what? Drop it. For your health's sake. I don't want to live here. Fine. If you don't want her to leave here based on the fact that she supported Kenneth, then you may have to leave as well. What are you saying? Yes, unless perhaps there's more to this. Else, please, drop it. to talk to you about something very serious. Um, but this time, not as a client, but as a friend. What is the problem, Leo? It's about Sandra and Irene. Sandra has allowed Irene to move into her house, despite the fact that Irene supported Kenneth in the court case to, 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 to win the murder case over his wife, who happens to be your friend. But you did the same thing too. So what's the difference? Okay, let, 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 let me tell you the truth now. But this time as a client, because I, I, I need this to be very confidential. That's right. I was, I was forced and manipulated into into testifying in favor of, of Kenneth and Irene. How do you mean you were forced and manipulated? Irene spiked my drinks and she made videos of both of us kissing. And she threatened that she was going to release it to the media and press if I didn't comply. Hence, I was forced to do what I did. No, hold up. Are you saying she took videos of you two kissing? Or you two slept together and then that's made love. What she said, "That's that's that, that's what what she said." I have no idea what happened. I was drunk. Hmm. Do you plan on telling Sandra this? Well, I'm, 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 I'm very confused. I, I don't know. Telling Sandra this will ruin your relationship with your family that you've worked so hard to get back to. You just have to decide on what to do. That's why I'm here. I need your help. You know, I can only advise. But the decision is yours to make. So you think about it, make your decision, but you have to consider your health first. But then again, I, I also think Sandra has a right to know. Irene. <laughs> oh, God. 
dagger. That was a good job. I will. <laughs> You're now in my net. And I alone can save you from my rot. I will destroy you. I will so crush you. Ah! By the time I'm done with you. Hmm. So sorry, Leon. When you cut down the tree of vengeance, even the innocent gets affected. house. There is no place for you in my house. Do you understand? Leon, you just came back from wherever it is you're coming from to reunite with your wife and daughter. Do you want to return back there so soon? Because I can help you achieve that. You have no place here. You're an evil person and I'll, I will not let you infect my family. So get out of my house, okay? Uh, okay? I will leave. But only the person that made me come to this place in the first place. That's the only person that can make me leave. And that person isn't you. So do your worst and quit trying. Come on, Leon. Because Irene is not going anywhere. If it's not coming from my sister's friend, Sandra. Please close the door. When you're done looking at my sexy, beautiful little... I was going to say that, but you just did. <laughs> oh my god! about her. Or oh, is this something you're not telling me? Because it's your insistence on sending her away is becoming alarming. Look, Irene has a case with the police. I don't want trouble around you or Miracle. Soon the police will start coming here to ask her questions and I don't want this having a negative effect on our daughter. Sweetheart, don't worry yourself. If it's about her past, I'm sure she will clear her way with the police. Let's give her a chance. Besides, her late sister was my best friend. And I don't want you to bother yourself about this anymore, please. and go scot-free. <laughs> Where is she? I said... Where is she? Uh, Where is Irene? What's the problem? That idiot thinks she can kill my brother the and go scot-free. So why are you shouting? Oh, I said, are you Where okay? is Irene? Hey. Murderer, come out and face me! Why are you shouting in my house? Where is that murderer? No, no, why? Why, why are you ranting? And you, Sandra, you have the guts to harbor a murderer in your house. You know very well that Irene killed my brother Kenneth. And you're here taking sides with her. Do you know that makes you a murderer too? Oh, oh I see. And here comes the latest murderer in town. Irene or whatever they call you. I will so deal with you in this town. You don't know what is coming your way. By the time I am true with you, by the time I am true with you, you will not be able to recognize yourself. Becky! Get out of my compound before I call the police on you. Get out! 
Becky. You do not have any evidence to send me to jail. No evidence against me. So there's nothing you can do. All you can do is rant like a broken record that you are. But please, just look at the environment. And don't disturb. Stop shouting, barking like a mad dog here. If you want to do that, please go to the streets where you will see your likes there. And I'm sure they will listen to you. Don't just come here and disturb the, the entire neighborhood. Just... I see. And Sandra, I will leave your house. It's obvious you've decided to take sides with this thing. But I want to warn you. I'm going to destroy Irene. I will, yes. And if you dare come in my way of doing that, I will so crush you. Hey! Hold it right there. Are you in a way threatening me in my house? Is that what you're doing? Now listen. If anything happens to me or any member of my family, I will make sure you don't go free. You will not go scot-free. Sandra, you listen to me and listen real good. I am not afraid of you. And as for you, Irene, better watch your back because I will destroy you. And not just you, to everyone that is supporting you. I won't hesitate to destroy you as well. Get out of my compound now! For the last time I'm warning you, fool! Can you imagine the nonsense? If I had known, I would have called the police to pick her up from here. Don't worry yourself. They're just empty threats. Let me get you back here next time. Irene, come on. Your sister Becky came to the house today, threatening to deal with me. She said I can hide from the police, but I can't hide from her. I mean, she said a whole lot of things that I can't remember right now. You know, you shouldn't pay attention to her. She's just making an empty threat. She would do nothing. She can't even kill a rat. Tony, from the way she sounded, they are not empty. I mean, for Becky to come out and say all of those things openly, be rest assured, she will do something. I'm not scared of her. I'm just worried about Sandra and her family. Which is why I'm thinking of leaving them right now. But leaving them will be exposing them to Becky. I need to protect them. You have nothing to worry about that. Okay, I'll talk to her, but if she dare do anything stupid, if she tries anything stupid, she's going to find herself in the police net. And I'm so sure of that. I'm just telling you so you'll be aware. Like I said, I am not scared of her. I mean, I can defend myself. I'm just concerned about Sandra and her family. You know what? Becky would not dare do anything to them. That I know. She would never, she wouldn't try it. She wouldn't do anything to them. I hope so. I know so. Okay. Because she, she knows. Oga, 1,000 naira is what I have here. If you don't want it, I'll leave you here and go right now. Madam, you can <laughs> see for yourself. I cannot pay, I cannot pay, I cannot pay you one for, it's not possible for me to say one for, how? How? I cannot do it, sorry, I don't have it. It's not me. Okay, I will leave you here and go with, the, with your money, oh. I can't do it, oh. Huh. Well, it's oh. not me, it's not me. I know. You can see for yourself. It's not me. Oga, okay. collect the money now or I'll leave you here and go. I can't collect. I'll, I'll go with your money, oh. I can't. I'll go with your money. You have to pay me. Okay, we we'll stay here together now. Uh, let's wait and see. I don't have one for to pay you, okay? I have 1,000 naira. Wow. If you don't want it, I'll, leave. I'll, I'll go with your money. You can't. I will you go with your money. Like, I've told you, I can't collect it. It's not me. This is tax safe. I will go with, with your money, yo. I will go with your money, yo. 1,000 naira, I'll go. I will go with your money, honestly. I'm wasting your time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so you're here quarreling again. Huh? This is funny. After I told you the other day that your temper is way too awful and hot for a woman. Huh? I told you to come for counseling at my office. But no, you refused to come. Now, 
Just, j just see. Haven't you ashamed of yourself? Huh? <laughs> Listen, honey. You need to change. And you need to learn how to control your temper. You know what? Come, let me cancel you. And I promise you, your life, your whole life, will change for the better. Can you please mind your business? What? Like hell. What, are you talking to me? Yes. You. <laughs> I cannot mind my business. So. How can I mind my business when lousy women like you are out there? Making men change the way they see women. <laughs> Aren't you ashamed of yourself, really? Listen, let me tell you something. If you continue this way, the only thing you will attract is the backhand of a man. Like this. <laughs> yes. Oga, okay. let's leave here now, okay? Let's leave here. I will pay you. I'll pay you double. I'll pay you double. Oga, okay. I'll pay you double. Let's, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Listen to me, darling. You have to come to my office. It will be very important for you. I will cancel you free of charge. What do you say? Huh? I'm expecting you. Okay? Bye. I thought you were going to abandon your family and stay away with your husband forever. Mom, I stayed away for a reason. What reason will make you stay away from your family? What reason will make you abandon your own family? Your brother is dead. And I'm here. So you've come to clap for the person that did all this to us? Mom, I stayed away because I did not want any troubles. The same reason I stayed away is the same reason you are here today. Yes, instigating your own favorite son against his wife, making him abuse her and enjoying the show. And now he's dead. And you are here, locked up in jail. And you still have no plans of changing. Haba, you're a complete fool. I wonder if I'm the one that actually gave birth to you. You're an idiot. So, you came here to condemn me. You don't even have plans to get me out of this place. Nonsense. Officer! Officer, come and take me away from this place. I was told you went to threaten Irene and Sandra today. Yes. I am not a coward like you. I will continue to fight until I revenge for the death of my brother Kenneth. Have you thought how that could make you end up in jail? I don't care. As long as I make that murderer pay for the crime she committed, I don't care. So you're bent on destroying your own life because you want to be even with Irene? And because you think she's responsible for Kenneth's death? Tony, Irene can fool you as much as she wants, but not Becky. Irene killed my brother Kenneth. I am sure of it. And that murderer knows I know this. That was why she ran away from this house in the first place. Irene left because she wanted peace. You know, you've caused so much hatred in this house. And that's what she doesn't want. Listen, Becky. You need to stop whatsoever you're doing and allow the police to do their job. The truth cannot be hidden forever. The truth cannot be hidden for so long. If she's guilty, she will definitely pay for her crime. Please, I beg you, don't take laws into your hands. I am going to take laws into my hands. Because those with the law have refused to do what they are supposed to do. See, see Tony, my mind is made up on this matter. There is nothing you say or do that will ever make me change my mind. Period. I have advised you as a brother. So it's left for you to either take it Thank or... Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Advisor. Hey. 
Hey, darling. Hey. Mm. Welcome. What's the wine for? Oh, um. Um. I actually got this to celebrate you for accepting to be my girlfriend. Oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> Baby, you're just so incredibly sweet. You're phenomenal. <sighs> Nobody has ever treated me the way you treat me. You're just you're romantic. You're sweet. You're everything. Um, I'm flattered. <laughs> but I promise you, I'll do this and many more for you as long as we're together. All right. That's you shall be. Well, enough said. Let's uh, drink to this. Thank you, baby. By the way, you look sweet. I'm Thank sorry, you. Uh, all right. Oh. Thank you. I hit the jackpot with you. Cheers to us. Cheers to Many us. Many more years. Many more years. Oh wow! Hmm. Maybe I name me. I'm going out with it. Ah. Alex, can we please not do this right now? Why? Are you not enjoying this? Uh, I, I, I am. I am, but. I'm just not in the mood. It's okay, I understand. It's okay. I, I, I hope you're not feeling some kind of... Oh, no, not at all. See, I understand that probably it's not your day. And besides, I'm not a sex freak, okay? So, we're on the same page, all right? Thank you. It's okay. I'll have to be on my way now. Um, Thank you for making my day. Uh, I should be thanking you for making me laugh so much. <laughs> Whatever. So, uh, you have to see me often, right? Yes, yes. Let, let me. Uh... Come on. Oh, my God. I forgot to give Sarah this year. What am I going to do now? I guess I have to eat it and buy another one tomorrow. But what was I thinking?
I'm sorry for keeping you guys with me. I had an emergency to attend. Please pardon me. It's okay, no problem, Mr. Thank you for understanding. So, Mr. Leon, how are you feeling today? Um, I'm feeling good. But he has complaints, which is why we've come to see you. Oh, yes, um, I have uh, I have pains and uh, I have um, I'm sore in my mouth and on my, my throat. I, I I can't eat very well and I find it very hard sleeping. And that is quite confusing. Please, what can be done? The result he's facing right now are the side effects of the drugs he is taking. You know, cancer treatment can come with a lot of pain when in the course of treatment the important tissues or organ are affected. But it's, it's good the way he complains right now, so um, I'm going to treat him right away so that I'll re make sure the pain is reduced. But fighting cancer is not easy. It comes with a lot of pain, but I will treat you right away and I'll make sure you get better. Please, doctor, do give him the drugs because it's really unbearable having him go through this pain. I understand you, Sandra. We'll do our best and he'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you very much, doctor. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Boss lady, my boss has done what you asked for. Good job, Dagger. Thank you. Well done, boys. Please take off that thing. Let me see the idiot's face. Please don't kill me, please. Dada, what's the meaning of this? Mama, what is, what is up now? She is not the one! Mama, boy, you've been capturing a girl now. Dumbass! But I gave you the picture of who I wanted! Boss Lee, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I will not fool them do that, Waka. I know even check made them as they come back based on say they never found my hand before. But I can fix this. We will take this girl and we turn her wherever they pick her from and I will get you what you want. Too late, Dagger. Too late. Tibeki, please don't kill me. Auntie Becky, please. Auntie. It. 
It's Alex. Alex, what about him? <laughs> Should he talk to me? What about him? What happened? He found out about my past. This is not good. Sweetie, this is not a good news. How did he take it? What was his reaction that is making you cry this bad? He was so upset with me. He wouldn't even pause to let me explain anything to him. He walked me out of his home. He ought to be. He ought to be. I told you to let him know everything about your past. But you said no, he was not important. Now look at the outcome. How on earth was I supposed to know he would find out about my past? How? <laughs> you know very well why I did not tell him. I was scared that, that he would find out at me and be discouraged. Or run away or something. Besides, it's not his fault. Is that stupid Suya so Sela's fault? Why did he have to use this paper honest to God? I wish I can find out Suya Sela. He would have gotten a hot slap from me. It's not the Suya Sela's fault. It's not. Information disseminates these days anyhow it's wants. You know, you should have just told him. It would have been better if you told him yourself. That way, if he truly loves you, he will make the decision of staying or leaving. But you know what, honey? He's just upset at the moment. When he's calm, he will listen to you. No. No, Sandra, that's not the case, I'm telling you. I have tried calling him several times. He's not picking my calls. And even when I persist with the calling, he just switches off his phone on me. This is too much now. This is too much for me. What have I done to deserve this? This is not okay. Now that things are about getting better in my life, somehow there is an obstruction. This, this is too much for me. Stop. <laughs> You've not gone wrong anywhere. Nothing is wrong with you. Like I said, he's just upset at the moment. And when he's calm, he will listen to you. Don't let this bother you too much. Stop it. Sandra, I have to ask this. Am I jinxed? You are not. Am I cursed? What is all okay, this? Okay, stop. What stop. Come here. Come here, sweetie. Come this here. This is too much for stop me. Crying. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself. You're stronger than this. You know that, right? Frida, something is smelling. I can perceive it. I can't perceive anything. Something is smelling very burnt, and I can perceive it. Yes, I can perceive it now. Where is it coming from? That is what I'm thinking. Yeah, you got it. What is it? It's the food we're cooking. It's burning. But we have nothing to eat anymore. What are we going to do? Are we going to remain hungry for the rest of the day? Please stop crying. All this would happen if mom was alive. I know, and no one cares for us. Mom, please, we miss you. Please come back and save your children. If mom was here, she could prepare anything we want. But now, no one cares about us. Uncle Tony no longer cares about us like he used to. Auntie Peggy shouts at us at every opportunity. There's no one in this family showing us love anymore. I guess we're paying the price of being orphans.
Wake up, you foolish children. What did you do in that kitchen that you left it all messed up? Who asked you to go and cook? Oh, I'm talking and you're still sleeping. Am I not talking to you girls? Auntie Becky, we were hungry and there was no one to cook for us. So we decided to cook for ourselves so that we wouldn't die of hunger. And who told you that hunger kills anyone? You spoiled and foolish children. Who told you that? Did you succeed in cooking the food? You only succeeded in wasting the gas and burning the pots. What is wrong with the two of you? The next time I see the both of you in that kitchen trying to do what I don't know, you will have yourself to blame in this house. Nonsense. But, Auntie Becky, all this wouldn't have happened if you just prepared food before leaving the house. Oh, oh I see. Auntie Becky has now turned to your housemaid. I have to do the whole chores in this house before going out, isn't it? I'm asking you. Aunt, you were supposed to eat breakfast and you didn't do anything about it. Will you shut up that thing you come out before I shut it up for you? Is that why the both of you decided to mess up the kitchen? I'm asking you, is that why you messed up that kitchen? Listen, this is the last time I'm warning you. If you ever, for any reason, mess up that kitchen again, you will not find it funny with me. Did you hear what I said? Rubbish. Oh, you're welcome, darling. Yes. Oh, thank you. How was your day? Very well, it's fine. Uh. tired and stressed up. You can say that again. Thanks to the huge traffic we entered on our way back home. These trailers and their constant falling on the road. They will always obstruct road movements. And the federal government seems not to be doing anything about it. Can you imagine? Really? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Um, where is Miracle? Isn't she aware my mind is back? She should be in her room. We are talking to her father. You know these girls and their father, their relationship is... I'm not going to come over there where I want to give her the ice cream I bought for her. I mean, I will check the bathroom. I can't see her. Where is she? What are you talking about? So where is she then? Are you, are you asking me that? Where? Aren't you supposed to be home with her all day? Yes, I was, but she said she's going to be in her room, so I didn't... Mira! Miracle! Alright, sweetie, I just got back and I'm tired. Let's stop the hide and seek. Come down stairs or come out of your hiding. Please, Mama is tired. Where is she? Miracle. Miracle. No hugs. Welcome, Uncle Tony and Uncle Kepas. Why are you moody and quiet? What's happening? What's wrong? Talk to me. Uncle, you don't care about us like you used to. Oh, my babies. You know that's not true. You know. Like, you know that's actually not true. Why are you sounding this way? What's happening? You left the house without even bothering if we have eaten. We've been starving all day. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But your auntie was at home. Didn't she make food for you? She wasn't at home either. And there was no one to prepare food for us. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. You know, I and your uncle Kefas, we're just returning from the mortuary now. Uh, we went to make arrangements for your dad's burial. What did I just hear you say? You went to make arrangements for whose burial? Kenneth, of course. Do you have a problem with that? Did I not make it clear in this house there will not be any burial for my brother Kenneth until he gets the justice that he deserves? Becky, getting justice for Kenneth does not stop us from going ahead with his burial arrangement. Besides, it's the work of the police and they are working on it. I've told you all, there will not be any burial in this house until Kenneth gets the justice that he deserves. And that is final. What 
you took me here. Hi, Becky. Um, please. I have come to ask if Miracle had come here, maybe to play with Freda and Augusta. And does this place look like a playing ground in your eyes? Does it? Becky, I'm not joking. I'm serious. I'm not playing with you either. And now, get out of this place. Get out before you see the other side of me. Okay, I'm sorry. It hasn't got into this. Eh? Just help me check if she's inside. I said you should take your future self out of this compound. And let me warn you, Sandra. The next time I see you here, I'm going to burn your life. Oh yeah, leave. Get out. Looking worried. Tony, Miracle is missing. So I came here to, to ask if she had come here by chance, probably to play with Freda and Augusta. But, but Becky won't even hear me out. She just walked me out rudely. How come? Miracle missing? How long has that been? It's over four hours now. Tony, please, can you help me check if she's inside with them? I beg you, please. Okay, sure I will. Um, come with me. But first, I need to get a change of clothes. So in case we don't find her, then we can just go straight to the police station and make a statement. Oh, oh. Is that fine by you? Yes, thank okay, you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, so how is Leon? Yeah, go to the supermarket. Oh, uh, madam. Your daughter was with who when you left this morning? She was with my late friend's sister, Irene. And when we returned, my daughter was nowhere to be found. How many hours has this been now? It's been six hours since she got missing. We've searched everywhere we're supposed to search out. No one knows where she is. Please, sir, uh, just do all you can within your powers to help us look for her. Yes, the police will try to look for her, but we cannot declare her missing yet because it's not up to 24 hours until then. So we can't declare her missing. Uh, how old is your daughter? And do you have a picture of her here? Yes, I do have a picture of her in my phone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Do you have any quarrel or fight with anyone in your neighborhood? Or did anyone threaten you and your family at any point in time? Y yes, officer. There's this lady, Becky. A few days ago, she came to my house and threatened to deal with me and my family. Ah, uh, okay, that's okay. Um, just as I said earlier, we cannot declare her missing yet until it's 24 hours before we can do that. And then we can also invite uh, every suspect for questioning. Sir, please do everything and anything you can to save her. She's my only child. We'll try our best. Well, I'll inform every of our Officer at every checkpoint of her disappearance and so that they can speed up their search for her. So if you find anything, you will be promptly informed. Um, thank you very, very much, Officer. We would count on the police on this one. And <laughs> any day, any time. The police is at the service of the public. Thank you. It's all right, Sandra. I understand how you feel. <sighs> Uh, but please take it easy, darling. The police have assured us that they will bring her back. So uh, all we need to be is to be optimistic and prayerful for them to find optimistic, her. Optimistic! Optimistic! How can I live a day without miracle? I can't believe she's nowhere to be found. She's not here by my side. I don't want anything to happen to my daughter. Nothing should happen to me, Rangu. Nothing should happen to my child. Nothing will happen to her. Oh. Please, please, darling, get a grip on yourself. I'm sure she'll be brought back safe and sound. Listen, think about the dangers you stand to inflict on yourself if you overstress yourself from crying. Please just take it. I don't care. Seat. Let me stress myself. Let me fall down and die. What about life? What about life for without my miracle? My only daughter, where am I? Miracle, where are you, please? Oh, mercy on your mommy, I come back home, please. What are you 
saying? Why are you being so pessimistic? Where is your faith? Listen to me, Sandra, just listen. I am sure okay. Miracle is fine and healthy wherever she is now. You know, she loves you, right? Oh, she Jesus. loves you. And I am sure she'll be oh. trying to find her own okay. body. Just take okay. it easy. Father Lord, I beg you in Jesus' name, please bring my daughter. Sandra. Bring her home safe and sound. Sandra. God, I beg you. Now you're talking. God, I beg you. Now you're you talking. You need to be positive. She will be put back. I'm telling you, please stop this. Please get up. She will be fine. She will be fine, Sandra. Okay? Please. Please stop. Stop crying. It's all right. It's okay. She will be. Stop it. It's fine. It's okay. She will be back. Okay. I'm telling you, stop. Stop this. It's okay. Just, just do this. This is a woman's room for crying out loud. You should knock and wait for permission before you barge in like you did. What if I was naked? Well, I'm waiting for your dirty talk. I can see you're packing your things and ready to leave after you succeed with your evil plans in my house. What are you blabbing about? These are my clothes I washed today. I'm only arranging them into my bag. Not... I'm not going anywhere like you're insinuating. Whatever. Irene, I have told you. I have told you to pack your belongings and leave my house. Your presence here is calamity. It's a big disaster in my family. The sudden disappearance of my daughter goes along to show that all is not well and will not be calm as long as you are here. Leon, believe me. I am worried and concerned as you are. I love Miracle as much as you do. Though my love for her cannot be measured with that of yours because you are her father. But trust me, I can relate to your plight. Shut up your mouth over there. I cannot relate with my plight because if you do, you would pack your things and leave this very minute. Okay. Um, I know we had an ugly experience in the past, but that's in the past now. Can we just dust our body and move on to face re the reality and problem challenging us right now? Can we do that? The only problem I'm facing right now is you in my house. Let me warn you, if anything happens to my daughter, anything at all, you would have me to contend with. And that is a promise from me to you. so heartless do you have any sympathy left in this your heart i mean this is your heart this heart of yours do you what are you driving at oh i'm talking about the way you treated sandra when she came looking for her missing daughter miracle earlier today is that the reason you barged into my room the way you did to come talk about sympathy for someone that is housing the murder of your only brother tony you are insane now you're making me believe you're responsible for the sudden disappearance of that girl, Miracle. You see why I said you're insane? You are a fool. An incredible, that is what you are. You were here taking sides with people that stopped at nothing until they saw your only brother go down lifeless. The only brother whose house you're still living in. You know what? Since you've now become their mouthpiece, I'd rather you run off and go tell them that if I ever, for any reason, see them near this premises, I'll burn them alive. Now you get out of my room. Get out of my room. Get out! I said leave! Adjoy. The lady's here, sir. Oh, thank you. You can have your seat, madam. Um, Mrs. Uh, Becky Kefas, right? Yes, sir. Okay, you're welcome. 
Uh, Madam, tell me, what do you know about the disappearance of one Miraculeum? Miraculeum? No. I don't know anything about her disappearance. And I don't have anything to do with it either. Okay. But the family mentioned your name as the only person that has threatened to deal with them some weeks back. Well, I threatened them out of anger because of the demise of my brother Kenneth, who was murdered by this same family. Do you have any proof to that? Or you are just assuming? Well, officer, I don't have any proof to back up my claim. Then it is baseless. Just like they've accused me now without an evidence. Isn't that baseless as well? Uh, you are right, madam. But I want to tell you that we'll continue to invite you here whenever it is necessary during the course of this investigation. That wouldn't be a problem. I'm always available. That will be all for now. You may go. Sarah, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. How was your day? It was fine, darling. Thanks for asking. How are you feeling now? Um, I guess I'm... I guess I'm okay. I'm just sitting here, hoping and praying for Miracle's return. Amen to that. I too am hoping for her return. We all are. I'm so sorry, I was engrossed in the disappearance of my daughter that I didn't ask, how is Alex? Have you guys sorted out things? Not yet. And why is that? What happened? I've been to his house a couple of times and um, his door is locked. I guess he traveled. Traveled. Have you tried reaching him on the phone? I've called him severally, but I always get no response. I guess he's still upset with me. So, um, I decided to give him time, you know, to cool off his anger for me. You did the right thing, my dear. Just let him be. With time, he will cool off and you guys will sort out things. Sorry, excuse me. Hello? Hello? Yes, Mrs. Sandra speaking. Okay. I'll be there. That was from the police station. They asked me to come. I'm 
Innocent child? What are you thinking? You're not supposed to be here. You ought to be behind bars. You know what? You are a coward. I'm so ashamed to call a weakling like you my brother. You want to call the police to come and arrest me? No, you go ahead. She murdered my brother Kenneth and she's roaming the streets free, all in the name of no evidence. I want to call the police. Go ahead, I am waiting. Go ahead! You've said it all. There's no evidence that she killed my brother Kenneth. Even the police have no evidence. So you have to kill an innocent child in trying to set the two of us up? You know what? I have no regrets killing that innocent child like you called her. What? What difference does it make? <coughs> she killed my brother. She's supposed to be behind bars. And here she is. All in the name of no evidence. Do you have any evidence against me? No, go ahead and call the police. I'm waiting. Go ahead. Becky. Becky, you killed an innocent child. You killed an innocent child just because of me. You killed Miracle. Becky. Ah, oh, you have started a war you cannot finish. I will make sure you go down for this. That I will assure you. Becky. You are just a toothless bulldog. You go ahead and do your worst. Coward. <laughs> Becky. You mean you did all this? You had better stay out of this. You're a devil! Officer, how did you find her body? Where did you find her body? Who is responsible for this? <sighs> My men got information and raided a warehouse. And hmm. it was there that a corpse of a little girl that fit the description of your daughter was found. And it was for this reason that I initially invited you to come and identify her body. <laughs> Look, we will get to the bottom of this. They will be brought to justice. Mm -hmm. I promise you. By any chance traveling? No, I am not traveling. I am packing out of your life for good. You are a murderer. And I can't stay under the same roof with you. I'll much more call you my wife. Okay, facts, you can call it off. Coward. That is what you are. Yes, I agree, I'm a coward. But I will never live under the same roof with you. Murderer. You should be in jail for all the crimes you have committed. You know, it's a good thing you're living. You were of no value to me in the first place. Leave and never return. Mondra! Lady, please calm down. You don't have to kill yourself crying over the death of your daughter. <laughs> eh? We all know how much you love them and how close you guys were, but life goes on. Please, just try and control yourself, hmm? And trust in God. He knows best, and I'm sure he will comfort you in his own way. Please. God has finally abandoned me. 
He is so unfair to me. Why would he allow them to take my only daughter? My only miracle, my only source of joy and happiness. What else am I living for? The only thing I'm living for. What else am I living for? No, no, what am, what am I really living for? What am I living for? What am I living for? Please, please, eh? don't talk like that. You still have your husband and other family members to live for. Thank you very much, madam. The same thing we've been telling her. But she's been paying us no mind. Sandra, please calm down. We all know how you feel, but you need to take heart. Please. You know what, please, just take good care of her. I, I need to be on my way now. I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry. Um, Neymar, thank you for coming, okay? Take care. What have you come to do? Get out of my house! Get out of my house, you witch! Get out of my house, do what you and I will regret! Sandra, please calm down. I understand you are in pain. So I forgive your actions. Tell this witch to leave my house this minute. <laughs> Sandra, it's okay. Just, just calm down. Just, just control yourself, okay? You know you're not strong enough for this. Just let her be. If Becky has come here to mock a woman, her fellow woman, for losing her daughter, let her go ahead. Mm. Becky, go ahead. Show everybody you don't have a conscience. Well, on the contrary, I haven't come here to mock anyone. And I do have a conscience. Okay? And that is why I've come to pay my own condolence to the bereaved. Sandra, accept my condolence. I don't need it. I don't need your sympathy. You have proven to be an enemy and that is what you are. So get the hell out of my house this minute. You people should tell her to leave my house. Tell her to leave my house and what is all this? You know what? It's really unfortunate that you're ignorant of who your true enemy is. I only came here to say sorry and you turned around and called me an enemy. What then will you call Irene? Do you know that Irene here has been sleeping with your husband right under your nose? What? You are such a liar. You know what? Get out of my house. Get out before I move you! Stop right there. You don't have to use the last energy you have to cry over the death of your daughter to push me. You know what? I was already leaving, but not without hitting the nail on the head. So let me ask you, why do you think that Leon here testified in her favor against you in court over Kenneth's matter? Your answer is as good as mine. You know what? Hard luck for your loss. Excuse me.
Hey. Why are you not sleeping? Nothing. Alex, I know you have a lot of questions. And I'm ready to give you answers. If you're willing to listen. Shoot. Do you mind telling me what has been happening? How long has this been going on? How long what has been going on? I don't understand. What Becky said earlier today about you and Irene. What is the real truth? The truth is, what, what Becky said is the truth, but not the way she painted it. I'm not sleeping with Irene, not dating her, I'm not, I don't have a relationship with her. What led to it? I deserve to know everything. I'm listening. Irene spiked my drink at home. I woke up the next morning naked and she was nowhere to be found. The next thing I saw was she showed me pictures and videos of me kissing her. And she threatened to show you the videos and release it to the press if I didn't do what she wanted. She threatened to testify in favor of Kenneth or they would release the videos to you. I had to do what they wanted because I didn't want to lose you and my daughter. This is the gospel truth. I want you to believe me. Every other thing that Becky said is a lie. That was how we went to court. And with the help of my friend, Sandra, I was able to get justice and become a free woman again. Please stop crying, all right? I'm sorry for bringing back your old memories. It's just that when I read about you on that newspaper, I couldn't help but feel sad about it. All that is in the past now. And I've decided not to make it a problem anymore. It's okay. Just let it go. I'm very soft, okay? See, I am here now. Never to leave you anymore. Henceforth, together we'll form a new life full of happiness. Sir, I'm giving you my word, and you can count on me on that, okay? Thank you, Alex. Even with all my flaws, you have accepted me. Thank you, I, I love you. What are you doing? Um, Sandra, I think I've caused more harm than good. I'm leaving. Leaving? At this time of the night? To where? I don't know. But I have to. I have to go. 
I've brought nothing but trouble ever since you allowed me into your house. I can't allow my presence here to tear your home apart. I'm going. I'm not letting you leave. Not at this odd hour of the night. Hey, what if something bad happens to you out there? Don't worry, nothing will happen to me, okay? I just, I have to go. Let me go so that you can have peace in your home. You don't deserve all this trouble. Mm -mm. You know what? Hit the bathroom, take a shower, sleep. Tomorrow we'll talk about this whole thing. Hmm? Let me just go. Mm -mm. Please. Sandra. What do you want me to tell you now? Everything. I need you to tell me the truth. What happened between you and my husband? How would you know I'm telling you the truth? Becky said. Irene, you can see I am calm talking to you. That's because I believe you have reason for everything you do. So tell me, what is your reason for doing this? Why did you do it? Oh well, you're right. Irene never does anything without a reason. Like I said, I have a reason for doing what I did. But that doesn't include sleeping with your husband. I don't get you. You don't have a reason for sleeping with my husband? Yes. That's because I didn't sleep with your husband. I mean... I need you to tell me the whole truth. Don't lie to me. Because I confirmed with my husband and he said the two of you slept with each other and that you have a video of that act. So don't play games with me. Your husband is not wrong. Yes, I had nude videos. But believe me, nothing happened. I didn't sleep with your husband. He was unconscious, so I made videos of us kissing. Oh, no. I did the kissing. I kissing him. Sorry about that. And I made him to believe we did more than that, so that I can get him to do what I request of him. So what you're saying is, you didn't sleep with my husband. Sandra, only I know the truth. And I just told you now. It's all right. Thank you very much, Irene. For some reason, I believe you. Really? Why? Because you're one person who is not afraid to say the truth, no matter what. And looking at those eyes of yours, I can tell you're not lying to me. You're not looking too bright, my friend. What's up with the long face? How will I look bright when the people I call my friends have decided to keep significant information from me? All right, speak out, Sandra. You're my friend, and I know you too well. Out with it, girl. What is it that I have done? You have known all along about Irene and my husband, yet you didn't tell me. You think I don't deserve to know? 
Yes, I did know. But it wasn't for me to reveal it to you. I can't believe my ears. I, are you for real? It wasn't... And you call yourself my friend? Yes, darling, you're my friend. A very close one at that. But it wasn't told to me as a friend. It was told to me by a client in confidence. And as a counsellor, it's against the ethics of my profession to reveal it to you. Clients. Confidence. And that client of yours happens to be your best friend's husband. Come on now. You, you, you're supposed to tell her. Let her know. How are you saying? You don't expect me to be sentimental by mixing friendship with work. It would be highly unprofessional of me, and you know it. Anyway, for your information, I now know all about it. Thanks to Becky's ranting. But the good thing is, nothing of sort happened between my husband and Irene. How did you find out? Irene said she took new pictures and videos of them just to blackmail Leon and make him testify in favor of Kenneth. The rest, you know, story. Well, it's a good thing you know. I hope you don't have any more grudges against me. No, I'm still mad at you. <laughs> I am mad at you. <laughs> I'm really happy though. I mean, but you're smiling with all that is happening in your life. You're strong. Hmm, my dear. This whole thing still feels like a dream to me. I just, I just hope that one day soon, I'll come to the reality of this whole thing and I'll just... It's alright, darling. It's okay, everything will be just fine. <sighs> Tony, can I ask you a question? Sure you can, darling. Who killed Miracle? You're asking the wrong person. That question should be directed to your auntie here, and not me. But why? You've been the one going with Miracle's family to the police station. Then how come you don't know? <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't know, Augusta. Your auntie here knows. Even me, I'm eager for her to tell us who the murderer is. Auntie, since you really know who the murderer is, then why didn't you report the person to the police so that he or she can be arrested and sent to jail? Exactly my question. You're a smart kid. So, Auntie, please, tell us who the murderer is and when you plan to report the person. Yes, Auntie. Tell us the person. Are you scared of reporting the person? We can help you. After all, Miracle is our good friend. Yes, and reporting the murderer won't be a problem. And I think it will be the best thing as friends of Miracle. And I also think it will help her to get the justice which she deserves. <coughs> Oh, just shut up! Just shut up! You're asking for the murder of Miracle. I am! Oh, yes! You heard me loud and clear. Isn't that what your ears have been itching to hear? So now you know, can I please have my food in peace?
Sandra, the resort I have here before me shows that there is nothing like drinking. That usually concerns what I'm worried. Eh? He doesn't have a brain tumor. Doctor, are you sure of this information? Yes, I'm sure. This is the result. You can check it yourself. Wow! Doctor, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. I can't believe this. So you mean my Leon is perfectly fine? I can't wait to share this good news with him. Yeah, you have to take care of your emotions right now. Um, we have to conduct another test to be properly sure of the present one. But we have the test result here and it says negative. Yes, remember, the first test said it's positive. So we have to do another test to confirm this one. Hi. Uh, and when will that be? Um, don't worry, you will be informed. I know you can't wait, but we have to make sure we conduct a proper test. Hi. Kefas, you're just a fool. No, no, no. You claim to be a man and you took off like the coward that you are. Oh, you think having those things beneath your legs makes you a man? Is that what you think? I don't even know why I picked this call in the first place. Do you know what? Oh, yes. Do you know what? No, you listen. Don't you ever, for any reason, call this line again. Did you hear that? Get out. Wow. I can see the two of you are getting along pretty well. Should I call that wife? And concubine connection? Watch it, Becky. Watch it. Don't cross your limits. Or what? You will hit me? <laughs> Becky. Mm. Becky. Do you know what your problem is? You are not matured. So you think everybody is as grossy, dumb, and stupid as you are? I really. You know, it's not actually your fault. No. Why won't you have the guts to talk? when you're now sleeping with a married man and the wife is actually very comfortable with that what you Becky? i don't have the time she's even taking you round town i guess it's in appreciation for handling her man real good let me tell you something sandra it's failing in her marital duties and you as a good friend it's Obviously, helping her out. Becky, you shut this gutter you call it mouth to stop talking nonsense. What will you do? You husband snatcher. What? The, Irene. The, this no, 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 no. Yes. So you heard me well. By the time I am done with you in this town, you will learn not to mess with Becky. Another threat. Oh, you're threatening us again. Becky, this time I will not take it lightly with you. I will not. You know what? Bring it on. Oh, bring it on. I'm waiting for you. And just so you know, I've not forgotten the threats that led to Miracle's death. And if I find out you are responsible, be prepared to meet the devil oh, in hell. Shut up. You toothless bulldog. All you ever do is back and back and back. Don't push me. When will you ever bite? When? The best you can do is run off to the police. But you know what? Becky will always have her way. Okay, now that's it, bitch. Bounce. You bitch, I say bounce. You should better watch your back. Oh, you. Watch, watch your, your back. Because I'll be coming. Bounce. bounce. Rubbish. Sandra, just ignore this bitch. She's of no match to us. There's no need bantering words with her. For oh, Becky. Becky. You. Wow. You finally agreed you have a problem. I'm happy that someone sees the need to ask for help. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm not here for counseling. I hope you're not here to cause any mischief. 
because I will just tie you up and can't sell you. Mm. You have a very good sense of humor. Which makes me wonder why you allowed yourself to be treated so badly by my brother. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Um, Calvin. He was my brother. Yes. Please don't get me wrong. I am not in support of what he and my mom did to you. Okay? Their bad attitude was what made me stay away from family all these years. I've been with my husband abroad, <laughs> the very same husband they never liked, that they cut me off for. I just heard about what happened and decided to come see her. And please, I came to plead on her behalf. <laughs> that you please withdraw all charges against her. Please, Sarah. I mean, we've all been through a lot already. Let peace just reign. Onome, you have come here to my office to plead on behalf of your mother. Have you by any means taken into consideration the threat she will pose to my life if she's allowed out of jail? I know how you feel. Trust me, I understand. I am not in support of what she had done. I have never ever been in support of my mom and brother's evil ways. But you know, a mother will always be a mother. And I'm trying to see if she can turn a new leaf. Please, I need your help in this. Please. You know what? I actually don't have a problem with this. But I can't take any chances with my life. Your mother, as we all know, is a very, very dangerous woman. And she can go to any length to achieve what she wants. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Please, I do not want to completely give up on her. Please, like, at least I'm trying to give her the benefits of doubt to see if she can change for good. And please, she can't do that while she's in jail. <laughs> please, come on. Okay. I'll withdraw all the charges against her. But your mom has to sign an undertaking stating that if anything happens to me, she will be held solely responsible. And, oh no, she has to be the one pleading for the charges to be taken off, not you. So we'll take it from there and see if she's willing for a change. I will go pay her a visit and see what happens. How does that sound? <laughs> well, that sounds good. Thank you very much. I am very positive things will turn out well. Thank you. You're welcome, Anamé. Sandra and Leon, I'm sure you guys are happy to be here. And Leon, I'm happy you are here for the reason you know nothing about. Well, Sandra uh, told me it was important. Yes. Um, the last time you came, we conducted some tests and um, the result shows that you don't have a brain tumor. I told Sandra here, but we wanted to conduct more results so that we can be sure so that we don't raise your hope but the results still shows you don't have a pain tomorrow doctor this is indeed a wonderful news but why then did he faint and where did the first results come from um the result was switched i'm still investigating to be sure but as for the fainting leon has a low blood pressure it's um, not as deadly as cancer, but it is risky if it is not well managed. But you'll be fine. Yeah, but, but my daughter, I, I'm, I'm not going to die. <laughs> Thank you very much, doctor. Um, but please, if you're done with your investigation and you find out who switched the results, please do let me know. I will have one or two things to say to them. Yeah, sure, I will. Congrats. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to die. Can you like it? Do you like it? I'm so tasty. Thank you. Hey, Sarah. Babe. Hey, you're here. I have oh, oh. good news for you. Oh, Love me, darling. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey. How you 
you doing, Alex? Hi. Um, <laughs> nice Sandra, to meet you again. You, you look so happy. Um, yes, I'm happy. I'm super excited. Ah, okay, that's great. Please sit down, join us. All right. I don't think I'm uh, there's space for food in my tummy. I'm filled with joy. I'm filled with happiness. And you look it, I mean, I've not seen you this excited and giddy like a schoolgirl in a very long time. What did happen? Girl, Leon and I are mm. just coming from the hospital oh. where we went to collect his test results. Okay. Guess what? The brain tumor is gone! No more brain tumor. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Leon has no tumor, I'm telling you. What? What, uh, what happened? Yeah. My sister, the doctor said there were some complications and we're giving a wrong result. Can you what? imagine that? But that's incompetence. I mean, the hospital should be sued for that. Of course! I thought so too. But the doctor pleaded with me that he was going to run some investigation. But I told him once he's done and he finds out whoever did that, he should let me know because I need to tell that person something. Wow. But right now, I really don't care because I'm happy. I'm excited. Yes. So that can wait. You should be excited. <laughs> this is so crazy. It's and crazy. this also calls for celebration. Yes, girl. Let me go get wine. Wow. Please do. And I think I want to eat now. Oh, <laughs> get the plate. No, 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 no. Let's get the plate. Wine, wine. Ah, Jesus. Thank yeah, you, Jesus. Incompetent practitioners. Yeah. Honestly, can you imagine that? This, this is just. Crazy. How could they? No tumor? You have tumor? What rubbish! Can you imagine like this? No ah. tumor. You seem not to be happy after the good news. What's the problem? I'm happy. Just that the negativity of the result only means one thing. One thing? How could that be? What are you talking about? The outcome of the result means that my, my stay here has come to an end. I mean, you always allowed me to stay here based on health grounds and now that the result shows that I'm, I'm no longer sick, I guess it's time for me to leave. What do you want? Tell me sincerely from your heart what you really want to do. You want to stay here? Or you want to leave? I want to stay. I want to stay with the woman I love. I want to... I want to keep to the vow I made on the altar. So always be by your side. I want my happiness. I want my family. Then by all means, Stay with your family. But please, don't expect more from me. So tell me, Sandra, oh. how did Leon react when he heard the good news of the test result? Hmm. He was happy and all excited. He says he feels alive again. <laughs> As he should be. I mean, mm -hmm. who wouldn't? Poor him. I can only imagine his relief finding out that he won't be living this sweet, sweet world anytime soon. I can soon. imagine that too. You know, it's us to good life, long life, and good health. <laughs> yes. It's us to that. <laughs> yeah. 
Mango. Mango. <laughs> here. Oh, I read. Tony. You guys came right on time. You don't have to take a seat. Let me get more glasses. We're we'll celebrating. Oh, no, there will be no need for that. Uh, yes, um, no need. Um, actually, we came to tell you something very important. And what could be more important than joining us in celebrating the good health of Leon? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, you, you're right. Uh, we're happy for him too. Yes, we are. But we have an, an important information for you. Yes. Okay. And what is? Sandra, I'm really sorry that I kept this information away from you all this while. I I know I should have come forward with it. But like they say, it's uh, better late than never, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just come out with it already? You're making us nervous. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we we uh, just want to tell you that um, we know who murdered Miracle. What? You do? Yes. Y yes, we do. It's it's Becky. Jesus, Becky. Mrs. Becky Kefas Badmos. What can you say about the sudden disappearance and murder of one Miracle Leon? I'm talking to you. And I will appreciate it if you cooperate with me so that we can get this done easily. I want to speak to my lawyer. I know. But you also have to talk to me too, you know? You are not hearing one word from me until my lawyer gets here. I see. Me, Becky. Flesh and blood. Are you scared? <laughs> you don't have to be. You haven't seen a ghost yet. How did you get out? Mm. Did you run out of police custody? You know, I've always told you a growing child. <laughs> Becky needed not to run or stage an escape from the police. Why would I do a thing like that? It is me. I know what I'm capable of. Yes, I know you. You're very dicey. I know you've bought your way out of the police. But don't celebrate yet, because very soon you will be caught. That I know. You know, Tony. Tony, you see. I've always known you wanted me in jail so you can keep everything to yourself. But I'm so sorry to bust your bubbles. Becky is back and fast too. <laughs> I'll personally see to it that you are rearrested and mm. taken back to jail. That, I promise you. Bring it on, loser. Thanks for the food, by the way. Mm. Well, I hope he's thirsty. 
Madam, today is not a visiting day. Be fast. It's okay. I'll be as fast as possible. Let me just... So, who are you and why have you come to visit me? I know you don't know me, but I know you very well. How do you mean? My name is Becky. I am a friend. Madam, I know the reason you are here in the first place. It's because of Sarah, isn't it? You're very right. So how do you know? Like I said, I know much about you. Sarah is my enemy. And like the saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Just go away. I don't want anything to do with you. Well, I understand your fears. You think I'm a spy, right? You don't have to be scared. I am not. I am only a bitter woman like you who wants to avenge the death of a brother, just like you want to avenge the death of your son. Sarah killed your brother. Sarah and her friends connived and killed my brother. And I promised them I'll be back to take my revenge. So, since you and I have a similar case against the same people, I've come to extend my hand of partnership so that together we can destroy our common enemies. You know, I will not rest until I get revenge for my son no matter where I am. I don't know how I'm feeling. Sometimes I want him, you know, so bad. And other times I just, I feel like I don't want him or anyone else for that matter in my life again. I know how you feel. But sweetheart, life goes on. You have to learn to love again. I know. I'm trying my best. But it's just, sometimes I get really upset with myself and something in me tells me to push Alex away. I'm just to be alone again. Whatever is telling you that, disregard it. Don't agree with it. You know Alex is one in a million kind of guy. Mm -hmm. And you know that. He's in your life for a purpose. A very good one at that. Sweetheart, do everything in your powers to love him the way you ought to before you regret it. Don't I know that? Just that my heart tells me otherwise sometimes and I just get so confused, you know. But then it's not your heart. But the fear you've instilled in your heart. Get rid of such fears. And live your life happily. With the Prince Charming God has sent to you, of course. Sweetheart, open your heart and your arms to accept him. Hmm. Please. Thank you, mademoiselle. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder who is the relationship counselor here. Yeah, you are the best. <laughs> How are you doing, my sweet, sweet mother-in-law? As you can see, I'm fine. Have you come to mock me? You've come to know if I'm still alive. Well, as you can see, I am back from the prison to police cell. With the help of my lawyers. Don't worry, I can still do to you what I want to do from here. Wow. This is rather interesting, don't you think? So you're here. 
languishing. And instead of you to beg me to help cut your jail term, you're breeding fire and brimstone. <laughs> you will stay longer then. Don't worry. I have someone smarter and stronger than you outside there. Is that right? She will make you pay for everything you've done. Becky will make you pay for killing my son and for putting me here. So my dear, have fun while it lasts. Because she will get to you. Becky cannot do more than a dead rat. She can't do nada. <laughs> Tell you what, sweet, dirty mother-in-law. I would love to see your exploits with her. But fortunately, she can't do anything. She will be weak. <laughs> you know why? Because she'll be doing it alone. Mm. While you're in here, drowning and crying every day. You can't do anything. Actually, I don't have time for this rubbish. I gotta go, old devil. Sarah. I, don't, I really don't have time for this. Have a nice day. Sarah. <laughs> uh, we'll see about that. Hi. Hello. You went in to see her? Yes. Wow. So, how did it go? Your mother is threatening me with Becky. <laughs> Becky is a new she devil. According to her, they are both going to destroy me. I would like to see both of them try. Oh, goodness. When will my mother change? When? I'm I mean, she's still in here, locked in here, and she's still trying to continue what brought her here. Really? You know what? Please, please, I'll talk to her, okay? I mean, I have to talk to her. I will, I promise you. Because if she wants to continue like this, then I'm off her case. I'm off. I'll tell you something, <sighs> Anome. Your mother joining forces with Becky will destroy her so fast, her head will spin. And you know what? Becky will go scot-free while your mother remains in trouble. So you figure that out. I have something to take care of, so you deal with this. Oh, goodness. Madam, you have eight minutes. Remember, no touching. So why are you here? Why have you come to trouble me today? Mom, I just saw Sarah while I was coming in. And she said you're threatening to do that strong thing. <sighs> yes, she's very correct. I am going to deal with all of them who put me here. I will spill blood if need be. They think because I'm here, I can't do anything. <laughs> they are wrong. It's either they come here to replace me or they go down below. Mom, don't you want to get out of here? Do you like this place? I mean, we're out here putting hands together to get you out of here, and you're just here. Remove your head, oh. One of them. Remove your head from there because, as you're looking at me now, I am a moving train, and I will not hesitate to crush anything in front of me. One of them. Remove your own head, oh, so that whatever it is I send to crush theirs will not crush your own. Mom, mom, honestly, you need to stop this way of your thinking. You need to stop reasoning like this. And now I'm just your new Becky friend. The way she is in the whole game, I'm just, I'm just confused. We can never get out of this again. We're stuck in this thing. Ah. You and me stuck. Before I, I was worried I was inside there and no one cares. But right now, I can still be here and do whatever it is I want to do outside there. That is, taking care of my enemies. Oh no, my relax. Your mama will soon be out. Just relax, okay? Mm -hmm. Relax. Who's delaying this guy now? <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Ah, he's not even picking his call. Oh my god. Let me see if I can call Tunde. 
That one to take him years to get to this place now. I don't understand how this people. I see. Nature is beginning to punish you. Your standing on the road has just begun. Soon, you'll be picking and eating from the trash. It is you that will be picking and eating from the trash. Sandra, this is just the beginning. By the time I am through with you, you will not have the mouth to run to the police to complain. Oh, you watch your back. Because Becky, it's coming for you. Sweetheart, before you carry out your plan, I would have executed mine. Oh. And you would have been destroyed. Oh. I will stop at nothing to see you destroyed. Yes, you will pay for murdering my daughter. You bloodthirsty cannibal. Sandra, like I said, this is just the beginning. Until I destroy you and your gang, I will not rest too. Look at her, idiots. How did he tread get in here? What is this? Find out, mister. A metal? In our soup? I mean, Sarah, how could you make such a mistake? Find out what kind of metal it is. You executed my plans before me. Sarah, I will marry you any day, any time. Oh, that is so I beautiful. You. I love you more. I'm so happy. You've made me the happiest woman. You don't, you don't know how I feel. <laughs> get up, get up. Hold up. What did you just say? I said, Alex. Said he wants to marry me. Oh my goodness! Oh, this is so beautiful. I know. Oh, sweetie, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I'm really, you see, I told you to give love a chance. You did. Wow, this is super. I'm like some <laughs> demons flying around. Sweetie, I'm so happy for you. So you'll be getting married? Yes, 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 oh, yes, I can't I, wait to wear I am now so flowing dress. <laughs> yes, I know. But just listen. Honestly, I thought he was one of those guys that would just come and play and go. I know. But this one surprised me. Apparently, he loves me Aww. and wants to marry me. Oh, please Especially stop. after hearing about my past. Oh, yeah. So who am I to say no? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, really happy um, for you. Who are the demons you're talking about? Oh, it's Becky and her stupid threats. Sweetie, I will not rest until I destroy that bastard. How about reporting her to the police? That way they will find her and then put her behind bars forever. No, I will do no such. I don't want her behind bars. I want her dead. She deserves to die. Oh. No, if I put her behind bars, those bars will protect her from my rage. I will stop at nothing to see her die. Well, okay, whatever you want. What can I do to help? If I need your help at any point in time, I'll let you know. I am a mother. You mess with me? I can't let that fly. But to take the life of my only daughter, the only thing that makes me happy in this life, that's one step too far. I get it. I am walking towards that. But I will not be able to use the second option 
because that group will cost me so much money. Then you go with plan B. That way nobody will be traced. Are you sure this woman will be traced yes. to me? Yes, very sure. I trust you. Please don't fail me, okay? <laughs> All right. I'm um, thinking of something special for both of us. I don't know if it would be a good idea for you anyways. Hmm. Well, tell me about it. And if I like it, I'll, I'll let you know. I want us to hold an engagement party. Really? Wow, that's that's a fantastic idea. I like it. Really? Mm -hmm. Um, fine then. So, where do we hold the party? At your place or a lounge? Um, and um, I think a lounge, a lounge would be better. Yes. Okay, fine. So, how many people are you looking to invite? Just a few friends and clients. That's all. Hey. I hope you're not planning on inviting the entire city. No, it's just a few friends and colleagues too. Um, so in all, how many people are we expecting from you? Because mine will not be up to four. Um, mine won't definitely be up to, let's say, five people, you know. Five and yeah. four, that's less than <laughs> ten. <laughs> it's okay then. Alex. Is that it? I want to thank you for always being there for me and loving me. I love you. I love you too, Sarah. Mm -hmm. You know, initially I didn't think you would like the idea. I love it. <laughs> Engagement party coming right up! I Hello? Wow, how are you? Wow! I'm so happy for you, dear. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely attend your engagement party. I would not miss it for anything in the world. I'm happy for you. I hope there's a lot to eat and drink, oh. You know I like food too much. Alright, congrats dear. I would see you at Lifestyle Lunch. Yeah, yeah, definitely I'll see you there. Sarah and her new man friend have an engagement party. Wow! This will be interesting. It will be a very good chance to take out all my enemies because I know they will all gather in one place to celebrate one of their own. Hmm. Hmm. I hope you all are ready for Becky because I'm coming. I will be your special guest of this honor. Seranko. <laughs> oh. Um, sweetheart. You know, I'm happy for you and Alex. You know that, right? But I'm, I'm a bit skeptical about this whole engagement party thing. Why? Are you scared or what? Don't worry, my love. It's only those with our invitation that will be allowed to the party. Strangers will not even be allowed to come anywhere close. Really? What if an enemy of the state decides to steal it or buy it or even kidnap somebody with it just to get it? You know Becky. She will stop at nothing just to get to her target. <laughs> Becky cannot tell me. That bitch knows where to jump around, not here. And besides, there will be security guards all over the place. There will be just a phone call. Uh-uh. There will be just a touch away. So there is nothing to be scared of. Okay? Uh, well, I'm just stating my fear. Oh, please. 
just just let it go all right there's no problem let's discuss some what we're going to wear do you have anything in mind yet uh -huh, i don't you don't <laughs> come on what are you saying you have someone to buy for you do i have huh let's go and meet where i want to go <laughs> <laughs> something big is coming really oh yeah and it's going to be a feast of blood so what is it all about have you ever thought of gathering all your enemies eggs in one basket and watch them crash that is the feast i'm talking about who is organizing this feast one of our related enemy just got engaged to her new man and they are truly in an engagement party. And all our enemies are going to be in one place. Really? So this feast is going to be a feast of who do we kill first? Oh, oh. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Becky, this is interesting. Oh, very interesting. So, who is hosting this feast? Sarah. Sarah. Oh yes, the Sarah that you know. She just got engaged to one Alice. And she has invited all our enemies. If not that you were here, honestly, I would have just loved you watch me display. But Mrs. Daniels, not to worry. Trust Becky. I will give you a first hand news. Oh yes. So Sarah thinks she can kill my son and get married to another? Never. That will never ever happen. It's not. Becky, Sarah is my number one enemy. That I know. You have to put her name in the list of the people that will go down. Becky, if you can handle this, just let me know so that I can get another option. Relax, Please. partner. Just calm down. Becky, my life depends on this one. I know. I know. Trust please, me. Please, please. I will do this job just like I've promised you. And I will get you a good news at the end of the day. Trust Becky. It's a promise. It's a promise. Okay. Officer. I heard you're the right person to do this job. Yes, madam. But you cost you five zero figures. What? How much is your annual salary, you thief? If you don't want it, leave it. Oh, oh, oh okay. Get me my phone.
Oh, but my friend went to Ivy. See, uh, my guy. Forget the shirts. You see, uh, for party like this, uh, that we invite ourselves. We need to collect Ivy. My friend, listen. You are moved now. Move this way. So this is how the operation will go. We will get to the location, I will go straight to my target, which is Iron. Then you to Sarah. You hear me? You two will take care of the guard to enable us a free passage. Do not waste any bullets. I must kill Sarah today. I don't mind if I go back to jail. She must die. Please, just reserve your energy for your targets. Can we go, guys? Police, I have their number. Is your phone charged? Uh, I don't know. I just hope so. Becky, drop the gun. Drop the gun, okay? Becky, Becky, don't do this. Drop the gun. Becky, Becky, drop the gun. Becky, Becky, drop the gun. From this moment, as long as I live. I would love you. I promise you this. There is nothing that I would have been from this moment. Oh, I love you. Becky! Becky, drop the gun. Oh, no way. 
No way. No. 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 I can't believe that you and I are finally married. I never knew life could be this peaceful and joyous. Oh. Sarah, I am happy to be your husband. See, hey, I know you have a hot head, but <laughs> guess what? That's one of the things I love about you. <sighs> Alex, my sweet, sweet husband. I should be the one saying these things to you. All my life as a married woman, I lived in fear and suffering. But you've come and you've made everything better. I love you now and forever. Let's <sighs> go. I love you too, Sarah. And I want to promise you something. You will never shed tears on my own account. Oh. I'll show you so much love and kindness that you forget your past. <laughs> I promise you. Oh, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> you know, I'm the happiest man on earth. Now. And I'm the happiest bride on earth. Scream. 